Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on YouTube, join our cult. It's Rumble season, baby. Rumble, 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 Rumble. Get the Tories out. <laughs> and that as well, yeah, yeah. Equally important. <laughs> Hello and welcome <laughs> to another wonderful episode of the Cultaholic Podcast Classic Smackdown Review. No. I hate this. In my head, I had to fight. My left side of the brain was like, don't you dare say smack You nearly stopped yourself as well, and then nah, you just went for it. it didn't work. In all fairness, Matthew, people have been saying since I've grown the beard, I'm just trying to be Tom, so... Hey, guys! <laughs> that was it. You put me off with exuberance <laughs> and enthusiasm. Tom, I know you've worked the past 20 hours, but can you just do this quick? Yes, I'll work 24 more straight. No sleep needed. He was on the radio at 1 a.m. Oh, last night. What's he doing? I feel Goodness bad for him. Me. He's a machine. Come on, Tom. Half man, half hummingbird. Come on, Opposite Tom. Opposite to me in every single way. Oh, man. Meanwhile, us three normal human <laughs> beings with the same amount of sleep. Bless us. Jack. Yes. Ross. Hello. And Mafu. Hello. Here to talk about wrestling and, well, no, who we're kidding, everything else but wrestling, NX, or so hours. Yes. How are you doing, first of all, Jack? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Lots of wrestling this week. It's... It's been a lot, but it's it's all for the Rumble. It's it's not all for the Rumble, but it, it feels like the end goal is this Saturday, not Sunday. That's totally it's weird, well. isn't it? Yeah. It's like saying the right name of this particular podcast, <laughs> which we've done for several years now. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard to get used to <laughs> this Saturday. But uh, no, I'm Saturday. excited for it. How about, how about you? It's the Rumble. I know. Doesn't matter. Wrestling can be complete crap building up to that one particular date, it won't matter because mm. it's the Humble. And Absolutely. it's the Humble with multiple winners for both Humble matches. It's, the, oh, it's not yes. no predictable winner this year. Yes. Not at all. I'm Very excited for that. <laughs> so happy. And how are you, Ross? Are you just excited? I'm completely buggered. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because. <laughs> it's very faulty time. Last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, great. Oh. Since the start <laughs> of the year, everybody, <laughs> I've been struggling to sleep. So I was like, what can I do that's legal? So I got myself some CBD oil. Came yesterday, took it home, obviously. Was sort of sat there at my desk in my bedroom, going to go with a pipette. It says one drop every four hours. I was like, I'll just do one drop. It's my first time. Don't knock my socks off. Gave it the most delicate squeeze I possibly could. And a river flowed right into well, under my tongue. So it knocked me for six. It made me sleep fantastically well, but I think it's still in my system quite a lot. So if I doze off during the podcast, I can only apologise. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if what I've done is illegal. I hope it's not. Everything looked really no, above you board. bought it from a completely legal uh, supplier. Yeah. I don't think it's got any of the, the weird Honor. stuff in it. Your Honour? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. It might do. I don't, it just it, it, it came in a nice bottle. It's uh, nice packaging. The well, website looked matters. official. It's on my bank account. I haven't been raided yet by the FBI. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we came over all the way. We're interacting with Interpol. <laughs> the yeah. Ross do, Just do waiting for Nunzio to beat me front door. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, dear. Nunzio? <laughs> From the FBI? Oh, the FBI. It's a wrestling joke. It's a wrestling podcast. I know, weird. Oh, oh, <laughs> wait a wait. There's wrestling on my wrestling <laughs> podcast. Can, can I pick up a different one? Ah, let's get started with the news. No, no, how are you? Oh, I'm, yes, how are you? Oh, I'm great because it's funny. It's like, oh, you're having trouble sleeping. Oh, what a weirdo doing CBD. Oh, I've just got the weighted blanket thing going. <laughs> is currently. that nice, is it? I'm getting used to it now. Is it's it been like... great. It still hasn't helped. Like, you know, I'm still being like two in the morning going, I've forgotten that thing. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I'm going to wait tomorrow. <laughs> Fair enough. I've only got 16 hours to do a task. that will take me two minutes, that type of weirdness. Is it like having a small baby laying on top of you? No, a rather large baby, which was... It's not really helping me sleep, to be honest with you. I've got that on top of us. Is Ooh, it like MJF judido at that point. is sat cross-legged on your chest? <laughs> like on this week? Let's go away from this baby metaphor. Uh, but I the said fact MJF. That... MJF. Is it like MJF sat cross-legged on your <laughs> chest? <laughs> of other people. Taunting you. Because <laughs> he did it this week. Well, he slept on my chest. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Have you watched uh, AEW this uh, week? Uh, have you been drinking Ross's drink? <laughs> no, I'm just sat too close to it. <laughs> No, you no. It happened. In, we'll get to it in this week in wrestling. God, I hope we do. We will. The way the blanket it hasn't helped me get the sleep necessary. But like, if I wake up too early, which I sometimes do, yeah. Like, oh, if you're wide awake, it's, it's for him. Great. Uh, uh. But now the way your blanket blank, no, it's alright. He might have. Like, right, you're stirred. The way your blanket, no, go back to bed. He might have slept on your chest this week because you were on dynamite. But we'll get to that. I get it. Yeah. Mm. So you're on the same yeah. wavelength now. In the, in the main event, hiding under the ring. Ah! ah. Fuego, going in one of my uh, Twitch streams a few weeks ago because it was like, so I was in the last video, Matthew. And, oh! Uh. Hey. 
<laughs> and there's people who went, it's okay, I'll put my hand over my mouth so he can't hear me. Look, I'll compliment him because all wrestlers love that. <laughs> Fuego, you look great on Dynamite. He went, move your hand away. I went, oh, no, no. <laughs> Fuego Del Sol doesn't take himself too seriously, does he? Was he having a go at you? Was it banter? I think he, he came in for banter. For That's banter. Right. It's always reassuring when the wrestler has the bants yeah, and they're yeah. not like really uppity. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you're right, but as long as you give him a bit of a compliment and love in a serious manner, it's all right. Mm. And in the opening news segment, uh, Fuego Del Sol, <laughs> underrated wrestler of the year. <laughs> it's only January. And in other news, though, Leo Rush says he'll be a free agent after February 14th. In a tweet posted Saturday, Leo Rush has revealed that his AW contract expires next month. Uh, Rush wrote in the body of the tweet, I'm a free agent, while posting a graphic caption, everything I just said. Uh, he has been in and again and then out again of AEW. Mm. And this does come after Tony yes. Khan's less than stellar, uh, what am I saying here? I Outburst. believe this tweet. Yeah. There we go. So if we look at the timeline of what's happened here, is that the big swole tweet happened, Leo Rush spoke up for it, then, or for her, really, well, for, for diversity in wrestling, basically, then later said, me and Tony Khan have had a good discussion, we're all good, and then shortly afterwards he said, my contract's expiring soon. I'm just like, oh. But he said it was for his mental health, wasn't it? Because he likes to be a free bird. Oh, did he? Not a free bird, a free bird. Oh, fair enough. No, no, do, do, do. No, do, do, do. I can, well, he might do the do, do, do. Uh, I mean, Who knows? That, he can now. He's a I'll be doing it soon. The do, do, do. That does follow Leo Rush's <laughs> no. career trajectory. He doesn't stick in one place for too long, by design or not, I suppose. It's not for everybody. No, yeah. I mean, that's surely why people get into wrestling a certain degree, so they don't want that nine to five grind and mm. uh, maybe out of a place low key, especially good at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess when you're a wrestler, it's quite sensible just to sign a five... I think he signed a five-month deal, was it, he said on social media? I wasn't sure if that was a joke or not, because I've never heard of a five-month yeah, deal. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Hey, it's, uh, it's, it's old-fashioned, that, like coming in for a program, brother, 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 buggering off after a program, <laughs> yeah. brother, brother, brother. Yeah, the end of the program where Danny Martin was like, nah, change your mind. I had no real ending. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. But oh. I guess it's, it's, keeping your options open like that and always having something new to go to and do around the world of wrestling must be quite nice when you're a creative little moth. Yes. Yeah. Like well, Leo Rush is. I feel like he's, I think he's been booked for a, an indie show that's getting quite a lot of news because it's featuring both of the Forgotten Sons and uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Oh, um, Str Shane Strickland. He's been serious. I am. No, no, it is getting. It I agree with the second no, half of what you said. But it's getting some traction no, because getting, both of the forgotten it, it, sons yeah, are on. They're taking on. Um, they're taking on David Richards and Eddie Edwards in a tag match. <laughs> and no, oh, Sean, Sean Ross Sapp, the New Age Melter. Oh, is he there as well? No, he said he, he tweeted. Teams are right insane. No, he tweeted saying this match is going to hump. So I was like, oh, well, I've got to. If Sean Ross Sapp. What's so hey, funny about EC3, it? Hey, EC3. It's going to hump. It's going to hump. What? EC. <laughs> what exactly? Know, Your mind. Right? Because you're going to be mind blown by yeah. what happens. The Forgotten Sons are good. EC3. Jackson Wright is not there. <laughs> EC, EC3 yeah. calls Wesley Blake, or whatever he, Weston Blake, I think he goes by yeah. now, one of the best wrestlers in the world. <clears throat> in hashtag free the narrative too. We just don't, we're not, we're marks. We don't know the, about the, the footwork ah, and, the, exactly. and the selling. We can't see these things. To be fair, you're Wes right. You're right. It's what he's not doing. Wesley Blake like humped the bumps when he was in NXT. He humped the bumps, so he did. And then when he, was, he was a humper bumper. <laughs> when he was with Buddy Murphy, they both humped the bumps when they were Mama selling. Mamma mia, he humped the bumps. <laughs> selling for the bold villains and that. I reckon it'll be a fine dabby dozy match. If you Steve ask... Matlin as well, obviously. Yeah, he's been doing well in Impa. Yeah. Oh, no, he's been killing, yeah. Oh, so one half of them. <laughs> one third hump. of them, yeah. Well, but Jackson Rag is not there. Jackson, who gives a toss about yeah, he's Jackson not in the, he's not in the. He's not at Swerve's house. That's the name of the show. It's the wrestling revolver, Swerve's house. I'd like to see what happened if he did get invited to Swerve's house. Lock the door behind him. Bish bash bosh. Who's this? Uh, Jackson Riker. Oh, God. Oh, God. Of bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh. Left, right, coma. Somebody's an Adam West. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> Zap. Uh, Progress is back. Yes. With the Tramir Rovers, new owners. Yeah. And they did their show at the Electric Ballroom. I did a very good uh, number there in terms of crowd. That's like their spiritual home. It is, yes. Like, and it's the O2 Academy of Progress. Exactly. <laughs> and Anya Gogo was a mystery guest. It's like, oh, what's happening here then? Ructions, are they still with WE? And WE said, yeah, they are. I, 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 I messaged him afterwards just to go like, oh, I hope this doesn't mean you're gone from AEW. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, just get another rep in, getting on YouTube and that, getting more reps in front of a camera. Fair enough. So, yeah. Yeah. He's not gone from AEW. They're still working with WE. I think Luke found that one out from um, someone. 
a source from within progress. Yeah, we've, it's only taken Ooh. us... It's only taken... Well, for me and Ross, at least, it's only taken us about six years of working in wrestling to finally get some connections. Even still, oh. I was still scared to go, hello, it's that mean you're not leaving. <laughs> I just yeah. feel like I can't speak to wrestlers, mate. I'm not yeah. their friend. I don't they look DM down them. on YouTube. Do you know who's the best at that, Tom? He just he goes in. He's it's very, crazy, isn't it? Very like, polite, very courteous. Always gets an answer, because, or usually gets an answer, because he's straightforward and he comes across businesslike. Whereas I think me and Ross see ourselves as teenagers, like, hee hee, hello, Mr. Wrestler. Yeah. Another thing is, there's people who I thought, oh, I've, I've but thought can I just guy. say? Oh, go on. That's not the case with me. We're straight to hell. Sorry, right? Oh, wait. oh, <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not straight, straight to hell. Hello, Mister Rest. Are you coming on my YouTube show? No, I mean, I mean, when you, I mean, in terms of trying to figure out the news, the I new, can't do uh, that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not straight to hell. No, I was going to say. No, no, sorry. I sorry. am a man. No, sorry. I'm a real boy. I'll speak for myself. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a real Johnny YouTuber. <laughs> so yeah. Gary. Gary YouTuber. Nelly. So oh. close yet so far. Who's Johnny YouTuber? I've got no Is idea. he in the Forgotten the Sons? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Further details on Dewey being disappointed with NXT 2.0. Apparently, um, the changes they made since the change, uh, according to Wrestle Votes, company source said they were disappointed uh, that fans would have gravitated towards the newer stars quicker than they would have liked. <laughs> We've we, we it's our favorite bit of the podcast to it talk about. <laughs> Certainly, yeah, yeah, we're gravitating towards it. Yeah. The issue is, it's too much too quick, isn't it? Like too many new gimmicks all at once. I think that's what's the too big issue for the fans. Gimmicks. And some of them are too a bit weird, a bit tone deaf. Yeah. Bit. 1980s. One, bit one <laughs> yeah. note as well. Yeah. Like, elect, this guy's a lecturer. This one's a mobster. It's just... Because there are some... There is good stuff. That worked for wacky racism. You did, yeah, 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 that's true. Because I'll get... We'll get on to this later, but this week's NXT... Lecturer character wacky racism. <laughs> it was good this week, I thought. Yeah. I but there was a lot of NXT, and book. NXT 1.0 favorite. flavor in it, though, wasn't there? With the yeah. Masters there was, though. I can't wait to get to that bit later on. But something that isn't gravitating towards NXT is actually away from it. That was a very Tom Campbell segue, I apologize. No. Brian Kendrick has been asking for us to be released uh, for a while now, it says here, according to PW Insider. Uh, I didn't realize it was actually part of the company still until they did thing with Harland. Mm -hmm. He was pushed on a flight of stairs and then it was booked and then it never happened. I think because of the COVID word. Just yeah. the word. <laughs> yeah. Because oh. if you say COVID word, it's all right. I was going to say, imagine being Brian Kendrick, right? And being that, in that alleged meeting that apparently happened where Vince was like, everyone needs to look younger. Everyone needs to look younger. And Brian Kendrick sat there thinking, I'm literally Benjamin Button. Yeah. yeah. He couldn't look any younger for his age. Right. I was talking to something about this. Today. Like, Paul London got silver hair. So now he's, uh, he's got what to turn there. The silver fox yeah. thing going on. He's just a handsome old man. Brian Kendrick is just an old twink. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's still that oh it's just Brian Kendrick he's so cute I, I love Widow Brian Twinkie. Kendrick he's I don't know why that's why <laughs> <laughs> Brian Kendrick is now Widow Twinkie in NXT 2.0 sorry point, pick a fan the Widow Twinkie yeah. <laughs> uh, in other news W Seamus reveals Vincent Mann hates written in my face that's the shameful thing one. That's a shameful right, thing, okay. yes. Lobster's I don't know the name of it. Head. Yeah, lobster head is I thought the theme. Too many limes. Too many limes. Right, yeah. uh, Seamus says, when well, I came back, I really want to bring that song back, but it was shot down. Vince hates it. What? Some other people don't didn't like it or didn't agree. It was very nostalgic. I haven't given up, up on it. Uh, I haven't given up on it. There we go. I guarantee you I will get that song back. I just don't know when, and nobody's going to know when, but I will get the chance to bring it back. So, on the indies. <laughs> <laughs> so since, when I wrestle, the forgotten sons since in the Cole, house. Since Call the Holly, I'm, it's made me feel old because we now have people working with us younger than us. And this was driven home when I was doing the news with Andrew this week. Yeah. And he, he brought up that story and I went, oh, lobster head. And he went, what? Andrew, who is what you call one me? year younger than us, by the way. Actually, yeah, Andrew's not even that much younger, <laughs> is he? <laughs> I think he, might, he just didn't, he'd never seen the memes then, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Do you I completely, think... like that, we, there, you are now working with people who are a generation removed well, we, well, from we, your scope of internet. There was a, there was a conversation in the chat this week about the, 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 the Lamar song, 50 50, and half of the office easily didn't know it. You remember Imagine the chorus? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's um, been a long time, say you miss me. Oh, yeah. 50, yeah, 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 yeah. Fame yeah. Academy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh Fame Academy. You're like, oh. Right. I just wait, adjust my uh, reference there. <laughs> yeah. Fame Academy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <sighs> Lamar. What Came... was he called? The Simon Cowell figure on that show? I don't yeah, know, actually. The judge. They had the last and the lad and the evil old fella. Yeah, top note from this. Brown yeah, hair. I don't what he was. Was it Richard? Might just be because I'm looking at Richard. Richard. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all look at Richard. He was a dick, though. But it is shocking. 
I think Seamus is, just to get back to the point at hand, shifting gears. Uh, mm. Seamus' new theme's better than Too Many Limes. I'm going to go on record as They're saying They're both that. bangers. It's more befitting of an ass kicker, in my opinion. It's like, oh, here comes Seamus. Whereas yeah. the Lobster Head one, more catchy, but not as effective. Mm. Yeah. That's like Randy Orton's, hey! That was catchy, can, but not say. as effective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he couldn't be kicking Steph in the head and like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Sparks <laughs> coming down. Yeah! I could not be hilarious. I'm so handsome. What pit of you was it when he was being an uber baby face and he was taking the piss a bit by just being like, come on, guys! Oh, he did Yay! like star jumps and stuff. Yeah, coming down at the ring. Oh, and that, that was, that was like, like the 2011 period. He was having a good time. I don't know, like 2004, oh, I think that's right. Oh, oh, when he was doing it non-ironically. Yeah. Oh, that would have been like uh, between... You say that, but he, he must have been. We know Randy, though. We know him well yeah, now. Yeah, he was yeah. taking the piss. We yeah. know him like he's, he's our own the flesh CBD. and blood. Uh, hmm. Brian Alvarez noted that Ronda Rousey will step in a W ring for the first time in almost three years. What would that sound like, Matthew? We can exclusively reveal <laughs> today on The Observer. <laughs> in The Observer, or whatever. We can observe together. <laughs> Oh, um, dear um, <laughs> That's right, Dave. Doodaloo, doodaloo. What is that noise? Oh, it's my PC. Like... <laughs> if Dave's annoyed him and he goes down on the Dave sometimes, that's right, Dave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Okay>. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Dewey's Randy Orton wants to wrestle until We didn't even cover the news there. We just did your impression. What was the oh, news? Yeah, Ronda Rousey. Oh, yeah, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> <laughs> There's a minor, minor news thing. Get the way of a half assed impression. Yeah, Ronda Rousey is allegedly returning. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Uh, look. In terms of uh, consistency, she was one of the best things about that year in terms of in-ring performances and stuff like that. And she had a hell of a run, hell of a performance, and I think if she's going to be there for a long time or just have a little brief thing until WrestleMania, fantastic news. Just stop her from ranting about millennials to Becky Lynch because they are oh, yeah. they are the same age. That was that was the her promos were like the only possible drawback. Let her kick. Ass. Yeah, but get a with Heyman or someone like that. They get oh, them, don't they? Would, yes, that would oh, be yeah, fantastic. Come on yes. now, play the game. We've don't already recorded pitches, but that would have been a great pitch. <laughs> yeah, we, me, me and Andrew did a tier list about who's the most likely to be the, the Women's Royal Rumble winner this year, and we got a Rousey because someone else had made the tier and already put it on the tier maker website. And we were like, oh, there's no chance of Rousey being there. You Not a single. Yeah, oh. we just put her in the bin. We're like, oh, there's no chance of Rousey oh, winning. No. And then literally an hour after we stopped recording, breaking news from... Brian Alvarez. Ronda Rousey. Well, be a lot of Why do you better than mine? <laughs> Matthew, as soon as the Rousey news broke, I raced on a sky bet, right? I've got five. I've never bet on wrestling. I've got a fiver on Rousey to win. Ooh. What was it? Eight to one. Oh, so Drinks bad. on me yeah. if it comes through. Sweet 40, 40 quid? If it comes so 45 through. 45 including bet, isn't it? Or, yeah. I've lost, or I'll, I'll have lost a fiver. So Ooh. I'm going to be watching that through... Through my fingers, yeah. We'll finally fingers. maybe get Becky versus Ronda in a singles match at WrestleMania. Nay, Charlotte Flair getting put in there. Beth Phoenix. What did I say? Betty. I heard Becky. Becky, Becky sorry. Becky. I've realized Becky Lynch. Rebecca. Sorry, the man, sorry. The, the I, I just know that Ross likes to call Beth Phoenix Betty and she's been featured oh. recently. I, I misheard. She's not called the man anymore, is she? Because of the Flair thing. It's big time Bex. Right. about that. Big hey, guys. Bex. Big time Bex. Oh, Welcome to the big time. I'm the goat. <laughs> Actual goats on the shoulders. <laughs> and finally, there is Randy Orton wants to wrestle until he's 50 years old. Well, that's the front cover of the next two two K game sword up there. <laughs> Who was that? Sorry, I missed the name. Randy Orton. Oh, Randy Orton. He can't be too far away, is he? No. Young James, how old is Randy Orton? He probably could. He he he's watch him be like thirty two. I know that all I know that all wrestlers <laughs> are like like suffer from like pains and 41. injuries and that. But Randy seems to have taken care of himself. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's... he even talked about he got uh, COVID. Last year, yes. he sucked a lot of uh, his energy in his... He lost a lot of weight. Body, yeah. I, I didn't even notice. No, he, he then so. said that since he's come back from it, or he's been changing, he rebuilt, like when he built his muscle back up, apparently he changed the way he did it, and now he feels more like flexible or less back pain or something. It's good for him. Good for I saw Randall. an interview with him this week where he's like, Riddle is the only person to tickle my pickle or something like that. What was the quote? What? Uh, no, I thought he said something else. It type was, it to Google, please, Richard. Just Randy Orton Riddle, see what the actual quote was. It was something else he brought up, and it was a, like, he gets my particular strain. That was the one. That's not a, That's not linguo. That's, or maybe it was, oh, actually. Oh, to get the high grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah, sweet yeah, Mary yeah. J. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe he was. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he can grow my favor. Oh, not even in any ambiguity there. there yeah, that's not even clever in the I don't know what they're referring <laughs> to, because we know that advertisers watch this show. Now, Do they? <laughs> what plants? Do you think cacti? It's more of a uh, rose. Can't think of any flowers. Just a big juicy bud. Hydrangea. <laughs> Orton was um, 
Also uh, talking about his feud with the Fiend in the news. He was. He, said he that was it, not a. Fan. He said like bits of it were hard. <laughs> to be yeah. honest, he went wait hang hang on. I had a skin face mask for one week, and then a week later it healed. What was that about? Yeah. I'm like, I love you, Ren. Yeah. Is that he, what, he just did it, didn't he? <laughs> hard to be the baby face when you set a murder <laughs> cloud on fire. And go. <laughs> he's the guy. He's the guy. Hey. <laughs> He's the guy in the workplace who's been there since years before you started and just accepts everything now he's past it. So if anything, if he gets told to do anything, he's just like, yeah, why not? It's a, it's a pay, it's a living. Yeah, he's like, hired first, hired <laughs> last, boys. Have a good shift. Where are you going? Anywhere I like. Hey, that was the news. Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah, now sound for everyone's favorite segment. The Hall of Fame. I was, right? just, I was just about to clap then. I just sort of styled it out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, it looked very Alan Pardew in the FA Cup final. <laughs> Ross is like, this CBT ain't nothing. Five minutes later. <laughs> Akeem, the African dream bits in the corner. <laughs> it kind of said it was, going... What, was Akeem... Was, sorry. Was Akeem... Was, I'm not going to ask if he was white. I know he's white. Was Akeem... Oh, please, that's on camera, please. What? It, it's not my fault the gimmick was terrible. Um, was this stuff that Akeem used to do? Was that dancing? Was that what he was doing there? It was Dusty Rhodes, wasn't it? He's was trying to be dusty. Yeah. Okay. I think he ought to try and get rid, of, get rid of cramp. He lacked the charm, I've got to say. Was it his idea? Can't have been. I forget how the gimmick came about, but the best bit is a clip that always gets put on Twitter is him coming out, I think a house show or whatever, but they're being televised. And Harley Race is he up with them. And Harley Race is looking at him like, what? Because he's like, uh, dude, all this thing Harley Race got on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> that, that's the way the ring was. Anyway, Hall of Fame. Uh, condescending order from last week. Darts player Ted Hankey, who's in charge here. 26%. I think <sighs> I am. We'll move on from that. WBF superstar, the Ninja Hunter, Dirty Eddie, 34%. I thought I had it in the back. I was going to say, good. The, the, the amount of <laughs> detail you did there. And obviously, thank you to Ash Preston for that fantastic thread. Um, and also, the winner, forty percent. No way. The concept of Thursdays. How are you going to put an image of that, Richard, in the in the Hall of Fame? Oh, yeah. Just you looking smug. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on a I'm on a roll. I've never won so many in a row. I don't think. I, I'm, I I'm did happy not, for you. I did not think that one was going to win. That was terrible. I don't know. It's Thank you, like everyone. Really sour grapes here, but I don't know if it's just because you're such a superstar with the people who watch this podcast. Oh my god. Oh, oh my people, God. People saw that episode where it went, so physically, Matthew was the best Hall of Fame person. Everything he does is great last year. Blah, blah, blah. And they went, oh, so this. Uh, right, Jack. I reckon, it is. I reckon every single person on the Patreon who gets to vote for the Hall of Fame poll, by the way, if you're not involved, get involved yeah. now. Yeah, please do. They were all born on Thursday. That's my rationale. Uh, they're, yeah. all, they're all Thursday's maybe everyone, child. Maybe one everyone just agrees that? that when Thursday comes around, it's like, oh, it's nearly the weekend. Come on. And you're right, one in seven chance of them being born on Thursday, which is better... Uh, right, odds. There we go. Better odds than Ronda Rousey win the Rumble. So. Yes, it was. Yeah. So well done, Lord Thursday. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> what's your Hall of Fame pick this week? Um, the slim possibility of Steve Blackman entering the Royal <laughs> Rumble. Don't laugh. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Um, I'm going to mention him again. I think Sean Ross Sap. I think it was. Maybe it was Wrestle Votes. One of those newsy Twitter accounts. No, it was. Sean Ross Sap, you know, he's been talking about, and various news sources have, to be fair. Um, WWE looking for outlandish or left field superstars to, to enter the Royal Rumble this year. And the first one of those tweets I saw, it was about one. It was like looking for one particular wrestler to enter the Royal Rumble this year. And my mind just immediately went, well, that's got to be Steve Blackman. I don't know why. What? <laughs> He did that on purpose, didn't he? He does it every time I talk. <laughs> Ross, he's done this for years. I've just tuned out. He does this every time I talk. one hand as well. Hold the notes. Carry on. Team Black, man. Left no, field. really. No, let's bring it up because you've noticed it now. <laughs> you know? Because all I'm thinking is this is like what you do when you're at work and you've got to get your, your stuff. What I'm was... done. we got multitask. It's like, oh, just a talk. No, now. I can have a, right, have a bit no. of a drink. I'm going to change my vote to Matthew drinking no, every time I talk. No, it's not because I don't cha- read it back. No, Steve Blackman's not important now. <laughs> no, I'm Steve Blackman's it. very important. I was just going to go on a generic thing about how much I love Steve Blackman. Very hardcore champion of all if time. If he came out, it would, make me, it would make my day and it'd be the best wrestling moment ever. But no, instead I'm going to nominate Matthew taking a long sip every time I talk. That's my whole <laughs> it's thing. It's not right every time. It's just Pavlovian at this point. No, you do it every... Oh my God. Do you know how... Oh, lockdown was hard when you were doing that on Zoom. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you've you noticed, I'm a, big, I'm a really big cup then. It's like, all right. It's it's the, the, the eyes <laughs> holds it and looks at me like that. And I'm like, <laughs> I just got a bit of flash off the glasses glass, and I looked over, and the eyes were there like that the entire time. I was like, oh, he's, he is doing it on purpose now. Yeah, the eyes gave it away. He does do it on purpose, but it's it's been oh, it's been many years now. So I'm, I'm glad it's finally. I think you should go for like. Steve Blackman. Personally. No, no, no. I'm going for Matthew. Do you know what that is? It's when 
there's been a bunch of high spots, and then the, the crowd chant, this is awesome, and the guy's like, all right, let's just take a break for like 20 I, seconds, get my breath back. I can forgive it if I've got on like one of my stupid rants or like story, like whatever. But if if Matthew, when Matthew asks me a question directly, what's your Hall of Fame pick? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's just... So, I've, got my, I've got my sip finished. You still haven't finished this thing. I'm just saying. Oh, I can tell so How did you not finish the bowl there, yeah, by the way? Because you laughed. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so. Okay, so me yeah, drinking. That's me. Yeah, you but specifically. But what if Steve Blackman appears at the Rumble? Well, that'll be fun, but this is my Hall of Fame pick. Right? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> is it just a bit JPEG of me doing that? Oh, yeah, well, it will be. <laughs> can we get PNG at least, Harry? Fantastic. Well, you were second. Last week, so what have you got for us this week, Ross? Uh, I'm going to foreshadow the podcast a bit and, and deal with one of the mailbag questions in the Ooh. Hall of Fame. Unprecedented Ooh. scenes, I know. But there was an email this week from someone who's emailed in before. Uh, Brooke Rattes, Rattesbury, maybe, I think the second name was. Remember that from back in the day? I was like, oh, that sounds like an earl. What were they talking about? What they Me, were... Yeah, what was it about? I can't remember what it was about uh, back in the day, but today uh, the same person, Brooke, I'll tell them because I know that part's right. Rattenbury, I think it is. Oh, fancy We'll name. find out. Anyway, they've emailed in a picture, and this picture deserves to go in the Hall of Fame. So, Richard, for the YouTube audience, please bring it up right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, the dog. Now, of course, Matthew has in the Hall of Fame <laughs> from last year, we fat dog, but Brooke has found the... Ev- the what? I don't even... That, that is just massive heifer fat dog. That is the fattest dog I've ever seen in Isn't my life. Legs? So fat. It's a Jack Russell for those listening to the podcast on the on the Spotify and whatnot. And it literally looks like somebody's got a Jack Russell head and stuck it on a cow. <laughs> it looks like if Joe Rogan was a dog. <laughs> 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 wait, so, wait, is that his mobility scooter? That's what I was saying. I was saying this morning. I hope that mobility scooter is just for the dog itself and not the owner. But how can you let your dog get, especially a Jack Russell, that would just run around endlessly anyway? Maybe it's got a glandular problem. <laughs> well, no. I hope so. I've never seen a Jack Russell that big, so I, I can't. My God. Fathom. So my nomination, thanks to Brooke in the mailbag coming up later on, is is, is massive fat heifer. Do- <laughs> <laughs> a new challenger approaches slowly. Oh, God. Uh, uh, that, if he was sat forwards on the mobility scooter, you could do that meme that, oh, Lord, he coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a... But a cute oh, dog, though, guys. Oh, what a cute dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> nice lap dog there. Yeah. Imagine that. Lots, lots of laps. <laughs> Oh, poor little blight. Poor little blighter, I was about to say there. Poor little blighter. Poor little mite. <laughs> poor, little, poor little draft excluder. <laughs> God. All right, well, that's that's going to be hard to think of. I know you said, said poor little mitre, like the football. <laughs> poor little oh. oldie max. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we do my best to make oh, this. Oh, brought props. Whoa. Now have to be all the big guns now. This is new. So, AW this week. Uh-huh. Some good bits oh, of the show. Oh, I know what this is. Well, I liked was the pit they'll probably show if there's any justice. Are you going to be able to replicate this? Oh, please. Oh! I, this. I thought about this before. I, I got here early. Hey. Boy, <laughs> so I get all my drinks ready for when Jack was talking. Yeah. And then I realized, oh, wait, I can put that in the hall of... Wait, I can reenact it. With who? Well, uh, we're going to have Cody Rhodes as Brock Lesnar. <laughs> okay. Because they're both in the awesome tattoo camp. Yeah. Probably got the same beliefs as well. And because the way he takes the because he say take the way he takes the crossroads every week, we've got uh, Andy Kaufman is bad next. Okay. Guevara. And so, what a lovely ma- ladder match this was. Yeah. Uh, completely exceeded my expectations, but the easy highlight was, let's go apart this for a second, because there was two ladders involved. Uh, Cody's like, I'm going to win, I'm going to be a baby face, and everyone will cheer for me, and I'll end racism. And Sammy's like, no, I'm pro-racism. And there's a jump <laughs> off one ladder, then on the other, and then, the, what can you say? And then the cutter. Oh. And it was a fantastic spot. It was like they Thank floated you, in it in the air. Yeah, and I love the shot after where the the camera it almost it felt like it panned out. I don't know if it did, but yeah. they're all still in the ring and the crowd had just gone mad behind yeah. them. It was great. Mad props. Mm. To, they are to not those two, oh. but to Aubrey <laughs> Edwards who made the spot possible. What did she do? She laid on the ri- on the ring mat and she held Sammy's first ladder steady for him. Ah. She got a good push off. Nice. I'm not. That's not a complaint or a oh. criticism. That's thank you, Aubrey. Why Sammy would have probably died. Where was Aubrey when AJ Gray? Yes, that man from the GCW. That's right, the dude from the GCW. I sound like Louis Farouk there. That man from the GCW. I'm related. <laughs> AJ Gray on GCW. Oh, bless him. I've already <laughs> tweeted out and said, sorry, anyone, I, I know. So anyway, that is my pick, the amazing double oh, yeah. ladder. We just call it a cutter, right? Something doesn't have a funny yeah. name for it. Yeah. 
the, the double ladder cutter from Sammy versus Cody. That, was that is one that picks the, the Hall of Fame this week. The other just as impressive picks are me drinking yep. <laughs> and a, oh, we can call it massive, massive fat heifer dog. fat dog. Well, you called yours wee fat dog. Wee fat dog. So it, this one's bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Bigger fat dog. Bigger, <laughs> bigger wee fat. fatter dogger. Be <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what it's there. <laughs> That's would, someone else completely. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That's an overweight man in a car in an empty car park. <laughs> I had a secret little wager with myself in my head of what Matthew's pick was going to be, and I've got it wrong. I thought you were going to pick the, the gift that was doing the rounds from the world at GCW in the Lucha six-man tag where, I don't know if you saw it, actually. There's like, they're, they're, oh, on, the, they're on the corner. an amazing spot. In like a sort of superplexy sort of position, but to the outside. And then one of them runs across and does like a kick like a wall flip off his chest and they yeah. both do synchronized moonsaults. I was like, eh? How have they managed that? So, yeah, that was yeah. that was crazy. That Or they had them on their shoulders and then on their shoulders. Yeah, that one is, yeah, stuff like, yeah, oh, yeah. What a match. Mm. I've not seen the full match. Oh. But I should probably... Don't worry, well, you can do like everyone else's. You can order the show and then complain about all the bitches. <laughs> like, okay, oh, fair enough. <laughs> anyway. I did see a lot of negative, extreme reactions one way or the other to the show. Actually. Yeah, we didn't write this because I'm not sure we could talk about it in the week of wrestling, but GC Dub. I like it because I know what it's going to be. It must be their biggest show ever. Yeah, yeah. In terms of attendance, absolutely. Certainly I mean, the Hammerstein least... Ballroom is yeah, symbolic. Right, right, and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. But I like GC Dub. I know what I'm getting from it. Mm. It's often got a lot of that good crap. Yeah. A lot of overbook mess stuff. And yeah. I like that. I like, I mean, watching Janela versus Matt Cardona mm. and anything less. His than... entrance, by the way, was quality. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted. He had but... the If Cardona Wins, We Riot sign. And then there actually was one. And I yeah. was like, yes. And F. Mick Foley on the back of his flannel. Yeah. He even gets some shrapnel for some reason. Ooh. Jesus. Uh, Effie versus Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. The, the I still need to watch like all that. I've only seen the opening ladder match so far. Is it oh, G? Oh, God. G well, don't let that. Yeah, again, G, that was. Is it G yeah. Reaper? G is Raver. It, G Raver. He's my favorite wrestler. He just did, couldn't give a toss about winning, just as long as he gets yeah. his moves in. Fantastic. <laughs> he, there's one part where yeah. he yeah. gets to the top of the ladder yep. and the ring twats him on the back of the head or the back of the back. He doesn't care. Dives off there. Fantastic. Oh, he's in the. Th he's got to pull it. He could have just pulled it he down. He could have pulled it down. <laughs> he could have done it with his mouth. He was up there for that long. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's it's so weird. He had a hand injury, which I don't think he's still fully recovered from. Which he's not been able to use a thing. And his matches have been better without the use of one hand than they were with. <laughs> I don't understand that. But he's got a full body injury now after that outside the ring ladder thing. Oh, Goodness right. me. He's a trooper. Give a few diet cokes. He'll be alright. He's not G raver anymore. He's G raved. Past tense. She's done. That was terrible. <laughs> I appreciate the effort, though. But anyway, yeah, so people watch it going, I thought this was going to be like this this quality show with lots of good rest. It's like, it's not always the case, mate. No. You're lucky if you do. But that Lucha match was spectacular. Spectacular with the rolling R's, which you can't do at the end. Spectacular. Yes. And also, did you know Bandido was in that match? No. And they went, they seemed to go long. Everyone seemed to go long. Compete with a win over the PA. Take it home. Take it home. No. Because it's like, you guys have gone over a bit. Bandido had to cut his match short because he was involved in the six man at All Out. Oh, yeah. So, so it's happened to him yeah, twice can. now. Either. Was he in that six man? Yeah. Oh, all in. Either. All in. Big man. All in. Yeah, yeah, the first yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was it? I could. The wasn't Ray, that Ray Mysterio to... was in there, wasn't it? Mm. That oh. that got messed up because of the the Marty Scale match. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I know how to say his name. He was. It was he him and who was it? Okada. 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 Yeah, yeah, that was the match that went long. That was it? long. Okada Omega... probably thought, do what I like, mate. Omega mm. and Pentagon went quite long, and then Jericho was Pentagon after in mm. the ring. There was a lot on that show. That yeah. Yeah. What a what a time though. What a time. Yeah. I remember seeing MJF in the opening match thinking like, oh, the pre-show right, or something. I was thinking that, like, he lost, guy, didn't he? Yeah. No, he beat... Uh, I thought he lost. Matt Cross. I thought he lost to Matt Cross. Nah. Oh, did he win? Young Jerry! <laughs> no, he definitely... Yeah, there's no he way. Well. Why would he beat? Well, because they didn't know This yet. is pre-AW, yeah. isn't yeah. it? But I remember thinking like... Hey, actually, wait. I remember he lost to Matt Cross. I, was, I would have sworn. I remember watching that thinking like, blimey, this fella's unlikable. Blimey! Unlikable, I'll isn't I'll he? What? never seen again after that. He's quite a hateable young man. What's he going to well, do? Stephen Amell. What's he doing nowadays? Uh -huh. Anyway, that was the Hall of Fame. We got a bit off topic there, but it is still there at patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. That says this week in the wrestling. It's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ah! This week in the wrestling. GCW was covered during the Hall of Fame segment, just in case you skipped them. <laughs> 
We, loose, in we depth. loosely talked about it for two minutes. I liked it. Yeah, that, was, that was a good five minute oh, one. Yeah, it was, it was a good. Yeah. Smackdown. <laughs> the Usos opened the show and introduced Roman Reigns. He was now the longest reigning Universal Champion ever. Which at first to me sounded not impressive, but then I remembered Brock Lesnar and I was like, oh, that yeah. is pretty good actually then. And right, that title is nearly six years <laughs> Old. Blimey. I need to stop saying blimey. What's going on? Core blimey. <laughs> Six years. Six years this summer slam. I sound like Ron Weasley, man. <laughs> oh, blimey, Harry. Six years. <laughs> Expelliarmus. Oh, man. <sighs> we'll be killed. Or worse, expelled. She needs to get her priorities right. I'm going to swear I, again. I sound more like bed knobs and broomsticks. Hello, Mrs. Price. Are you a witch? <laughs> Oh, right. Anyway, <laughs> they're interrupted by Seth Rollins, who said that bed knobs and broomsticks is better than Mary Pop. Sorry, that the oh. Usos hold Roman up <coughs> just like Seth and Moxley Ooh. did in the. And he shield. actually said Mox as well. He that means he's going to be in the Rumble. <laughs> yeah, confirmed right then. That's right. Aye. Mm -hmm. Seth wants to wrestle the Usos tonight. If he wins, they're banned from ringside at the Rumble. The Uso says nobody's crazy enough to team with Seth, which brings out Kevin Owens. Roman agrees to the stipulation on one condition. If the Usos win, Seth loses his title shot and Roman goes on holiday until WrestleMania. A Roman holiday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first week, lads, where I found myself going, ooh, at the sight of the tribal chief, but not in a sexual manner, thinking, wow, what a handsome oh. devil. Because I had my stopwatch out, and it was a full 14 and a half minutes before anything of note happened. After 14 and a half minutes, Rollins said, use the Usos to do your dirty work for you, just like me and Mox. Wow. 14 and a half minutes of nothing. Who's and that's it? the first week it was like, I acknowledged it. <laughs> uh, 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 who's entering took longer? Romans these days, or Rand, like Prime Randy? Prime Randy. Or and not Marsh. <laughs> or Savage. Or Savage. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, okay. I like you hear Randy and you think Marsh. <laughs> it does take a hell of a long, because this week they had the Usos come out and go, oh, our cousin's the Universal Champion, here he comes. And they played a promo package going, oh, yeah. Reigns is quite good, he can do a few Superman punches. And then Reigns waddles his way to the ring. Waddles, that's a bit of Waddles. <laughs> like the <laughs> fat <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 14 and a half minutes. It's like, we, we, you know, we get he's a big deal and there's this larger than life feeling to the guy, but not after 14 and a half minutes of nothing. Maybe they needed to cut something from the show. Yeah. It felt, it felt like that. Yeah. Also, Rollins, just not a good baby face. Well, he's, mm. he's, in, ah. the, in this feud, he's a, he's the de facto baby face, isn't he? But he's still a heel. He was still being a baby, yeah. baby face on SmackDown, proper. Yeah, but he, I'm like, I don't want to change. There's a different universe. SmackDown is a different universe to Raw. Yeah. It's like the DC <laughs> and the Marvel. Oh, <laughs> who's been Googling. <laughs> uh, also, Roman Reigns, they really are going hard on the, uh, uh, the re is running on God mode now. Right, yeah. the Senate, like, yeah. yeah. It's a powerful line, to be fair. It is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because God mode. He's like... called him son as well, which, poor. Oh. That's an exclamation point I've ever heard one in my life. Mm. Yeah. Son. Son. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, just, I don't know what else to say because Ross is right. Like, it, it took a long... Like, this wasn't the most eventful opening segment apart from the Mox name drop. Yeah. Oh, but, do you reckon Mox will win the Rumble then since he's definitely going to be there? Yeah. Or oh, him and him versus Ronda at WrestleMania, if no he, doubt. If Moxley enters the Rumble, I will forgive Sam for the silly mistake he made years ago <laughs> when he, for, for a prolonged period of time, was on videos and on Twitter saying that Moxley leaving is all a work. And he's never going to leave WWE. And he'll eat his hat. It is bizarre. And what happened with that, Jack? <laughs> Did he uh, do that thing that he said he would do? Sam was there live in Las Vegas when Moxley <laughs> came out in the MGM Grand Garden Arena. That's right. We're, and we're he winning cheered, ring on one finger and hat yes. conspicuously <laughs> absent in his other. And he cheered like the rest of us. So, I'm just, just saying. He did the John Cena. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Kofi Kingston faces Madcap Moss. Whoa. Another rematch. SmackDown's fallen back into that yeah, trap. It has. It's like yeah. lockdown era again. The, the trap of the last two years. <laughs> and brings Big E with him to neutralize Happy Corbin on the outside. And as Cole points out, well, it's the build-up to the Rumble, so there's a bit of, you know, raw SmackDown crossover. 
Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, fine. Yeah. Fine with that. Uh, Kofi wins, and Big E hits the big ending on Moss afterwards, with Corbin reluctant to make the save. Now, that was nasty. I don't think mm. they deserved that. Did did Moss try and did they try and did Corbin try and cheat in the match? Probably. Last week they did, and that's how we lost. Oh, mm. maybe it was revenge. Okay, it was revenge. Just okay. the equalizer. Fair enough. Can I just still big. He was being a bit nasty. S- uh, Corbin's trousers on this week's SmackDown. <laughs> Unbelievable. I try <laughs> to find a pair for myself and I don't know why he's bought them. So Baron. I know you're watching, pal. Where do you get your trousers from? I thought they were sensational. I can't picture them. Was it yeah, like... What, what oh, Jamie! Were they, were they <laughs> drippy, drippy, like the Young Bucks? Was it like that? Get on the old, uh, the old image search there and type in Baron Corbin Kofi Kingston. I'm sure you'll find it if you put the search to the last week. They're like tartan. Tartan oh. pants. I'd love to Ooh. rock a pair of tartan pants. But I couldn't find ones that looked like Baron Corbin's from SmackDown last week. But could any of us rock them like Football Tom? I don't know. I doubt it. We're not Football Tom level no. of a human being, are we? There's one picture on the WWE.com image. If it's not there, it's okay, Richard. Just the, the fantastic and tartan. Way I go on then. But uh, yeah. I like the sudden nature of the finish because it put over the devastation of the trouble in paradise. Oh, it did mm. actually, yeah. yeah. Because it was pretty much like Mad Cap. No, no, did he? No, he didn't, did he? Didn't have his own way this week. That was last week. Mm. But it was uh, still like out and slightly out and up. Like it finished the match straight away. It was like, oh. And Pat claimed on commentary that Corbin was eating poop sandwiches when he was down on his luck last year. Yeah. Poop man. sandwiches, everybody. You know what I realized during this match and the rest of SmackDown? Do you think Pat McAfee and Big Tom Campbell are somehow related? <laughs> no. Oh, they both bitten by the Tom's... same radioactive, enthusiastic spider. Tom's a way better commentator. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is. Oh. Like, he actually, Tom is a really good commentator. Oh, you'll, you'll, you'll appreciate that. Oh, he's, Matt, he's, he's very fantastic good. as well. Though. Yeah, you've you've had the privilege of sharing the booth with him, Matthew. I, me and Pat, go way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah you and Pat. Yeah. Oh my god, they uh, deleted uh, the picture. Oh dear. I said it to my girlfriend, th- saying, "Oh, where can I find a pair of trousers like this?" Is that from SmackDown last week? This is this week. Mm. Oh my god! Mm. Too oh. hot for WWE.com. Yeah. Oh. Maybe in the rumored uncensored. That there was a picture in the we'll gallery there. Oh well, it's gone forever. Oh. Maybe it was last week's SmackDown then. Maybe. Look was... like black trousers there, don't they? From the the little like, snippet. We can like see Elvis, you won't be shown from the waist up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Somewhere in his wardrobe, Baron Corbin has a fantastic pair of tartan trousers. Oh well. I'm well, too, that was I'm a... too into this now. Let's move on. <laughs> Uh, Natalia has a rematch against Alia with no, Summer Rae watching on from the crowd. Yes. And Summer Rae being announced as a W legend. Which caused... some people. Oh, I don't care. Oh, yeah, it's just it's just one of the many, many cares. buzzwords they use. It means I it. took major offense to this. <laughs> oh, no. Because of course you did. the people out there who say that Summer Rae is not a legend mm-hmm. clearly haven't seen Total Divas. I saw is a lot she of a legend online. on Total Divas? She, the stuff she would do in Natalia in particular way back in the day is absolutely fantastic. Like funny she, stuff or mean like, just She would went to her house and she berated her on a porch and stuff and got kicked out and oh, oh it was fantastic television. <laughs> and I know it's all a shoot and whatnot. It's real reality TV. It's not, of course a, it is. not a Workington in any sort of form or fashion. No, of course so not. Summer Rae's best work in Durie came in Total Divas. She's not only a WWE legend, she's a crypto legend as well. Oh, so <laughs> oh that. that was the other <laughs> bit. I wasn't sure this was real. I saw people joking about something and go, what's happening? And you have to find, you know, go back a bit and then you see it. He's oh. found them. Look oh. at them. Oh, Twit nice. woo. Look at the endeavor of young yeah, Jamie this week. Uh, Can you zoom in it, possibly? Open image in new tab and zoom in. I'll just do that. Eh? Enhance. Huh. Wow. Oh. Okay. They're, le- they're, less, they're less outrageous than I was expecting. I think they're lovely, mate. I'm, I was, I was genuine, being. You Can you zoom in on Charles Robinson's nice face? <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing, guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charles, just go home. You've worked too hard for your no, whole life. Charles. But... Charles has got to be the Tom Campbell of the refereeing world, though, hasn't he? You um, think so? Just for doing that working. for that long. Yeah, he's yeah. also in charge of the ring crew, apparently. So, Puts I mean, up the ring and everything. That was the, that was the wow. worst part of WCPW, <laughs> the <laughs> ring. And, Char- and Charles Robinson does that voluntarily. Well, not vol- it's part of his job, but yeah. he, he still does it. Yeah, but he gets paid for it, though. Yeah, but yeah. remember that picture of him I mean, iron in the ring, the canvas that came mm. out? Uh, not iron, sorry, hoovering it. No, I remember this. There was a I remember of, him hoovering it. The, yeah, there was a picture of Charles Robinson, I think, hoovering the canvas. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. Bless him. I hope that dude looks like a lady playing over the PA in the arena when he was doing so. Dude looks like a lady? Yeah. I don't know why I've said that. So I want to break free, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. It is, yeah. I was like, is he just a big oh. Aerosmith? Is he just a big Aerosmith fan? <laughs> Mrs. They are Mrs. Doubtfire. I was about to say Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm getting it all mixed that. up. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Natalia gets herself DQ'd after ignoring the referee's five count and beats Alia down. The good old 
you lost because you were getting the hell kicked out of your finish. Uh, Zia Lee runs out to make the save because she's the protector and has lightning powers because she is Lord Raiden. Wow. Mm. Yep. It's impressive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really is. But I'm wondering, yeah. how does this work if, without the, the CGI stuff they do? Well, you don't see anything if you're live in your arena. Like, She's oh. just going... It's like when Nicky Ash comes out and points to the big moon thing and this the big moon thing, the big Nicky Ash signal. Yeah. 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 They just see her pointing to... WrestleMania sign. <laughs> do you think that... Oh, more of that to come around, I guess. Do you think the ones in the like the the side of the railing can hear her going like? Do you think she does her own like? Like does her own sound effect? Bzz, yeah. Bzz. <laughs> <laughs> we, we get more of that later on. How by is Shia Lee not immediately the champion? She's got right. electricity powers. Yeah. No I one else has. Doing the tier list for the Rumbles this week. She was in. Oh, I've got to put myself on the spot here. I believe she was in the eighteen Rumble. No, the nineteen Rumble. The 2019 Rumble, Jia Lee was there. Yes, I it's remember that. Weird how she's done little to now since. That. She didn't last a lot. It was just like, oh, here's an NXT person. Oh. It was one of those things. Oh, okay. It was, yeah, 2019 was the year when they started, like... The big baseball arenas. Yes, and yeah. also when they started being like, NXT are cool as well, by the way, guys. Because that Survivor Series, I think, was when Oh, NXT that was won. the one where, hey, NXT won everything. Yay, mm. please watch on USA Network. Yeah. We're not moving the day. Yeah. Uh, the Viking Raiders beat Los Lotharios in a couple of minutes. Poor Lost of Tharios, man. Enough. Their theme music's a banger, though. Yes, yes. Check out the check the tier list, guys. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's all tier lists, isn't it? Well, everything. It's yeah, tier lists all the way down. Life is a tier list. Maybe Ronan Keaton could put a <laughs> <laughs> remix out for 2022. Life is a tier list, baby. Just got to rank it. Oh, no. Don't no. fade it, fade it, fade it. <laughs> You're in S tier. Oh. I don't know what the actual tiers are, though. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> but you've got me making real tears. <laughs> Is this still going on? We're still doing this. What's the bad tier when it's not being redone, Richard? You'll know this. You're a child. <laughs> what is S A? What does it go down to? F. F. Oh, it got me feeling like F tier. I can't be arsed with this. <laughs> the views <laughs> on your vid let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he do that voice in that song, by the way? <laughs> the crush of your hand. He's almost like Sean Connery. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you say the best say it there. when you say McBang. <laughs> <laughs> YouTuber Ronan Keaton's a weird one. Of Stop. all the, of all the running jokes on this book. Eat it, eat it. <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to chat you before I found out what McBang was, I'll tell you. <laughs> Not only is set to take on Charlotte Flair in a non title match, but. Sonia Deville comes out, makes oh. herself the referee. Nya, nya, nya. But she Charles. must be regretting her look so much, making herself the leading lady when she's just an extra. That's right. I cannot believe Whoa. it. That was Sonia's that's words. That's what Sonia. That's why Sonia oh. hates her. Yeah. Oh. That was, these, are, these are not Ross's thoughts. That's the reason given. That's why Sonia. She's. I hate it how you come in my office with the energy of a leading lady I'm when you're sorry. actually just an I, extra. I thought you were Ooh. implying there that, that Sonia had like almost fallen in. She started off as a, a roster, like a wrestler, and now she's fallen into this quite prominent position on camera, but you're saying she's only got the skills of an extra. Oh, no, she on. would be a leading lady if I was Sonia okay, Deville. If I had the jacket on. Mm. But I've just got a shacket on. Yeah, yes. I've got true. the jacket on. That is a good throwback. Just a shacket. At one point, Sonia gets knocked to the outside and pretends not to see Naomi get a visual pin. Charlotte locks in the figure four, and Sonia calls for the bell immediately. And then Pat McAfee says, What in the Bret Hart? <laughs> yeah, it sounded about as natural as you just did. For the love of mankind. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. For the no. love of mankind. Yeah. Oh, Later backstage, Alan Pierce is being lectured on leadership by Eric Bischoff. What's he doing here? Uh, to prove he's a strong leader, he scolds Sonia for her bias against Naomi and says he'll recommend that upper management books a match between the two. Who is what? It's Vince. Vince is upper management. Yeah. yeah. Is it's, not, Linda, it's not Bischoff. Is Linda still... Because remember when Vince would be like consumed by power but then Linda would come in and sort it all out like the once board. a year. The board. Yeah. That the was until yeah, Vince. Vince had her sectioned. Oh. It was WrestleMania X7 then but then she got all the power. No, no, they, they divorced, and then, wasn't and then it? Triple no, H, they didn't divorce. Triple H told Vince he was sacked once. Pa she, I love you, Pop. <laughs> love he doesn't pop. love him now, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, Triple H regrets giving him his job. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I can't wait because yeah. a few hours from where as we're sat here now, well, it's going live on YouTube at least. Sonia's going to take on Naomi, 
And I hope she batters her. No, nope, I hope Naomi batters Sonia. <laughs> I hope Sonia batters Naomi. Right. <laughs> right. That only star. Sonia's barely had a look in so far. Yeah, uh, yeah. But no, yeah. Uh, I guess this did its job and people wanted that, but still the reason's not enough for me. There's something else there, Sonia. <clears throat> that Bischoff segment, even though Bischoff didn't do anything really and was just there for a paycheck, I guess. You said because he's probably good pals with Brucey e. P as well, so he's, you know. Um, didn't they're, well, they're not really. He's on oh, the podcast no. network. Isn't well, he? He's on the podcast network. Yeah, yeah, but they've said like they'll talk, but they're not like friends. Oh right. Oh. He's just oh. one of the one of cheap pop. Well, Bischoff keeps turning up anyway. He just he shows up. But um, he. Well, I thought when I was watching that, I was like, even though he's done nothing, he should be in Vince McMahon's role. If they want Vince in an on-screen role, he just can't do it anymore. Really, Bischoff is still charismatic. He can still do it. Mm. I think. I think that would be the way to go. I thought Bischoff. But Vince's ego would never let him, would he? <laughs> never would. I thought Bischoff <laughs> earned his money this week with this final line of the, that brought the entire ensemble to a nice end, a culmination, where he's like, now that's leadership. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> yes. blockbuster. Now that's <laughs> leadership. <laughs> is that Paul Daniels? <laughs> now <laughs> that's magic. Uh, yes, yeah, that's yes, it. it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we've got Ronan Keaton, YouTuber, yeah. Eric Bischoff, mag magician. Yep. <laughs> what next? Who would, oh, of course. Who would be his Debbie McGee out of interest? Eric Bischoff. Mm. Christy Hemi? <laughs> he wasn't really associated with anybody on stage. DDP's wife. Uh, Russo. DDP's wife? Wife swapping rumours back oh. in the day. Oh! Uh, you know, that's never come up tell you what, on Eric... his uh, podcast network, which means believe that because no one's asked him about it, it must be true. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Eric. I've forgotten about the golds. The golds club start anyway. We, we Eric was a handsome maybe. man, mm. very handsome in the nineties. And how, still, he's still a handsome. Man. Eric, you're a handsome man. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> That's how him and his wife met. Because I listened to one of his first podcasts. They were both models, I think. Yeah. Oh, as you do. This was years ago. This when I heard that, like, but I heard. I hope I've got that right. I That's, think that's right. Yeah. That story reminded me that. Do you remember when Jungle Boy got asked about like, oh, you're with Anna J? How did that start? And Jungle Boy's answer infuriated me. What was it? We realized that people are on a different level in life. He just went like, oh, he was so casual. He was like, yeah, yeah, we're at a party and I could see her giving me like the goo-goo eyes and stuff. So yeah, we got together. I'm like, oh, it must be so easy, Jungle Boy, <laughs> when you look like ye. <laughs> What's the goo-goo eyes? I don't know, but that's what he said. But uh, what? Well, he obviously knows what it looks like. Well, Gaga oh, I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. Every Well, he just said, she looked like every woman who looks at me, <laughs> basically. <laughs> was he dressed like Jungle Boy, though? Well, they were at a party or something. After they shows, shows up in his tights. But I'm like, oh, it must be so easy for people like Jungle Boy. Yeah. R rich, famous, handsome, hair. Mm. Oh. Oh. I know. Maybe I love him. Maybe that's why I'm angry. What a lucky Goyle. When he kisses the camera, I'm like, oh, it's like he's kissing me. <laughs> it's time for a British <laughs> dude saying with Sammy Zane. Oh, yes, here we go. Back on This track. time, he's going to prove he's tougher than Johnny Knoxville by shocking himself with a cattle prod. He does so by going, ooh, this tickles. Oh, it's a bit strong, that. But then Oxville shows up and goes, hang on, hang on. You don't have it turned on. So somebody goes, what? No. And he gets the prod and he does that. And over the PA, he goes, <laughs> It was actually Jaya Lee just stood there. Yeah. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> she sneezed. Uh, yeah. I, I yeah. love this segment no. with all my heart. The crowd did. Because first and foremost, the Johnny Knoxville line, and he said Johnny Gargano there, imagine that. Johnny Gargano and Jackass. The longest Jackass film ever recorded. You'll never get wiped out. <laughs> yeah. Just kept going, I'm fine. Kick out of everything. Having a game. I'm fine. Uh, I like them saying, oh, you're making a mockery of my profession. And now I'm going to do the same. Well, people say I'm doing it about yours. Now you're doing it to mine. I like that how he's flipped it on its head. Because people like Jim Cornette probably going, you can't have Johnny Knoxville and Ron Rimble. No, you can't. No, rest there. Yeah, but Knoxville's... <laughs> no, but then Connett would then say, yeah, but he's bigger than most of the guys at AEW, so... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Bugger off, Jim. <laughs> um, and then I like the fact that in the week where... I don't know who said it within the company, but they said that obviously AEW's women's division were doing self-mutilation and all that malarkey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They literally had Sammy in the ring doing uh, self-mutilation. Self yeah. The sh poo housery of that was fantastic. Oh, no swearing. And I'll That's tell fun. you what, in the spirit of Baron Corbin's trousers... This has disappeared from WWE's YouTube highlights. Uh, you can't I'm not getting that. tasered. I think oh, sorry, it's, probably, it's probably because they don't want kids doing it to themselves or their friends. Yeah. It's not gone. It's not on YouTube at all. You can't find it. It wasn't because the audio was horribly, horribly off. Maybe it could have been that as well. Buzzed. Uh -huh. Buzzed. Oh, crap, sorry. Buzzed. And then he threw him out the, the ring as well after, by the way. Yeah. Where are you getting a cattle prod from if you're a kid? That's what if I was you, if, you're prods a farm, if you're a farmer's child. Ah, uh -huh. but you get that done anyway, don't you? I know a few farmers. That's how they get brought up. Ah, oh. uh, you you dropped your spaghetti on the floor, did you? <laughs> don't touch my spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> 
Somebody. <laughs> oh, remember that? Yeah. Richard Tubman used to like that one. Yeah, he was a big days. fan of that one. Seen <laughs> laughing off camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rich Holland is back from his injury and watches from ringside as Sheamus beats Ricochet again. Another rematch. Yeah, yeah another from rematch. From Raw 2019, 2020, 2021. Yeah. Awesome. And they always week. deliver, but Ricochet's not winning. I didn't understand the point because they died this match last week, but better. And then they had a worse one this week. And Ridge made his big comeback this week, but didn't get involved in yeah. the straightforward win for Sheamus, which is what also happened last week. Therefore, proven that Ridge Holland is pointless. Against, <laughs> against Ricochet, yes. <laughs> yes, he is. I did like Michael Cole saying, uh, what was it about Sheamus? It was like, oh, it's a bit kid rock from Sheamus there, something like that, because it ain't cocky if you if back, you it, back up. it up. And then, yeah, Pat, did Pat like deadpan <sighs> go, I think he saved himself here. Pat just deadpan said, yeah, kid rock says many things. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, backstage, Rick Boogs and Nakamura bump into GCW upper main card and Jeff Jarrett, says okay. here. Book spells out Jarrett's name. Uh, Jarrett asks Boogs his name, and he does the introduction B double O G S. My name's no, my name's Rick Boogs. Yeah. He did his own one. And then IC Champ Nakamura watches on. Boogs started talking, and then they cut away. So was that deliberate? I don't know, but So anyway, was... Jeff, I've got some anyway. We'll, we'll never know how it's spelled. The reason B double O G Z. No, yeah. <laughs> the reason that I've mentioned the Nakamura thing is because he was stood there, IC champion, and I was like, oh god, he is. He is yeah. he is the IC champion. He's now. It's yeah. all about the boogs now. All about the boogs. This the start of this segment summed up everything wrong with like modern WWE for me. They were walking along, and then Boogs goes, Hey, Shinsuke, it's Jeff Jarrett. It's, it's, and the camera I hate pans, it they do that. and it is Jeff Jarrett. Why not just have Jeff Jarrett surprisingly appear? Why I'm getting I'm taught, I'm, that was a bit Alvarez. Yeah. Why not have him? Surprisingly, yeah. but yeah, it's like later day Simpsons and they're like oh, Tony Blair. Lady what God, are you yeah. doing here? Yeah. And you're like, oh, all right. this is what we're doing. If you're gonna have a surprise, just have the surprise. Yeah. Don't go look and spoil it first. Weird. Look, it's six time IC champion. This is reading off the Wikipedia page. Uh, former WWE world. Wow, really? Five times. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there, Jeff Jarrett. I love me a bit of Jeff. Look. Uh, Seth and Kev take on the Usos in the main event. Seth hits the stomp, but Roman interferes and hits a Superman punch to the DQ. You silly boy. Meaning the Usos are banned from ringside the Rumble, but they didn't get a pinfall loss, so it's okay. That's guard level stuff, son. That's silly stuff. Yeah. Roman's. Oh, no, Roman gave him his word in the opening promo, so he just did what he said he was going to do. Because that's guard level stuff, son. I think if Roman still had the counsel of Paul Heyman, he wouldn't have made <laughs> such a tactical blunder. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's a sign. I know that, I know that he's just taking his finisher. But you've got to take a chance, Roman. Never give up. This guy, I don't know what. I reckon, I'm going to say, <laughs> I just mentioned this in the predictions video that me and Andrew shot this morning. It'll be on the channel by now. Go and watch it. It's flipping great. Ooh. But I reckon just because they're banned, that doesn't mean Solo Sokoa's banned. Oh. oh. I don't know if that's too fanciful. Oh. In my I don't know opinion. if The nah. Rock's banned. Whoa. Oh, that's too, that is too far. Banned. Oh. Afar or Seeker are banned. <laughs> oh, God. Let them know about Seeker. That was class when Paul Heyman said that. Because yeah. I was like, that's his dad. Then I Googled it to make sure that was the right one. I was like, it is, yeah, it's his no, dad. Do, it's the one who looks like Roman Reigns. A bit. He does. Does he? One of them looks more like Roman than the other, and that's mm. his dad. I've never studied them. Uh, Roman looks like a, is it, how am I going to get this right? A yassification of some of the guys from the 80s anyway. A yassification. That's not how you say that, is it? A yassification? Damn it, it's me trying to see stuff I've seen on Twitter. The pretty boy version. Oh, right. I don't know. A, a glow up? Yeah. Should have just gone with that anyway. Mm. AEW Rampage. It's completely moved topics away from my complete butchering of the English language. <laughs> John Moxie has his return match against Ethan Page and wins with a bulldog choke. The Ace of Paradigm shift on Page and leads through the crowd, but passes Brian Danielson, who sarcastically applauds. Ooh! Mm. Let's have it! Yeah, I like Danielson. that he, he finished just with the choke, and that was it. It's like, oh, great! And Moxie's like, nah, it's going hit me finish on him. Yeah. It was nice. It was good. Yeah, did exactly what you needed to do. Yeah. Danielson going, ha, ha, ha. Sad that Moxie didn't apologize to us, but, you know. <laughs> oh. Another thing by the GC Dub uh, show when it, Homicide versus Moxie happened. Giant crap. Homicide? Homicide, yeah. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Homicide. I just pictured Homer Marge Simpson side, doing like, yeah. Homer, <laughs> homicide. Homicide. Hom homicide. 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 You committed a homicide. Homicide. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Homicide. Do you think his name was Homer? <laughs> I said him side. His real name is like Homer. I'll call myself Homicide. <laughs> homicide, who's <was> friends, <laughs> took on John Moxie, and there's a giant 
you know, the way they do it. Uh, screw Bully Ray. Screw Bully Ray. Uh, yeah. That was nice. He's out of order like Bully Ray. There's being a shock jock than there's being that. Yeah. No. Tosser. R- rest of a podcast, they just say things to get people talking about them. Yeah. So, and it works so well, too. Well, we have, You're yeah. so smart. This match was great, though. The big yeah. shots, the lariats, the knees. Yes. Yeah. The other things. You look great. Yeah. That's yeah. the point. It's like, wow, that, that, that time off. Did wonders for you. A shout out to the shoulder tackle Paige did to Mox and Mox went through the ropes and down to the floor. Mm. Not enough people get your meat and potatoes nailed like that. <laughs> it sensed it. No, you know no, what I mean? No, 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 you mean. Do the basics with yeah. such a plum. Your bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah. Aye. There was a bit where, oh no, that was on Dynamite, not on Rampage. But when Cody clotheslined Sammy over the guardrail, I was like, oh, oh he gave him a, yeah, I was like, you better go over, pal. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. That gave me a similar feeling to this show. He went, Sammy. I know I'm winning. He went, huh, huh. <laughs> uh, And Trent Breda beats Nick Jackson in a match with lots of kickouts, it says here. Yes. This was obviously going to be the tag match between Rapongi Vice versus the Young Bucks, but then uh, he got. COVID. This confuses me. I thought Rampage was recorded after Dynamite. This would have been this is last a live, week. This is a live one. Oh, sorry. It's a live oh, one. Oh, this was a live one. It's was a live it? one. Oh, right. That, okay, now it makes sense. And that's, thank Wrigley, you for answering like my question. all sorts. Yeah. Okay, no mind. Disregard that. So, yeah, it was fine. A very rare singles match for one of the Jacksons. It's always Nick, though. Yeah. Because he's the better one. Yeah. Uh, he's better one. <laughs> yeah. He's far superior wrestler in every way, isn't he? No. Tricky Nicky. Well, obviously not here. The he's crowd, better, the crowd would Nick's better at the moves, but when it comes to... The little things. <laughs> I think Matt's better. He does sell his back well. Yeah, yeah. he does always sell He's permanently back. injured. Yeah. Um, the crowd were dead for this one, though, I thought. It was quite painful to watch at times, just how much they were sat on their hands. I came after Mox. Aye. Maybe that was part of it, part of the reason. In the mm. refraction period, is that what it's called? Uh, oh, it's... Well, yeah, I think so, because I knew what you meant. Yeah. Technically, you're correct, but oof. Oh, mm. on a related note, cultaholicshop.com now stocks Ooh. blood socks. Blart socks. Yeah. What's a blart sock? A blart sock is what a certain person back in the day would accuse professional wrestling fans of doing in their spare time. Oh, a blart sock. A blart sock. Blart, otherwise meaning jism. Oh, yep, there we go. There yeah. you go. No need for Sully. Um, come rag. Yeah. <laughs> come Tuesday. Not- you could be a different sort of come Tuesday with your own cultaholic blart sock. Cultaholicshop.com. <laughs> That's right. Become a <laughs> cumaholic. What is my job? Become a comma holic Have we got any here? We'll have them out there, but they're out. We'll, we'll get some for the next segment. Have you passed the cum socks, please? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a long podcast. We'll get them before the next segment. Speaking of... Mm-hmm. Hook squashes Sir Pendico. <laughs> <laughs> no. And wins by submission. No, no. Did no. you Did find yourself show. struggling while watching Hook this week? <laughs> well, fear no more. <laughs> Someone else to get hooked on. <laughs> QT Marshall tries to confront Hook as he leaves, but he earns him a suplex on the stage and he walks out of him. He didn't even oh. he didn't even wait until Serpenta goes like tassel streamers had dissipated. Shove your streamers up your ass. And then Serpenta did a really good job of bumping and rolling and tangling himself up yeah. like a spider, like a fly in a spider's web. Yeah. And that spider is Hook. That's right. <laughs> it's beautiful. So Pentico was good on Twitter in the build-up to this, because he was like, he sent a message to TK. But like beforehand, it showed his previous search history. It was like, how do I beat Hook? <laughs> <laughs> what does he call himself on Twitter now? Sp- it's not Spider Man, is it? He does some no. sort of like. It's a Pendico. Um, yeah. Snake Man. Is that oh, Snake, Snake Man? Oh, oh right, right, right. Yeah. Spider Man. Bloody <laughs> hell. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, I missed something here. His name's Sir Pentico. Yeah. Not Spider Pentico. Oh, I give up today. <laughs> no, Spider Pentico is too busy in uh, AAA. Uh, <laughs> Jade Cargill faces Anna Jay in the main event. She powers out the Queen Slayer en route to retaining the TBS title. And you know what? Considering the inexperience of Jade Cargill, and I think Anna, and Anna as well, yeah. this was sweet. Yeah, was this good. was a very well put together match. They got a big reaction than Trent and Nick. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah. Now I was very impressed with this match. I'm always impressed by Jade Cargill, but this was a match where I can go, ha ha, she can wrestle. No, 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 no. It was very throwback in its nature. You could picture Jade Cargill being Vader, right? Yeah. And... And Anna Jay being Sting from way back in the day. The plucky yeah. underdog against the big bruiser. And she really was Sting because she didn't win. Oh. <laughs> I like the basketball bit, though, because that oh. tells me that Shaq is coming back. Oh. Got to be. She's doing all that business, wasn't she? That's <laughs> it. That's you dancing at the start again. <laughs> Just doing a key in the African. Oh, thing. God. <sighs> so, yeah, that was Rampage. Monday Night Raw. Our second place in Move of the Week, by the way, oh, was the yes. one-armed power bomb. From Jade Cargill to set up the finish. Mm. Yeah. The height, nearly as high as a basketball rim. 
I ten, reckon. Ten feet. Ten feet. It's probably, oh. yeah. Could be. A head should have smashed like glass. Oh, look uh, at me trying to... I play basketball now. Ten feet, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pathetic, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, Monday Night Raw. The show begins with Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley's weigh-in. Not sure why they are weighing in. There's actually mm. been a proper weight limit no. just, for these. Because it's Lesnar and he's all MMA. For the belt that Finn Balor's held and Kevin Owens <laughs> has held. Yeah. Anyway, MVP talks up Bobby's chances. Brock isn't taking things seriously. Turning up in street clothes and a cowboy hat. Ye ho. Oh, sexy bastard. He chokes with Heyman that on Sunday morning there'll be a new W champion. Yeah, it was a bit weird. I'll try and do the bit. He's like, oh yeah, that's right, Paul Heyman. I can I'll give you a spoiler. The new champ's going to beat me in eight minutes. With the Hurt Lock or whatever. It'd be brand new to be champion. Bobby who? And you get what they were doing, but it, it kind of whatever. Is the story that Bobby's sort of like the plucky under... Because I know Bobby's definitely still being built as a baby face plucky here. Plucky underdog, Bobby. Yeah, but it's like... The literal baby face. But then you've yes. got the cocky baby face going, oh, who? Bobby who? We might supposed to be like, he's Bobby Lashley, man. Yeah. I believe in you, Bobby. Mm. <laughs> I think at this point it is... Yeah, you are, you're right. Wait, is there a... Is anyone supposed to be the good person here? Because I thought it was Brock, but then yeah. Bobby's a good guy I now. Thought Brock which is was like, be wait, the... where did that come from? Because when if it does lead to Brock versus Roman at WrestleMania, everyone, will... Brock's going to be the face again. Yeah. So have they? They can't have turned him heel. That makes sense though, because Roman's the biggest heel on SmackDown, maybe in WWE. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, next uh, to Pat McAfee. <laughs> but the, the joke didn't work as well because it was like. I'm going to tell this whole story where you beat me and then the punchline is I still don't know who you are though. I was like, well, yeah, but you think he's going to beat you, do you? I don't know. It didn't work for yeah. me. It was so weird, but Brock has this insane charisma, even if he's got a cowboy hat and jeans and everything like that. All he needs is a, a boom three. box or anything like that and that's a new meme. So it was good when he just said that he pulled Corey Graves' pants down metaphorically speaking when he was like, do you want me to get naked for you, Corey? Ugh. And Corey was like, well, how dare you take the piss out of the character of Corey Graves? <laughs> Setting up Corey versus Brock at WrestleMania. <laughs> He's cleared. Anyway. But you know what? Doesn't matter. The segment could have been good or bad. I'm still hyped to see this match. And I think that's what people are cheering for. The idea of getting yeah. Brock versus Bobby. I don't know why they even bother with the weigh-in. Gotta do something, right? Well, had the clothes on, didn't they? The sanctity of the weigh-in. Terrible. Gone. Forgotten. I almost <laughs> had the feeling like... <laughs> point, actually, and yeah. then there wasn't anything... Like, there wasn't a brawl. There wasn't any... Like, it was almost like they had something else planned, but then couldn't do it for some reason, and they just filled time. Any Fine. other synonyms of way? Well, well, like, different meanings of way, I mean. Not synonyms, that's different. Wait, you yeah, going to say a synonym of way, I don't know. Measure? Wait, what do you mean? What you're I'm just trying to, like, if they build it as a way in for over a week, so what oh, else could way, way be? Oh. The way in. It was the, I don't know, it was the... The Gram Off, no. The no, debut no. of the... <laughs> I like Gram Off. Gram Off. Sounds, like sounds like a drug festival. <laughs> Calm down, Ross. Hey. Um, <laughs> Bank of Bel Air easy beats Queen Zelina. Yep. Reversal from the standing suplex into a stunner by Zelina was slick, like blot off a tooth. Oh, Callaholicshop.com. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, it was a thing. It was a thing. Kevin Hang on, I've written down here. Bianca oh. wrestled the match like she was the big show, and Zelina was Zach Gowan. Weird scenes, but enjoyable all the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind watching pictures of Zach Gowen again. Uh, Kevin Owens faces Damian Priest for the US title. He wins, but only via DQ after Priest ignores the referee. He did a Natalia. Count. He did a bloody Natalia. That's only happened three no, days No, he's before. done a Priest. Yes, yes. We had this exact same finish with mm. Dolph Ziggler yeah. and Nakamura. Yeah. And these are the last few films. He's like a rubbish PG version of Ken Shamrock back <laughs> in the day. But Ken wasn't called evil man shamrock and jim ross was going well we're gonna see the evil man version of the shamrock or the shamrock version of the shamrock <laughs> or the sh yeah God. <laughs> i thought this made him like a bit of a heel he's meant yeah. to be baby face isn't he no the priest bit's a face but the damien bit's a heel yeah healy facey heel face it's a really face. simple gimmick to execute surely you just don't have him do this sort of stuff in a title match just to keep him, you know, sort of cheered and whatnot. Because mm. he gets a he gets a decent enough ovation when he comes out. I don't know why they booked it because the, the, Kev's in a bit of a prominent position, so they couldn't beat Kev. They couldn't have him lose, but why not have someone else? They've done it again, mm. just like last week's main event. They've booked themselves into a corner. Mm. They didn't have to do it. Yeah. And then backstage, Sonya Deville warns Priest to get himself under control. And he goes, "Oh yeah." She like, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. He didn't argue. He was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I'm sorry, no, you're right. It's my name, it's my gimmick, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Sonia Deville. <laughs> it doesn't matter, she'll be out of a job next week, or tonight. 
Yeah. Well, she gets her arse handed to her by mm. Naomi. Yeah. Sling your hook. Still oh, technique. hook. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Call yeah. 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 <laughs> Rhea, Rhea Ripley teams of Liv Morgan and Dana Brooke to beat the trio of Carmella, Tamina, and Nikki Ash. After Bell, Nikki cheap shots Ripley and runs away laughing. He, he, he. I don't care about this feud, unfortunately. I'm, it's not oh, the you don't like it yet? I like both of the women involved. I just don't. Mm. I'm so happy that they're giving us something that isn't that crap anymore. She's actually think she okay. thinks she's the, the actual superhero. That is an improvement, yes. The rest of it's whatever. But... I thought this was fantastic from start to finish because first and foremost, we had the baby faced Dana Brooke cutting the promo where she's like, call me crazy, but I think I can win the women's rumble match. <laughs> Come on, Dana. How, who, who's going to get behind that? <laughs> Where's the belief? Where's the self-confidence, man? Get yourself a superhero outfit, Dana Brooke. <laughs> and anything can be a superpower. Who can and, get behind that? <laughs> and, until a few years ago, Corey Graves. And then, right, they have this tag team match from the women's division, but they have one half of the women's tag team champions take place in a singles match a cup way earlier in the night even though there was a tag team match coming up, which one half of the tag team took, took, oh, took part yeah. in. How does that make any sense? Yeah. What's going on there? Hmm. Yeah. It's the women's tag team title division. <laughs> is it? They barely yeah, exist. Yeah, they're, cl- they're clinging on. Yeah. Who cares? Shush. It's now time. <laughs> for Alpha Academy's Intellectual Challenge. Oh, which Chad Cable tells us is actually the first of three events taking place in the next few weeks. Oh, goody. Hooray. RK Bro arrived for a spelling B. <laughs> Otis correctly spells elemental. It doesn't. No, he didn't. Who read that down? No, he didn't. Elemental cheese. He, he said it incorrectly. He, he, missed, the out, he missed off the A, yeah. Did he? He did. He spelled it wrong. Oh, he's they had M- just, M-N-T. Mm. But they had to just... They had and just they carried on like he did, so... I was just too lost in, oh, the fat man knows how to spell the food, does he? Ha, ha, ha. It's really funny. Riddle correctly spells calibration because your synonym for way and calibrate. That's how you get your stems and your illegal drugs, Randy. He's like, oh, okay. The only thing I calibrate is putting stuff in women's bags back in the day. Should have paused after women's. I'm sorry. <laughs> the look at your face. <laughs> Jesus, wondering where the hell it was going. Then. I was about. To, I was. I was almost off my seat. I was terrified. <laughs> going for the radio edit button. Uh, Gable's word is dil- disillusion, but he spells dissolution. Mm, L u t i o n. Instead, he gets annoyed because you're so cocky. You see, he didn't get the definition because he's Chad Gable and he's a Chad. <laughs> Orton correctly spells dumbbell. One well, of the most incorrectly spelled words in. The world. Do people usually put one B? Yeah. Ah. It's a dumb bell. Mm. Yeah. Meaning RK Bro win the spelling B. Orton and Gay will have a singles match, which Orton wins, of course. <laughs> Must beat Orton and Raw. After Riddle attacks Otis with a scooter on the outside. That seemed needlessly aggressive from Riddle. So <laughs> he cut to the outside and he went, yeah, with the scooter. I was like, wow, are we in yeah. biker right now? What's going on? <laughs> Riddle I've gets... read a story about that, by the way. A oh, poor, go on. poor fella had a. Um, one of the e-scooters, the orange ones yeah. in town, thrown off, thrown off. I think it was off the time bridge, the high-level really? bridge, landed. Jesus. I don't know if it was on him or next. Can you Google that, please, Richard? Ooh. I don't want to say it hit him without it saying. I just saw the, the the headline this morning. It was that's, on the Chronicle. That's scary. Terrible. Jesus. You're also not going to have those scooters in that area. Oh, it's, it's a mess. Are you not? I don't know. There's but a limit to where you can hard. take them. They are lethal. Well, if you throw it. Oh, that's just oh, a... Right. That's, yeah. <laughs> It was on the Chronicle today, but it'll, oh, there you go. Dad's horror is e-scooter flung from high-level bridge, so it's even Ooh, higher than the time bridge. Wow. Now he misses his young son. Whew. At least everyone got away unscathed. Yeah. That is come, mad, For though. comparison, they should have a little Shane McMahon coming down yeah. to <laughs> show how high-level that was. But yeah, I'm glad that was a, a miss. Or we'll be making a horrible joke like that. I came yeah. away from this segment, though, thinking Gable should be a main eventer. He can do everything, that fella. Yeah. Comedy, yeah. serious wrestling there. I like the strategy going after the legs. He's jacked as well. He, the cell of the RKO. Yeah. Whoa! He did a full-on RVD pack, put yeah. your forearm down and flip over th- sort of thing. This is the Chad Gable we've been waiting to see for forever. Yeah. Now that we've the smell of Shorty G is cleared, and it's just the smell of Lynx Africa instead. <laughs> so He doesn't he uses old spice in, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Chad. Yeah, glad we all like that. I like Randy Orton getting in the scheme of things and be like, okay, I'll spell it dumbbell. Do you um, <laughs> just. It, it, it's not, again, I'm, I'm, so part of me is coming towards it, but I like the Randy bits. Him just being the straight man going, okay. <laughs> he's the, I guess I'll do the scooter yeah, race. He's only next wise week. to Riddle's Eric Morkham. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Fire line from Corey Graves as well. Sorry to change the direction of the conversation. Riddle spent most of his life in the state of, state of Ohio, minus the O's. Uh huh. That's bad. That's rubbish, though. That's, that's a really good line. Rubbish. That's not. <laughs> I don't like it. Mm. 
He's mm. high all the time, isn't he? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a subtlety that I appreciate. <laughs> In therapy, Alexa Bliss rambles about first meeting Lily when she was six years old, and they fade out as she talks, and that's it. Yeah, what? Was there a bit missing here? Or I know. Was, that, was that supposed to be a I joke did. that she talked a lot? I, I thought you were supposed to talk a lot during therapy. We learned that Alexa Bliss looked a bit funny in her glasses when she was a child. Right. I mean, that's really biting on the arse now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How's she coping, eh? The goddess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I and wish it was still the goddess gimmick. I'm, I'm sick of this. I think it's coming back. I think that's where this is going. Yeah. Oh, really? And well, I guess we also learned that. Uh, well, Alexa Bliss murdered a couple of teenagers in her in her youth. Oh, Lily did. Claimed it was Lily, but you know. It's not. <laughs> oh, she means she's good enough for NXT then, huh? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, just oh, just sorry, landlords, landlords. Oh ah. yes, I see. Ah. The electricity. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Backstage, Austin. Th- oh. Backstage, so a bit cruel booking this, so I have the Alexa Bliss segment. Austin Theory asked Vince McMahon to give him a later number in the Royal Rumble. Vince claims <laughs> he has no influence on that, which is a massive lie. Vince tells Theory to focus on his opponent tonight, AJ Styles. Uh, Theory and AJ have a fairly long match with Styles eventually wins. Um, you know what I noticed? Thoughts, Ross. During Austin Theory's entrance, he first of all starts doing that, and then he does that, but does that at the end? <laughs> So he's taking the You Can't See Me and Orton's, hey! Mm. But then he goes, Pew, at the end. Gosh. What Hidden. a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Heat, he's got, he's done it. And, ah, get him in get him in wrestler's court with all the small, winky wrestlers. Ah, <laughs> beautiful tweet by Paul. You don't hear much about those uh, wrestler's courts anymore, do you? Oh, just, I seems, wonder why. It seems to be an Undertaker thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. They just Make have a little combat tournament room leader, to sort things out. Putting people's flags down the toilet. Yeah. So... Austin Theory is, in a way, he's just got the similar gimmick to Grayson Waller, but not as he's more silly. Because yeah. Grayson Waller's like, oh, I'm as big a star as Robin Ryan. Look at me. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, you're not. Boo. Austin yeah. Theory's like, look, it's me and Vince. I've got Snapchat, me. In the in the <laughs> God. In the the backstage segment before the match, Vince is like a broken AI. Like he doesn't respond to things in the right way. So Austin Theory goes. Vince, I'm just going to tell you now, I'm feeling confident. I'm going to win the Rumble, right? And Vince goes, oh, that's fantastic. And I'm like, it didn't seem like he was answering. The way he delivered it wasn't, it was like he was answering something else. It was really weird. It feels like any time he's come in, there's no like evolution of these segments. I have Austin Theory's like, you're right, I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to win my match tonight. Working hard. I hate it when people work hard. Yeah. My number one peeve. All right, okay, I'll, I'll work less hard. Laziness. I hate laziness more than anything else. <laughs> all, right, all right, well, I'm going to win the match tonight. I hate people who think they can win every match. Oh, God. It's like, I, I don't get the point of no. what is this supposed to be. There's no evolution or leveling up. It's just Vince trying to prove to the stockholders he is actually alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not failing very, in the process. did a very good job. No. There could be someone's hand stuck up his ass for all we know, just mm. going, meh, meh, controlling him like a ventriloquist. Hey, 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 Vince, where, where's the door? <laughs> oh, thanks, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't laugh. He's getting old, bless him. Oh, it's Vince Getting Ryan. old. <laughs> his mum's 101. Is she alive? Yeah. Wow. That's where that Brucey P quote came from this yeah. week. Because his mom's under one. Was, I think someone, was it Mailback or just Conrad? One of the two. Just was like, oh, can you ever see Vince McMahon walking away? Yeah, that was the bit on the yeah. Rumble 05. Because, like, yeah, Vince was old when he tore both his quads at Rumble 05. Yeah. And, like, and but Vince, reading the melts a bit about, like, oh, Vince's age and, you know, getting on a bit is a cause for concern for many people. Like, how long can he keep on doing this? So, like, well, that was 05. We're going to carry on now. <laughs> He's still doing it. Can you imagine Vince Stein? Because, yeah, but that won't be for a, a long time. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it's literally. It won't be. It'd be impossible to imagine him not. He's from great stock. How old was his dad? His dad was an old fellow as well, wasn't he? Oh, he didn't know his dad. Yeah, his stepdad, yeah. yeah. His stepdad. Oh. Look at me. Mm. Later. Back and forth uh, match, though, between Styles and, yeah. and Theory. I thought it was quite nice. Yeah, nice way of killing some time. AJ doing nice something that isn't some time. Yeah. <laughs> This is two of the premier professional wrestlers in the world going at it. Toe-to-toe in the squared circle. <laughs> killing some time. Hashtag <laughs> Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Via is still coming to Raw. Oh yes. I've not, so I don't what else? What is Via going to need I when he uh, gets when he arrives in WWE with all that come, Ross? With all that, oh, because he's coming. He's been coming for three months. So he'll uh, need he'll need a, an, an official cultaholic. Ah, sorry, Blood Soccer cultaholicshop.com. We'll have the comrade 
Thompson ad- live advert. Blue Chew! It. You take your Blue Chew and then use your cultaholic blood sock to catch all your cum. Do you own or rent your home? <laughs> That's great. You can come in your house. We get a split screen interview with Becky Lynch and Dewdrop. Is this going to get demonetized? Nah. <laughs> It's all right, we'll get all that money from the socks. To be fair, we've sat here for weeks and gone, come Tuesday. Yeah. So it doesn't recognize I think after a certain point where even the advertisers are like, ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm done with this rest of my life. Uh-huh. Uh, they talk trash back and forth until Dewdrop storms off and finds the room Becky is in. Dewdrop attacks, but the backstage crew pull them apart. The BSK. Yeah, the yeah. Back- <laughs> yeah, BSK. Godfather's in there. Savio Vega, yeah. yeah. Get off him, bear. You've so been a bit too rough. I hate when you... It makes me feel weird for some reason when I'm saying... Because it is weird. Paul's Godfather The Undertaker bear. is nicknamed for the Godfather as Bear. And that'll never rest easy with my hey, mind. Hey, Big Bear. Smash him sat on the plane <laughs> hey, like, there. hey, Bear, do you want a nut? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, go on. No, go on, other, too easy. Any other snack. <laughs> too easy. <laughs> yeah, he's because people come up to him and go, yo, Undy. He's like, right, that's it. You're all getting nicknames. Imagine Pac. All right, Undies. <laughs> How are you doing, pal? Oh. Undies? Undies uh, what? Undies nuts. <laughs> what are the other ones? Yeah. Piglet. Christopher Robin. <laughs> Safia Vegas, Christopher Robin. Hey, Christopher Robin. And for most of the roster between the years of 01 to 07, uh, not ready. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they do the thing. This was Dewdrops, we- Dewdrops going up. Uh, like we just, just a, uh, I'll say, a, the thing that you squeeze the thing A out. pipette. A pipette. A pipette. Every week she goes up a bit. Dewdrop. This was good how she was just like, oh, bollocks to this, I'm going to go and fight her and bar her. That was yeah, good. That was good. But you're watching it like, Becky's being a cocky heel and Dewdrops being a boring heel. <laughs> Who are we supposed to cheer for? Yeah, it's, it's, like, Becky Lynch. it's like Brock, Bobby. It's like, wait a minute, hang on. Yeah. I think we're meant to cheer for Ronda Rousey in this feud. Yeah. If she wins the Rumble. Bianca could. Yeah. She I needs revenge on Becky Stone. I'm guessing Asuka that's could, why I'm yeah. Asuka, mm-hmm. yes. I'm still sticking with that. That's my pick last I'm week. I'm going ready. to be a mother. Ties it all back into that, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hang on. I had to realise, like, hang on, when did Asuka say that? <laughs> 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 Backpacking through. That's a horribly <laughs> offensive racist accent. Just comes out and says that. So, oh, yeah. I can comfortably say that's one accent you'll never hear on the Cult Olic Wrestling podcast. Oh, that's all right. We're going to do the acceptable accent. <laughs> anyway, Ray Ray talks about how cool it is to be on the cover of 2K22. Is in, it, Ray? He nominated Dominic have a cheeky bit of banter about eliminating each other from the Rumble on Saturday in the feud that never is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. The pair have a tag match against the Street Profits, which the Mysterios win after a roll up from Ray. Profits in the heel role again. You know, like they're not it. bona fide heels. I don't like it at all. They're just, they're not the heels. They're just the, not as liked as the other lads, the wrestlers. I would, like them more than the Mysterious so in argue, the tag team ranks. I'll tell these, tell these people here in Ohio. And I just mm. up, they've got their noses up that Ray Mysterious arse, haven't they? These people who book the wrestling shows. Yeah. 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 It, it, it is grim though, isn't it? Like Ray Mysterio on 2K22. It's like, well, you know, he transcends a lot of markets and has been around forever. But it's like the optional pack you can get with the th- is the NWO. I'm like, <laughs> like nothing has happened in wrestling the past 10 and years. And the other thing you can get is the, the three faces of Undertaker, isn't it? Okay, great. Yeah. To be fair, I reckon they must, must have had like a... wrestling stop when Vincent, <laughs> yeah, Austin just... shook, when Vincent Austin shook hands? That was it. Wrestling yeah, stopped then. Nothing has ever happened Whoa. after that. Yeah. It's, it's all you get for watching wrestling. It's like, just, is it nothing? All right. We should be getting like 2009 packs. Yeah. Featuring Trent. <laughs> Carlito. <laughs> Tyler Rex. Kennedy. Alex <laughs> Riley. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the anonymous Raw GM. <laughs> <laughs> the button that comes up, you press it. <laughs> <sighs> and your Doggins. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. After the match, Dom tries to throw Ray over the top rope, but Ray reverses it and sends Dom over the top. Montez Ford throws out Ray, blah, 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 blah. Everyone comes out and throws each other. But then I the good guys... Down, I wrote those down specifically. Do you really want... Okay, sorry. Angelo so Dawkins doing, throws out Ford. There's one Ford. in Dynamite as well, by the way, one of these little lists. Oh, here. I see. Angelo Dawkins throws out Ford. The dirty dogs there run in go. and throw out Dawkins. I'm so can't happy. skip the dirty yeah. dogs coming. I'm, I'm so, so happy. I, I apologize. They made their way all the way to Raw, not booked on the card, <laughs> just to win the Royal Rumble of 2022. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> yeah, why did on they roll. do that? Yeah, why did they do that? <laughs> it makes no sense. Drove all the way cross country we're going to throw them out the ring after their match come That'll on show yeah. them he's just paycheck in the biz 
<laughs> the good guys team up to clear the ring, but are all wary of each other as the segment ends. Ooh, maybe it was worth it. Tell you what, if Ziggler or Rude win the Rumble, and we'll eat, we'll be eating oh, our words. Oh, they've sowed gonna... the psychological seeds of mistrust in the faces. They then. are the least likely to win of anybody <laughs> because of a backstage altercation that took place on the YouTube channel or WWE.com or something like that. You'll never guess who the Dirty Dogs bumped into. Who? It's not Bischoff. It's not Jeff Jarrett. It's who? nighttime. Oh, it's night time. Oh, my God, yes. And night time oh. is the right time. Yes. And Ellie and I, because I thought when I saw the screen grab of them, I was like, oh, my God, they're a trio now. It just works. Three middle-aged shaggers going to take the world by storm. But no, <laughs> it was Ziggler and Rude going <laughs> to LA night, right? I don't know. He must be pushing 40 now. They're like, hey, kid. <laughs> 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 well, you lost. <laughs> then LA Knight just put some Kavorka on their asses, and they're just going to be buggered on Sunday, I think, by LA Knight. Yeah. He, It'll be he fantastic. Really... He, he telt them. He telt them what was up. It's going to be such a loud pop. Is it? Night comes on. Is it? It's, it's going to be a it, street, yeah. It's going to be a <laughs> No, I reckon. Where's the rumble being held? Do we know? Um, uh, St. Louis. Missouri, yeah. Oh, yeah, they love him there. It's yeah. going to be a screech because it's going to be all the chickadees who right. cannot handle a Kavorka. Right. <laughs> like Beatlemania. <laughs> but LA Knight is there. They're trying to call spots, but they can't even hear themselves because of the noise. <laughs> Women I said Irish whip. <laughs> One tries to get in the ring. <laughs> Have me panty. And I said the Geordie word there for it there, but it always gets demonetized. Is it? Yeah, don't say ever say that. throw me undies. Throw, me undies. Undies. <laughs> <laughs> throw the panties, LA Knight said. Thank you. Thank you very much. He's Elvis, he's Elvis now, <laughs> as well as the Beatles. He's all, he's all of the Beatles and Elvis. Uh, Thank you, I'm John Lennon. Seth is interviewed backstage. All of <laughs> it says he's making one more trip to smack them before the Rumble. Ah, oh, good, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I didn't. I just included it because. Yeah. Well, well, will it, will yeah. they beat their record of 14 and a half minutes before something happens on this week's SmackDown? No. Oh. <laughs> That no, was if it's like this episode of Raw, no, I'll be a good 15 minutes. I tell you what, I've been on, obviously we've all been a big fan of the Tribal Chief. Mm. But now that was the first week. Will it continue? I hope not. I hope it's not been tarnished forever. Mm. I so disagree. Be... He's, he's still mint. Aye. Still mint. Just anyway. takes a while to get going. Yeah. Blue Chew! <laughs> uh, Miz brings Maurice to the ring for our main event segment, her Bufti. He gives her several gifts, including... Oh, okay. I like this, actually. The the way they did this was they had all the boxes set up, mm. like every other segment they've ever done with the big stuff. And then they go to the, oh, well, I'm going to open this box. What, the big one? says, yeah. I got, I, I don't got, you the... got, Yeah. if you didn't get me it, and I didn't get you it. It's stick. Security, <laughs> yeah. security. And you open it up, and it's just a brick. Like, ah, what, you think we're going to fall for that? <laughs> what, the one box where a guy could fit in? Ah, yeah, oh, yeah. shut up. I'm like, yeah. Whoever's that idea. Made that made the segment. That wasn't Vince's idea. It probably was yeah. Miz's idea. I hope it was Miz's idea. I think Miz gets to do whatever he likes in these segments. Monroe oh, Sky, legends. I reckon. What? I reckon Monroe Sky <laughs> wise them up. <laughs> hey, brothers. If you go to Nick Khan and be like, well, we want to make reference to that other segment that happened a few years ago. Nick Khan just looked at him dead like, I have no idea. <laughs> Sting wrestled here. What was that? Anyway, so that happens. I'm like, all right, well, good night. Have a good rumble. And then, wait a minute. Uh-oh. So, yeah, they've hired private security. Yeah. To make so sure no one can, interrupts. Yeah, right. So, of course, them to buy Edge and Beth, who beat up all the security, because Beth Phoenix is huge. <laughs> <laughs> She's bigger than that dog we've got in the Hall of Fame. She is... Wow. In a different way, we should say. Yeah, yeah, oh, she's stacked, <laughs> jacked, and st all the things that Bubba Ray used to say yeah. about Devon. Slim, yeah, trim, yeah, yeah, buff, yeah. cut, ripped, chiseled, and jacked. Yeah. Yes. And you go home and call her Come on, dot com. Stop it. No, it's looking good, all right. They beat up all the security while Ms. and Maurice bravely run away. Edge power bombs the last security guy through Maurice's birthday cake. <laughs> then the show. I thought Edge and, Be and um, Beth Phoenix were the biggest heels in the business. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they beat up all these men? These poor, these poor Edge, yeah, they just, they just because Miz and Maurice ran workers. away and they kept beating them up. Yeah, and then he power bombed him through the cake. Edge and Beth should start working for the Metropolitan Police Force in London because they would have taken Boris's party and they would have done something oh, about this. Oh, oh, right? Yeah. What do you think that was going? A, a bunch of a lot of other <laughs> different, <laughs> different directions. Yeah. Well, but well, yes, they would have. Been, yeah, there we go. They would edit because I thought this is what Boris's party would have been like. His wife Carrie being in the role of Miz. The security everywhere, keeping all the, the, the lockdown hunters. The lockdown hunters? What am I on about now? You know what I'm on about. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I thought there was going to be more. It felt like you cut I'm that off. I'm Riker. Like... <laughs> and I'm the other guy. Today we are. The lockdown hunters. <laughs> it felt like you cut that off like 30% of the way. So oh, I, was I gave from... up. It was bollocks. 
bollocks, I tell thee. I felt filthy. We had the GCW PAs at the take it home, take it home. Hit me, yeah, Richard Tubman. Will you shut up, man? <laughs> Crap. I felt dirty watching Edge do a 3D, though. That's not right. Why is everyone doing a 3D all of a sudden? Or a 1D everyone's, or a... Everyone's favourite Bubba Ray. Yeah. <laughs> well, what was Edge and Christian's double team move? They had that one? Oh, they had the, the double, su- the super duperplex, I called it, but they stopped doing that quite early on because we put one guy on the shoulders and he'd do superplex because the guy on the shoulders would just like land on yeah. the head and neck every time, so. There was the one, it wasn't a finisher by any means, but it was like a... Oh, like, the sidewalk sign reverse DDT combo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the concerto, which they can't do anymore. Well, yeah. Mm. yeah. They could, only, could have done that with like big like birthday present boxes. They didn't really have a... But they can't just nick the... They did, they did the heart attack as well, did uh, Betty Oh, Edge. the Canadian, right. Oh, that makes sense. And, and Betty is no, good she's friends. No, she's with... from Buffalo. Oh, Betty's good she's pals from with Italian. Oh. She's from near Canada. How bad's that? She marries a Canadian. I'm like, well, she's Canadian now. I just remember it because she... Um, there was a pay-per-view in Buffalo, and I was like, she's obviously going to win. And then I didn't realize she was from Buffalo, and she lost. And I was like, damn it. If That's only I'd known. what they used to do back there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you live here, do you? <laughs> Huge pop and everything. Lost yeah. to, like, Kelly Kelly or someone. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that theme. Can't wait should for we, it. Should we this, back? This Saturday, Rob. <laughs> my worst theme. Your worst theme? That, that is my that worst theme of all time. Worse than Yeah, big time. Oh, wow. nah, that pierces nothing. my soul. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nah, the, the auto-tuned Bree mode is way worse than that. It's Bree-ma. ominous. You know the Bree's on her way. <laughs> <laughs> Run. She's going to go Bree mode. She's going to... Bree mode. I can't wait. Primo. <laughs> Primo. The Colons are here. Primo. <laughs> here he comes. Primo come on. In the women's right run. It's Primo. <laughs> NXT 2.0, the disappointing brand. MSK beat Ross Jacket was, Time. No, wait. I want, to, I want to pay attention to this because I didn't really think either way, but Ross said it was good this week, so I need to remember. Uh, the matches that. were good. A huge mm. improvement from I was going to say, by. yeah, this match, just all action, crowd really into it even the pre-rendered ones in the back who yeah. weren't really there were really into this all the they wrestling were able to... looking fans yeah. <laughs> all the wrestlers in the crowd yeah the loop of the dudes going yeah, yeah they yeah. were really into it um, <laughs> they were over, over, able to overcome the badness of the backstage segments okay so. wow yeah that's good. It, was a, it was a wrestling heavy show this week mm. and it was all very NXT 1.0 in its nature well just about all of it was very 1.0 po- do you think that? do you think they're not uh, not like in an overt way but do you think they're Stripping it back a bit, taking away. Go, they're like NXT 1.5 at the minute. <laughs> I could see that being a thing. Mm. They wouldn't call it. I mean, but I mean, imagine if they did. This isn't NXT 1. Uh, 2.0, 2.0 is 1.5 1. now. It's about 1.6. We're at 1.5. Dave Meltzer's PC. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, backstage, Zoe Stark tells Io Shirai that she'll have to find a Wait, new partner. First? No way. I oh, know it was MSK. Jacket time. Yeah, I just said that. Sorry. It was a good match. Any other thoughts? Nah, Jiro fine. blocked a kick with his jacket. Yeah. He went Hua! and blocked it. See, I'll take that. That's worth the admission fee yeah. alone. And that's worth the poo backstage. Wesley did a Kurt Angle-esque kick out at one point, which had me going Hua! Oh, like a <sighs> two and whatever the tiniest fraction you can think of is. Well, the biggest tiny, oh, whatever, closest one. to the full, yeah. <laughs> like, like, one, two point nine, a gogol amount yeah. of nines. Yeah. Which is a one with a million zeros after it. Yes, I'll take your word. And that for was it. one of that was the correct answer when Major Charles, disgraced Major Charles yeah. Ingram, one who wants to be a millionaire. I know. My grandma for years thought it was really clever because I knew the answer to that. Which <laughs> is because I've been reading a book about maths like the previous uh, weeks. Like, oh, Matthew's really clever. What? Who wants to be in there? You'll get all the questions right. I'm like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's a documentary about that scandal, and it, when I was a kid, it was like one of so my favorite. I had it like I recorded yeah, it on VHS. Yeah. Oh my I, god! I watched it as well because you know Tequin the- Whitick in the crowd. Oh, what a heel! Is the question A, B, C? <laughs> oh my D. god! And even better, the even bigger scandal about that was because it was obviously pre-recorded because they're all pre-recorded those episodes and they put them out. It went against the uh, One Foot in the Grave finale. What a night of... That's so, the Monday Night War. That is... So that BBC is, put in a complaint. That is mankind winning the... Right, 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 oh, right. my God. That's them. They put a complaint against it. It's like, did you deliberately put this... Up. Now it had all the hype. It would be reported on the news that this, be this com- episode of Once Being Millionaire where a guy cheats. Compl- that's fair game. Did they it? deliberately, was it a setup so they could deliberately put it against uh, that finale? No, it was, oh, no way. And obviously they cleared it and it was, it was all right. That's but another that was, layer to the conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> that tech room was a weird, because I watched the dramatization that came out a couple I've of years ago. I've not watched that. Oh, it's good. Like, mm. The dramatization? Yeah. 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 Oh. Tech went in his little shed, getting all the lads in. Oh, he has one coming to Really? Get your little machines out, boys. Do you want to give me £20,000 to get you on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I can swiddle the phone lines, you know. Do you know he still denies it? Yeah. Yeah. 
It's he was a like wife swap or something, did he? I swear there's some show like Eric that. Eric Bischoff wasn't involved. His wife didn't help his case. Like she, <laughs> Allegedly. When it cuts to her in the crowd, whatever, because they agreed to go to like quarter of a million, and yeah, then it yeah, kept yeah, going. Yeah. And it, every time it cuts to her in the crowd, she's fuming. She's yeah. like, what are you doing? Yeah. And she coughs at one point. I forget what the big controversy was with the wife. I know, the, 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 not the coffin, obviously, but there was something else. I'll have to watch that dramatization yeah, yeah, yeah. again. Uh, who's it? Anybody in it? I uh, can't remember. remember. I don't think... Uh, oh, who knows? I think it might be the start of lockdown. Brad Pitt, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> 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 Before they were famous. <laughs> oh, so I know we're talking about wrestling, but have you seen the trailer for the new gritty, but like dramatic version of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Just Bel-Air. It's I like saw a, like, it's like a 30 seconds of it. I went, what's it? I went, oh, no, you're right. I know. Right, no. I know. I, I was... saw that uh, F- Uncle Phil's thin. Yeah. They're all like, they're What's all. What's that about? Is he? And they're all like serious and like Hillary's not stupid and Carlton's not nerdy. He's really it's, cool. It, as you said, it's serious. They're all, it? like, they're all he... cool, beautiful characters. Right, right. And I'm like, that's not what you want. Yeah, from so the everything that you liked about Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince had serious moments when it needed to. It and did, it was really and it worked good. really well. Yeah. This is all serious. It's like, heard you got into some trouble with a bad man from Philadelphia. And Will's like, came here to escape. He sees Carlton. He's like, how are you being, Carlton? Carlton's like, you know, thriving. I'm like, get in the bin. Oh. Aye. Thriving? This town will make you forget who you are. Shut up. <laughs> Do a dance. Do that. Come on. <clears throat> okay, I can't wait to see the gritty redo of Fetch Me Lucille. <laughs> <laughs> What's that going to look like? That episode is the best. It's so good. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> It's going to like Francis Ford Coppola. Oh, <laughs> can't wait for it. Does it? What's the song? Soul Man. When yeah. Done, that's so good. Yeah. Where we are? Oh, oh, yeah. I wish Backstage. I nominated that episode for the Hall of Fame. Oh. God. It is like, you know, Do when they did like the First Nation of Domination, it's just like, oh, D-Lo. It's like, oh, they get rid of people. Hold the ropes open for Mr. Mason to leave. It's like, oh! <laughs> anyway, backstage, Zoe Stark tells you she's right. She has to find a new partner for the Dusty Classic, not Lucille, because she's not fully recovered from her injury yet. Oh, Eo man. is sad. He was like, oh. And then Zoe's like, that means you like me. And, Zoe's, and he was like, no, I don't. And it's like, we've still got to not get along. Yeah. Why? The, how can they still hang out together? Right? Yeah. I, I don't know. I also don't know. They're interviewed by Tiffany Stratton, who says she's going to be EO tonight. She isn't, though. No, uh, we'll get on to the match yeah, later. Yeah, but later. Why was she booked in that match anyway? Because for a uh, debut... It was very impressive, I thought. Oh. I know it was very much like Strictly Come Dancing, like we've rehearsed this match beforehand, but she didn't put a foot out of step. A step out of place. Yeah, Ronda did the same, didn't she? Her matches one. were very rehearsed, but yeah. they were still very good. She was not, she's not as good as... I'm not saying Tiffany Stratton's as good as Ronda Rousey. There you go, get that as a headline. That's what, I, that's what I heard everybody. even better. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the rest of us will start like, putting what we people put on podcasts as headlines? Uh. Jack stunningly compares Ronda Rousey to Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> I once yeah, did, like a really bad picture. I once did a that. news story just just so I could. It was Tommaso Ciampa gives Tommaso Ciampa match five stars. He got interviewed and said like, "I think it's a five star match." I was like, "Yes, that's a news right out of bang." It was a good one. Um, and uh, oh, I've got his first name, Alex Colon. The oh, oh, death match wrestler. Oh, you know, I'll just stop talking, man. Okay. You only just blank out half of what you're going to say. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. rest of it was beautiful. Be that one percent that makes all the difference. I'm going to carry on. So now Escobar cuts a promo on Bron Breaker saying that his family are bad at math. He admits that they're both from wrestling families, but feels like Braun deserves the NXT title far less than him. He also does the thing, basically what Sonya Deville was saying, is like, you've just gone to the front. Mm. Like, I've been here for ages, and you've just suddenly got an NXT title shot. You've skipped to the front like the Disney tickets, you which were... I know all about, because I watched that Defunct Land video about the Disney tickets, like when everyone's Oh my God, it was like an hour and a half, I couldn't watch yeah. it, but yeah. Oh, I loved it. Um, <laughs> I watched a really good one about Jack the Ripper recently. All right. It was, I um, can't remember, long YouTube video. I can't remember the name of the person who did it. And all the comments were like, this is... It was, none Ronan of it, Keating. None of it, yeah. <laughs> none of it was theorizing like... Oh, sorry. That's my honest face. Um, we know how it kills. It was really good. And the comments were all about how good it was rather than theorizing about who he could have been. Or what yeah. Like. Yeah. He never got found, did he? No. No. Nah. But they've the said, though... Via- <laughs> 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 Six foot Sorry, three. I've been a bit late. Uh, <laughs> Stop off a Whitechapel. Stopped off in 1910. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, Six foot three <laughs> Indian man running around East London in the 1880s. Oh, could be anybody. <laughs> but uh, what did Jack the River look like? He was a large Indian man <laughs> in Whitechapel. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, anyway but <coughs> the, they said like one of the little things that does get as much attention as the, obviously the actual weapon was the fact that so many people sent in letters to newspapers going, "Hey, hey I'm Jack the Ripper, yeah. me," and pretended to and be that him. That bloke from Sunderland, <laughs> yeah. with the Yorkshire Ripper. Hmm? We aside, Jack. 
Weird side Jack, yeah. He died recently, no, that, didn't he? Yeah. So when the Yorkshire Ripper was at large, yeah. um, the, the police investigation got seriously set back by like years and more women died because a man from Sunderland sent in a hoax like of a tape of him talking and they analysed his accent and went, well, he's from this specific part of Sunderland. And Pallion. they just spent... Pallion. It was down by my old, by oh, my old uh, uni. Did they detect Flat. his accent because he went, I killed her, then I had a cheese pizza. Yeah. <laughs> That's really bad. That's really not on. That's really not on. Um, but anyway... <laughs> Goodness me. I'm sorry, man, but you've done that to me. Do you me. know Anne? Yeah. All oh, right. right, okay. He wishes I didn't know him <clears throat> because of this, but... But yeah, then they thought... So they, all the efforts went to, like, searching Sunderland and stuff rather than Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Mm. I didn't know that. I don't know that much about Yorkshire Ripper, apart from when a certain person who will never be featured on the BBC anymore... Uh, that could be a lot of people, like Frank Bruno take a photo with the Yorkshire Ripper. Have you not heard the story? Because no. you can see the photo if you Google it. It's just like, yeah, have a... Uh, yeah, Bruno, have a photo of me friend. Oh, no! Um, what yeah. you, and then Bruno's I knew like, who you meant. Well, it didn't, didn't have to need have to do that. Impression. It could be anybody. <laughs> it's like, Look, Steve Coogan sat in the room, everybody. I'm going to tell the story. <laughs> anyway, I'm shaking hands with him. And he, go, and he went, that's a Yorkshire Ripper. He went, what? Why have you made me take a photo? He's shaking hands at the Yorkshire Ripper. Just a classic And take room. a photo. And he goes, well, if you mess with me, I'll just I'll have that printed in the newspapers. Wow. He's like, all Whoa. right. Oh, my God, yeah. And look who... How crazy is that? Can't show it on the podcast. It's unbelievable. That. It could be anybody. We'll call him Almond Milk. It's shocking when Almond Milk did that. Anyway. Anyway. What were we talking about? NXT. I love uh, it when Peter Sutcliffe gets taken from the police van into the courts and there's people there just chucking stuff at him and stuff. Oh, what a fantastic bit of cinema history that is. <laughs> we're all just making ourselves look terrible well, no, at this point. Def- oh, the cinematography of Peter cinema- Sutcliffe. <laughs> fantastic. That's what Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is going to look like. <laughs> <laughs> Escobar leaves. Well, while then Phoenix attack breaker. No, this is going in. Attack breaker. Who is he? Fights him off. Uh, later backstage, the guy who challenges Bron to a tag match if he can find a partner. Uh, uh, uh. Did he find who one? Who's going to team up with you? Oh. Wow. Are you ready? Are you sat down? I was sorry. Yeah, skip to the end for this. Yeah, video. they could throw him in the car park and threaten him, but Tommaso Ciampa scares oh. them off and reveals himself to be Bron's tag partner. Who else? He respects him. Rick? Scott? <laughs> Hi, the lads. Hey, the Triple lads. H. Yeah. See you next Tuesday. Yeah, yeah no, Triple H is out of the way. The, the Steiner door can be open. That's not going to work, is yeah, it? Yeah, but no. Stephanie's still associated. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. I love they have to wait until they've got rid of all them just to <laughs> bring in the Steiners for one last run. He really hates them, doesn't he, Scott? Yeah, yeah. Really hates them. Oh, yeah. Oh. Scott's never, like, minced his words about anybody. He no. hates Ric Flair. That's all right, because we hate Ric Flair now. And the famous story he said about Triple H is like, all right, well, we're going to have to... Uh, Give you a drug test. He goes, yeah. Me and Triple H yeah. go together. Yeah. And he said, and he claims that we never drug tested him. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so that's that setting up. Uh, that's fine. I like them saying, yeah, well, why, how, you did just show up and get a title shot out of nowhere. Which is like, yeah, that actually happened. Mm-hmm. A nice bit of basis in reality rather than all the other silly bollocks happening on the show. So. And I like Chapman being his partner because of the ending of the tag match. I mean, the yeah. references on air, like going and shaking Rick's hand and whatnot and being a gracious old fella yeah. with a lovely brown beard now. Yeah, it's proper storylines. Yeah. We're getting there very, very slowly. Uh, Boa and Solo Sokoa have a false Count Anywhere match. Boa attacks Solo during his entrance, and they have a big old hardcore brawl. They fight backstage, eventually back to ringside, where Solo wins the big splash through a big table. Uh, yeah, lovely finish. Uh, you know what? It's just this is every no DQ street fight that happens on TV now, and it's NXT and AEW are doing them so frequently now that this was like, all right, cool, let's check the list, shall we? Um, all right, hit you with canes or bins, check. Go on backstage, check. There's a big old thing, a big old door, yeah. Oh, the fire extinguisher, yeah, and then a table spot for the win. I really enjoyed how Boa has this demon living with him that can produce fireballs on command and stuff, but he couldn't get the garage door open with a dent in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, he was... <laughs> it's like Fort Boyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's Leslie getting on these days? Oh, he's He's dead. I legitimately didn't think about that then. I realised as soon as I said it, he's gone. Isn't I think I've said this every day. time. <laughs> We've all... We all watched it. We all watched that show as a kid. Whenever he go, Jack, the door to his manservant. My brother thought that the door's <laughs> name was Jack. <laughs> that was that was Friday night though. That was oh. it was uh, WCW Worldwide yep. and then Four by Odd. Yeah, that was Friday night on Channel Five. Yeah, and then something else later on. <sighs> what was it? I hate soft stuff. Soft oh stuff. right, okay. Yeah. It was a sex joke. 
I don't want to say the th- but, 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 uh, soft porn. Soft porn. Proper porn on Channel Five. No, well, like oh. the like the preview. That's thing. Like, uh, the, uh, yeah, I think the term is soft core porn. Ooh. Anyway, we've this I, segment we've all we're misplacing five yard passes. The crowd are getting on our backs. I'm really yeah. I'm really worried. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> we see an Imperium promo where Gunther talks about leaving the past behind. It says it says yeah, I'm sure it feels that way. Look, I appreciate that they actually did something to explain it, but they used everything wrong. They went, well, Volta's the name my family gave me. Volta's the name my granddad gave me, who introduced me to wrestling, the great sport of professional wrestling. But it's time to move on. My new <laughs> name is Gunther. It's like, they could have done anything with it. Like, well, Gunther is associated with greatness. Gunther is the name of a... Uh, um, Jim, anyway, when, Gunther is a good name. Jim, when <laughs> Brian Christopher turned heel in the very early days of TNA, and he changes, he was like, I hate that my dad has overshadowed my whole career, so now it's time for me to change my name to Brian Lawler. Like, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> what are you doing? That's worse. Yeah. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, you are. They just needed that thing to say, oh, this is why he's called Gunther. Why it's... I know he said, like, it's time for his own identity and stuff, but, like, why Why Gunther? It's still the same question. You're right, Walt. You've done barely anything with your career. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As Imperium are uh, the tag team champions as well. God, I'm we need to change. <laughs> We're just not successful enough. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? We'll, we'll get used to it eventually. But right now, ha ha ha. Later, Malcolm Vivens cuts a promo saying that Gunther should actually be named Dumbass. Wait. Oof. He says that the Creed brothers are down to win the Dusty Classic and Roddy Strong is going to chop down, Gunther did I write down. That? Down to win the Dusty Classic? I, I said it. He says he's going to win. You said it. Yeah. That's all right. I thought that's not what I talked like. Okay. Okay. Matthew talks that all the time. I talk like You're that. You've down. been down since day one ish, haven't you? Yes. Word. Yeah. Malcolm Bivens, the best thing about NXT 2.0. That's a big claim. Yeah, that's a huge claim. <laughs> He's a small, oh, I love Malcolm He's Bivens. a small but good fragment of NXT 2.0. But small but good, my, my nickname. Fair enough. Us big lads got to stick together, me and Malcolm. Um, <laughs> Dull Hudson. Malcolm's seven foot, he says on Twitter. Oh, all God. The uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Dull Hudson. Okay, fair. Easily beats Guru Raj. Dante Chen interrupts the celebration and says he's going to give Duke <laughs> the respect he never received last week by actually warning him before he attacks. It was fantastic. Okay. He then attacks him after warning yeah. him, and the referees pull them apart. But Hudson hits a sneaky chop block, ninjas Dante's leg. Okay. The Dan Dan H. H. M. promo was fantastic. Yeah, I like that. I'll it. give you the respect. Then he goes, here I come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you the idiot. <laughs> There's the warning. Don't then, they? <laughs> <laughs> apparently, Dull Hudson's got a new attitude. I must have missed it. He's even more boring than he used to yeah, be. Yeah, he's still the same boring bastard, but he goes, Rah! once. <laughs> Rah! He's angry. <laughs> he's got a three all over. He's yeah. Dull Hudson. Yeah, it was what it was. It's a shame to see where the priority is. I want to be with Dante Chen after this promo. I think yeah. you should warn everybody, here I come. You need to put the little, yeah. like, yeah. when he's going down the ramp. Like Fred Flintstone doing bowling. <laughs> no, I like Dante Chen's facial expressions, which is something that Dull Hudson has nothing of. Oh, he's got one now. <laughs> one. We've got a starting point. I mean, I mean, he's got an ace. <laughs> Uh, Katie Ray hypes up Indy Hartwell and Persia Perota before their tag match against Toxic Attraction, saying she wants to strike, sorry, stake her claim to Mandy Rose's championship. They do win with Persia getting the pinfall on Gigi Dolan. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's cool. I enjoyed this sorry. because Toxic Attraction were like a well oiled machine. Three cerebral assassins all in sync. <laughs> like they were, they were pulling people off the aprons, they were doing some moves together, mm. while the other team were just three single people, to, three singles people together. Which is exactly yeah, what they yeah. yeah, She's married, very married. spoken for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Kaylee Ray was taking the piss with that. Wee To the floor. Oh, that was an all right match, what it was. Yeah. I'm well, not just coming for the next segment with Idris Sanofi and um, Malik Blade. Idris Sanofi says that he and Malik Blade win the Dusty Classic. Malik has to ask out Mandy Rose. These are such lies. Blade's like, OMG, stop embarrassing me. Tee hee hee. She'll say no. <laughs> but Idris says that nothing is impossible. Just look at their run of surprise wins recently. And I think they call them on the commentary team like the, the Bracket Busters. Right, right, right. Which isn't a bad name. Mm, yeah. I guess. It's worse on this show. If Malik agrees to ask out Mandy... Edris says that he'll ask out both other members of Toxic Attraction. Oh, yo, lads, 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 lads. Hey, mate, his titties danced, didn't he? Yeah, he did, like, <laughs> Steiner, actually. Ooh. Oh, one half of the masses are cool. 
Yeah, Chris Masters. Oh, not Carl, well, Carl, you probably can. He probably could now, as well. Yeah. Huh? If you'd be bothered, small <laughs> bastard. Yeah. Um, this was weird. <laughs> like, I hate both of these. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't endear me to either of them. Yeah, but they're the, gonna win. But the dynamic is very much. Yeah, they might. And the dynamic's very much that like Malik's like a good boy. You know, he's working hard and he's too shy to ask out Mandy Rose. She's still with Otis for all we know. Anyway, um, <laughs> and then. <laughs> Idris is like a bad, he's like the bad boy. He's like his cool mate. And he's like, I've seen what you get up to on Instagram, Idris. And he's like, yeah. And it showed a montage of pictures of him with his top off on Instagram. I love this, but I hated it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, they're setting this up as lads who act like it's Such the 1950s. Lads, man. Because that's the target audience. You're going to ask out this, that's when they're, when they're You're going to ask out this dame? Yeah. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Your shy and bashful lad will ask out Mandy Rose and you'll go on a date with her. <gasps> and then at the end, your cocky fella will come in and take him away from her. Oh. Yeah, take her away Where from him. <laughs> <laughs> or, or take him take away, her away from him. That's take the difference. Her away from him. Her away from him. Whichever works. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good with either, to be honest. Yeah. Good, compelling story. <laughs> <either way. laughs> Carl Gonzalez is doing some sick overhead barbell presses in the gym. Oh, Very no, this. She's interrupted by Cora Jade, who wants to be her partner in the Dusty Classic. Gonzalez isn't keen, so Cora decides to prove herself by lifting the same weights. But then she never does. But did, she doesn't did I, did actually I miss, do it. Miss a bit, she tried she, and she couldn't do it. And instead oh. tries to slap Raquel, who catches her arm. So, so Cora... A potential fight is broken <laughs> up by assault the performance center. So, well, you then, know, then, you know okay. the Ron Burgundy, this escalated quickly. Because <laughs> Cora, <laughs> Cora, right? Who, by the way, I, I don't want to criticize her because she is my favorite wrestler. as Ross oh, yeah. Obviously, obviously. But she <laughs> goes from... Please be my partner. Come on. Raquel's like, oh, not really. Walks off. And then she goes, let me prove myself to you. <laughs> there's no gap. She just like she goes from zero to 100. Does... We're, in, we're in short on time, so I just skipped the end. And, if I was... and Raquel's got spidey senses because she turns around and goes, Whoosh. I was like, whoa. <laughs> if I was Raquel, I'd be getting the restraining order against Corey. Dude. She's a little weirdo, isn't she? A little weirdo. Won't leave her alone. She's always down there. Who are you? <laughs> See you later. Gotta be, gotta be something done about that though. Let me prove myself to you. It's been, it's been weeks and weeks and weeks now. Cora Jade oh just stalking, assaulting, not assaulting. That's not the right. No, word, she did it? this week. Yeah, oh, yeah. this counts as assault. Oh, this week was assault. What was the weeks before? A pepper. Just, just, Wait. just bothering. This was weird, <laughs> so weird. Yeah, a lot of the backstage bits were like, uh oh. We haven't got enough tag teams for this bloody <laughs> the women's dusty classic. Uh, wacky people who can't get along. Do you think that Raquel's gonna respect Cora now after she took a swing at her? And she's gonna be, I will be your partner. Yeah, she'll look around the lo locker room and go, all oh, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know what? I take it back. Is, is, is Cora supposed to be the baby face? I think so. They're both baby faces. Uh, after watching all these segments, I just want to see how far Raquel can throw her. That's all <laughs> I want to see. Get away from us, will you? Hey, let's we do our tag team finishing move. What is it? <laughs> bam Bam Bigelow's are on the ring. Onto a, onto a hologram. <laughs> Look at there's no fans. <laughs> <laughs> the grizzled young veterans take on Andre Chase and his prize student, Bodie Haywood. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hey, I've had a, 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 whole, a whole week to Mate. digest that name, and it's still ridiculous. What happened to the days of Bodie Randy Hayward. Savage, Hulk Hogan, Bruce Bodie Hayward is all right. Yeah, that's a great name. Bodie Hayward. <laughs> Just noises arranged in an order. But you know what? Andre Chase, he did the thing again. All right, get to the mat and to the garbage storm because C, H, H, H. That was yes. Yes. I had me worried for G Young V when that was going on. I was, I was rev. I was thought it was fantastic that part with the crowd interaction. Well, the, the wrestler interaction with the wrestlers in the crowd. Um, but you're worrying for GYV, like, well, what's happened to their career here? But then, it, thankfully, they won. Yeah. And the what was what was Bodhi? Sorry, Bodhi Hayward's splashes about when he's going. Whoa, 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 hey! <laughs> I know it was like an American football tie-in or whatever where they get on the to toes and do yeah. that malarkey. But what uh. the hell was that? The groan on me. <laughs> because the Grizzly Young Vets won, but it, this segment really wasn't about them. Oh, yeah. It was about <laughs> Bodie and Andre. We're getting their stuff in before they lose. Yeah. The proper indie workers. Uh, yeah, so Grizzly Young Vets win. But then after the match, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. As if that's been any men <sighs> enough time. What? It's, it's sad. A... What you're about to say is oh, sad. Oh, yeah. Uh, come Tuesday, attacks Andre and Bodie. Oh, ho, he's going to cut a wacky pro. No, he isn't. No. Robert Stone, who I'd forgotten, was still employed. 
arrives and announces that come Tuesday is in the new management, now, which means no more I come know. promos. Yeah. That's, the sad, that's the sad part. We'll never hear a come Boo. Tuesday promo again. We'll just hear like, yes, I agree, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we'll hear from him now. That's oh, all here, and it's man. sad. It's uh, the I hate era. the cum stone. It's the end of an era. The cum stone. Yeah. We get a Grayson Waller video where he introduces us to his big bodyguard from last week, Sanger. Grayson reveals that Sanger is one of the biggest stars in Bollywood. He says, I claim I find dubious. Yeah, he's not. He's not one of the biggest stars yeah, in Bollywood. Well, come on. Yeah. Is, is, that, is that just because... <laughs> oh, my God. You know, an XT 2.0 is ponch on for a gimmick. Just from a culture because someone looks like they're from Possibly, there. possibly. Do you know just... I think so. Uh, yeah. I felt like... In so many words. I felt like Lawrence off the True Dory podcast when I did that. Oh. You know, is that just... Oh. oh, a little sarky comment here and there. I know, yeah. yeah. He ruined that Louis Theroux podcast he did. Did he? Yeah. Do you just want to hear Louis talk? Just want to hear Louis talk, yeah. And he's, he's just chiming in all the time with these little yeah, one-liners. Yeah, Louis's talking about serious stuff. Like, about the gent... We meant the gent. I shouldn't... Why am I talking about him in a respectful fashion? The horrible... Monster. The horrible man we were talking about before. Right, Louis Theroux's obviously linked with him, and he was talking about that. And then True Jordy's mate just keeps going like, "Oh, awkward." Like, Shut up! It's a very yeah. serious topic. Show you the Ricky Gervais thing. We'll point out the situation. He he's, he's, Gervais, he's trying yeah. to be Ricky Gervais, but he's actually well. David Brent. <laughs> oh, nice. Sometimes I think that about Ricky Gervais. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think yeah, the line gets blurred around him yeah. for sure. But I think like I think it should have backstage. But where Grace is like, "That's right, Sang is one of the biggest stars in Bollywood," and Sang has gone, "What?" Oh, hey, hey, Grayson Waller is one of the top um, kangaroo hunters then. <laughs> Race is get. Anyway, Waller reminds us that he's got a restraining order against LA Knight and says it'd be a shame if Knight ended up in jail because Sanger wants to meet him first. Can we yeah, meet him yeah. afterwards? Well, he might be in there for a long, long time. Yeah, he's like, wait. That's why I affected his southern accent. If he's in there for 30 days, Sanger might be released by the time you come out. Hurry up, pal. Doesn't yeah. matter about the restraining order because LA Knight is going to the main event of WrestleMania. Far away from whatever arena that that. held in. That's right. LA Knight escaped NXT to get away from me. <laughs> escaped all the way to WrestleMania. <laughs> After the backstage confrontation earlier, I don't get this bit at all. Io Shirai beats Tiffany Stratton. Hasn't Tiffany Stratton just been introduced? This is her first match. I'm yeah, pretty no, sure. She, no, she had a match on TV already. No, I don't on think so. On NXT, though. On NXT? No, I suppose she's had a match already. I don't think so. This is the debut. I think it's so. Even done with this anyway. There's a few vignettes in that, and like, yeah, oh, I so swear she's had a match already. Oh, Daddy, I'm at the country club. Yeah, 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 no, no, but like, I thought this was a. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, it's still I can't gone, remember though. watching her wrestle before on NXT at least. She oh. might have had one on 205 Live. If it's before, someone with a gimmick that you're clearly interested in pushing, don't put her against Io Shirai. Yeah, yeah. and have Io Shirai beats her. And then afterwards, Stratton is complaining to her dad on the phone backstage when she bumps into oh, oh Wendy Chu. When he tells her, <laughs> I'll cheer You're already up. sick of Wendy too. When he tells her not to feel bad because everybody loses to Shirai, Tiffany slaps Wendy's drink out of her hand and storms off. Wendy doesn't really care because that's her gimmick. She's cool. I she like, cared I about like a cup going down. Full, wasn't it? I like, oh. about, I like Wendy too. I wish I could be more like her. Just chill, man. Wendy Chu. Hey, Wendy Chu. <laughs> 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 what is this gimmick? <laughs> like... Is, uh, this the, is this them having a go at AEW for saying, this is Orange Cassidy, let's dress a, dress a fully grown lady up like... Oh, no, I think like it's a bit Orange of Cassidy. that, and Boom also, from. like, you know, an older person's gone, all right, we need, like, a younger millennial person. Oh, they're all, like, oh, you know, speaking whatever. Speaking of younger millennials, we didn't see Saray this week, unfortunately. Good. Oh. <laughs> it's not Saray's fault. Yeah, can we just... Next week, she returns, and we just never mention that ever again. Mm. Yeah. Ah, come on, I hate some trick Williams and loose musical guest. Oh, Ollie J. <laughs> Go on, Ollie. Go on. Who states that she is NXT 2.0? She, no. she sings us a lovely little song. I am NXT she, is, she is the female Dull Hudson. Oh. She looked inconvenienced to be there in the NXT ring doing that song. No, because I have never seen anyone look so bored while doing a musical for, musical performance. So I, I I got serious Jagger Eaton vibes from because uh, remember when Jagger, yeah, exactly do you remember when Jagger Eaton turned up and they were like all backstage they were like it's oh, Jagger Eaton it guys a bell now. and everyone watching it went hang on yeah Who? that's what I felt because I've never heard of Ollie J and then I checked to make sure I wasn't just behind the times but no she's not like that well like known I don't think so oh she is now well yeah um so but, but she actually, got a rise out of Twitter to be fair then I was watching uh, Twitter uh, follows I mean I was watching a bit of the follows. Olympic skateboarding event. Uh, last summer, and who should turn up? But Jagger Eaton was there, and I was like, "Oh, what was Jagger wow. Eaton again?" Yeah, who, the, who, the, the name rings a bell. Skateboarder. Yeah, well, what did they do? He was WWE. backstage in WWE, and they were like, "Bloody Jagger Eaton, lads!" Was this like early oh. for our careers? Was this with Grumpy? Uh, 2016, was this before after Grumpy Cat? 
Ross, this was early in our rise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it was a few years ago. I do, re- do recognise the name. Jag- oh. Jagger Eaton. He was just a he was just a teenager backstage, and they were like, "Boys, it's Jagger Eaton." Oh, is that what the Miz was like? There's a child here. Yes. And he was like, "No, oh, I've got like twenty billion God, followers." Jagger Eaton's twenty now. Bloody hell. He was a child at the time. Oh. How old have you been? 16, 15. Um, when did it happen? He was born in 2001. Ugh. I he hate tw- him. I, I don't care he, what he's done. How was he 20 when he I was born? I don't care if he cured world hunger. How was he 20 if he was born in 2001? It makes no sense at all. I know. Anyway. We're all like Steiner at the minute. We're bad at math. Um, Cameron Grimes faces Tony D'Angelo in the number one contenders match for the North American title. Grimes wins after Pete Dunne interferes and attacks Tony with a cricket bat. Exciting times for Pete Dunne because, yes, the cricket bat is the crucial detail. Yeah. He's going to come to NXT next week because oh, like he's from nice. jolly old England. Yeah. He'll have the bowler hat on. He'll have yeah. the umbrella, dressed like Mr. Ben. Pip, pip, cheerio, lads. Let's get in the ring for some tea and crumpets. That's I can't it. wait for Pete Dunne next week. Come in the ring next week. Uh, Lammy, Pete Dunne. <laughs> <laughs> I think he should just be a cricketer, yeah. Yeah. That's his gimmick, man. Which cricketer, though? Who's from Birmingham? He can't have him be David Gower. You can't have him no, be David Gower. Heading to the ring. <laughs> Yeah, that would be good. It's got to be both. Bim, 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 bim. Thank you. That that started turning like a Mario level. No. There, Peak both them. Yeah. Both cocaine oh. everywhere. <laughs> oh, Allegedly, it's wheat such a... bits down the not some wheat bits, it shredded wheat down the side. It's such a shame that you uh... are. How you made so healthy? <laughs> I don't know. It's such a shame that <laughs> Sir Ian both them, hero of the ashes and all that. When you see him interviewed, you're just not a likable man at all. Nah. I'm just like, I hate you, Ian both. <laughs> Do you not think so? I no. think he's got like a bit of that just sheer, no. sheer dryness where it's like, no, I'm, I am what I am. He's gonna, such a... Put the tell. charm on for you. Who oh, I tell. walk thousands of miles. Oh, he does do a lot for charity. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah. But he's a staunch supporter of the Tory party. Yeah. Well, so is Pachiti. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a good match. Uh, Cameron Grimes' main event is a... Uh... It was a nice back and forward match. Back and forth match, sorry here. Yeah. But Pete, I'm so... I cannot tell you how excited I am for next week's NXT. To see what Pete just, Dunne does. Just to yeah. see if Brucey e. P's gone, oh my God, he's from England. Yeah. That's what they all look like over there. Yeah. Like Mr. Ben. Yeah. <laughs> I can't he's going to kick Tony Jones on the face. He's cut point. Six. <laughs> there is nobody all the spots. I would more like to see in a cringy, embarrassing gimmick just to see how they'll handle it than Pete Dunne. Because Pete Dunne doesn't want to do He's the He's the most don't annoy me person. Hmm. And I think that it would be really funny just to see him be like, Right there, about the like. British Randy Orton. Toodle yeah. Pip. <laughs> How's he going? Oh. I don't know. What if he comes out next week in full cricket pads and helmet? Yeah. As he's coming, it's an ODU match. He's like, yeah. yeah. he's like the, the goon. He's coming down the yeah. ramp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just cricket imagine, goon. Just imagine his entrance being like when the next batsman walks onto the future. <laughs> yeah. Forward defensive. Waiting you know. there. <laughs> yeah. Can I referee, have, referee, I'm going to check his hands, see what the substance he's got on it. like, can I have middle and leg, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Cricket. His yeah. finisher would have to be a, a low blow, but it's called LB. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. His finish is a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Layers to it, like a, a, a wrestling they, onion. I'll be disappointed if he turns up to be just normal Pete Dunne next week now. Yeah. He's got to be a cricketer. Yeah. yeah. Stops for, stops for tea in the middle of the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's making his entrance. The lights go out for a fancy light in the face. Like, no, no, I've got to stop this for bad light. <laughs> I'm going back in there. <laughs> so, someone, someone cheats. He goes, that was ridiculous. That just wasn't cricket. <laughs> when he's in a tag team with someone, they can only do six moves each before t- tag team. Oh. <laughs> anyway, right. Oh, we yeah, the so, of, oh some, we've got dynamite And as someone well, says some sort of joke like, are you winning yet? Well, it's cricket. <laughs> we, don't, it's, we don't know. Uh, Clear oh. Rhodes and Sammy Guevara have a banger of a ladder match for the TNT title. Sammy wins. Now, I was one of these cynical people who thought, do they have to have a ladder match? Like, you don't have... It's not... On the on the Ten Commandments, it didn't say, anytime there's an interim title, you don't have to do WrestleMania 10. You can just wrestle normally. However, these two clearly hate their lower backs. <laughs> you got a lot of work to destroy them. So fair play to them. It was the crowd was into it. It was a class match. 
Yeah, any thoughts there, Ross? Oh, it was really interesting watching Cody in this match because he made the yeah. comment last week that he won't turn he'd turn heel because he loves people cheering him on or whatever the line was on last week's show. I forget what it was now. Why wouldn't he turn heel? There was a lot of it, maybe. Yeah. We'll this podcast was it, another hour if we went it through it again. He wouldn't turn heel because of Ricky Starks and Jay Lethal or something? Some, no, whatever it together was, yeah. in um, But he wrestled the first half like a baby face, but as the match went on and on and on a bit more, he started being a bit more dickish, and I thought that was very interesting because mm. he's not the guy. Yep. I mean, he is the guy. He's not a bad guy. He's not a good guy. He's the guy. That's Cody yeah. Rhodes. Just when you he's, think... he's a racist guy. <laughs> is he? No, it's a joke. <laughs> Just when you think. Just that big tattoo. <laughs> his hair was a strange yeah, shade. Yeah, that, this that week. bleaching went wrong. Orange. Yeah. Which yeah. tells me he's going to be in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> An updated look for Stardust would be complete with the not ah. dark hair but golden hair. And he didn't win, so he, the only thing could be if he's a free agent, he's just leaving. <laughs> go on, you know, I hope he shows oh, up. I hope he shows up. Just he's got no coach. reason to go back now if he's a free agent and doesn't have yeah. the title. And he beat up Fuego del Sol. So that's his uh, stable done, I guess. I've just remembered when. Maybe yeah. Fuego too would be the full time. That'd be a roller coaster. Cody, Cody. it's actually Fuego, who's also off contract. I just like remember you. me and Ross dressed as Dash and Cody Rhodes and Stardust for a video once in a different life. Did you? When what, we what was that in, when we announced that he was coming to WCPW? Oh, you were in a mustache, and I got painted up like Stardust. I've got no recollection. Have you I not? Have no, I've <laughs> that <laughs> genuine, this genuinely <laughs> happened. Can you find a picture? Oh, I've not no, imagined. Work oh no, it, wait. So. We'll be able to do no, it. No, sorry, sorry. Was Pachiti dashing? You were in the video as well, but you might have just been introducing it. And then you were like, "Come and see what I've done to Jack. Come on!" And then I come on with like a crap Stardust face. Yeah, I've got no no recollection you of that know, at all. I definitely do because it took me and Pachiti in the bathroom, like like announcing. Was it who was announcing Cody? Cody, it? yeah, yeah. So we dressed as his gimmicks. It, it looked bad, like. Oh God! If you can. Find oh it. yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> Do you not remember this at all? I've got no uh, recollection of this at all. <laughs> it wasn't good. Like it didn't look good. <laughs> quality, quality, quality. Don't play it, Richard. No, don't play it. Don't play it. Come on, can't play it. Don't play it. Don't play it. Can we show an image of it or not? <laughs> Full screen it, Rich. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We've all come such a long way. <laughs> it's good, that. <laughs> you look like that. I like turtles. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Pachidi, uh, spoilers, kayfabe oh. breaking. It wasn't Ross who, even though Ross says in the video, oh. I think that he did that. It was actually Pachidi who did it. So it was his face painting skills. Yes. Fantastic. And I barely knew him at the time as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Paint my face. Hello, Votori. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Wardlow squashes James Alexander. Oh, Elijah let's be moving the week. It's that oh, thing you nominated for the Hall of Fame. That'll do oh. you. That's, that's oh, the really? move of the week. Yeah. Should we do the Super Duper Plex instead? Oh, well, yeah, quite could impressive. do Suplex off the ladder. Because uh, it was a ladder. big, mm. sturdy ladder. And then you did the stall and Suplex. It's like, oh. The crossroads mm. off the ladder was good as well. The God. Swanton bomb off the ladder, which looked like it just hurt oh. Sammy more than it did Cody. Just completely like, <laughs> what? Yeah, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> ah! That was... <laughs> bounced off it completely. Yeah. Aye. Uh, Plenty of moves to pick from. Just play the play the jingle in that one, Richard, and the fans can choose. Yeah, there we go. Who they want Take to take your pick. <laughs> to Popery. Wardlow squashes James Alexander and Elijah Dean in a handicap match. This is in Wardlow country, so the crowd loved him. Uh, Sean Spears wants to attack them with a chair, but he went, nah, it's all right. I'm not going to do it here in Ohio. I thought these were the two most dashing jobbers I've ever seen in Ooh. my life. Yeah. Like a couple of Evan Courageouses. Mm. He's coming the, up a lot in the neck down. Yeah. He's got that physique of the Evan Courageous, just mm. perfect in every way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Jericho, Santana, and Ortiz team up to face Daniel Garcia and 2.0. There's a lot of tension between Chris Jericho and Proud and Powerful, but they still manage to get the win. Another tantalizing storyline. Yes. Well, to be fair, it did kind of get paid off in this match, I guess, because they started going like that at each other, didn't they? Yeah, Jericho kept GFY. Yeah, that, oh. I didn't think about it last week, but just think about last week's episode where he tried to get that over, and then they announced the T-shirt on social media this week, and yeah. the fact that Moxley was literally in the first segment and he actually said it, yeah. and then Jericho was there looking all smoke going GFY. Mm. Twenty minutes after Moxley's gone, gone F you, sell you, trash bag. Yeah, and yeah. that's funny, isn't it? Yeah, it would be good if they actually revealed it was actually Chris Jericho heckling Moxley. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know why. Get out of the ring, stupid idiot. <laughs> you, yeah. you would hear his voice. I don't know why Jericho goes from here, because like, I think... Away. Public sentiment <laughs> is really soured on the guy, isn't it? He's quite He's annoying. just, hey, it's me. I'm going to show up and I'm going to do a battle of the words with these dudes, whoever I'm feuding with, and then I'm going to win. Yeah, I think Say, generally all right. a big reason for it, purely just in wrestling, not how his opinions outside of it sometimes, is that, yeah, he, he, he really wins a lot more than the other. Like, at least other ones have put over the up-and-coming yeah. stars and stuff. He should never have beaten Orange Cassidy, and he should never have beaten MJF. So, like, see, Orange Cassidy yeah. actually won the feud, I think, he did. with he that knocked uh, him into the mimosa. mimosa. Mm-hmm. But it's like, all right. How humiliating. <laughs> yeah, who? And then MJF won a few matches, but then Jericho won the last one. Again, that, that's the thing. Yeah. It's like, why would you, Who's going to be here in three years? Actually, not probably Jericho. Who are we kidding? <laughs> These old wrestlers, they never leave. Yeah. Yep, you're commentary! <laughs> Imagine him, and Pat. Imagine him and Pat together. <laughs> common wow. So I made a super cut of every time he, he does, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> During one show. It's incredible how many times he does it. It was, it was Taz on uh, one of the AW Darks, I think, was like, oh, yeah, it was me and Chris Jericho said that. Yeah, he's such a great commentator. You never think about anybody. He said, be less selfish, Taz. It's not about yourself. Yeah, not like him. Ooh. And Taz was going, wait, it's like, yeah, that happened. And Taz got, gets a bit worried. He goes, wait, did it actually air or not? He goes, no, no, we're pretty sure it did air. He goes, all right, sorry about that. <laughs> Taz yeah. is such a good commentator. I know he's been it's, doing It's good with a bitch about he... stuff like that, because there are bits like, <laughs> like, oh, we're really showing behind the curtain here, aren't we? Like, mm. when they've said stuff about Brian Cage, yeah. like, oh, that was the biggest waste of investment since Brian Cage. And, oh, Ta- yeah. Uh, and when they were talking about, he was one of the acclaimed, I don't think it was Bowens. I hope it wasn't, I like him. And he said, like, <laughs> they were like, oh, so this is the birthplace of, uh, that's probably known as Prince. And he went, oh, was he any good? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. They bring it up, like, he didn't know who Prince <clears> was. So. Taz has got nailed down now, like because if he does piss he somebody off, he'll just go like, mm. "Oh, do you know who my son is?" Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll be shame if he left. <laughs> yeah, do you remember, bro? I don't want to be in your I vlog. I, <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna. I, I don't know. Why I started with "Do you remember?" Because I, I was gonna say just like, if slash when Jr. retires or is phased out. I don't know if he would be or not, but I just want Taz on Dynamite. That's all. Oh. I'd be so good. Taz, Tony, and Excalibur. Oh, the dream team. Yeah, TTE yeah. Tet. What team? T. <laughs> <laughs> CM Punk cuts promo and MGF in the ring ridiculing the scarf MGF left behind last week fake Punk. get oh, off eBay for three quid big yeah. foolish from Long Island well Bill from Long Island that's yeah. right then. yeah he was made of strong stuff yeah he was saying that's how he knows the scarf's from Long Island because it's not made of strong stuff yeah oh, Zach Ryder's from Long Island hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. One. Yeah. I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> I'll, I'll, be get, I'll be a bit snuffly today Punk wants to wrestle MGF right here tonight in Cleveland, Ohio, Japanese crowd. Ohio. I deliberately didn't put Ohio in the notes. I just put Cleveland because I wanted. I didn't want. To, I knew you'd do that. I, I like. Sorry, it's my favorite thing. MGF arrives and says he's got a better idea. How about the wrestle next week instead in Chicago, <sighs> Illinois? Japanese Illinois. crowd, Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> and instead, he says that once he beats Punk, we will see the real man behind the fake smile who sues people. Later, who, who did he sue exactly? <laughs> Leaves wrestling. And whines on a podcast when he doesn't get his own way. <sighs> Punk accuses MGF of talking a big game without backing it up mm. and tells him to go and change into resting boots with the three inch lifts. He's short. He's a little shorty G. FDR <laughs> and Wardlow join MGF and they head the ring, but Spears ambushes Punk from behind. They all beat Punk down. MGF sits cross legged on his chest. Oh, that's what you're talking about before. I honestly don't understand what you're talking about. Check he says that Punk's cross legs. journey will end where it began. In Chicago. Mm. Also, another bit you uh, mentioned was MGF said, Oh, you said you left wrestling in 05. Oh, yes. No, you left wrestling in 2014 when you're supposed to appear here, in mm. fact, and in you didn't show up. So shut up. But then Punk, yep. Punk, I liked MGF in this, and I like Punk in this, but Punk, there was a bit where he, he goes off on like MGF being a, a fan and waiting in line to meet him and stuff like that. And I was thinking, that's a heelish thing to do, surely. Be like, you used to wait in line to see me. And MGF, yeah, you're saying it now because like, oh, you're, you're saying you don't like me, you say I suck and stuff like that. No, you used to, you used to like me a lot. Uh, yeah, I think that's that where does it comes make, from. Yeah, that does make yeah. sense. Yeah. I was shocked they didn't have Wardlow turn here just because Wardlow is in his hometown and you'll never, well, unless yeah. they go back to Cleveland, Ohio, Ohio, um, they'll never get a louder pop than in his hometown, which tells the rest of the world that this man is to be cheered for. Mm. I think Wardlow's going to get a big reaction wherever he guns as soon as he turns on MGF. Yeah. Ooh. I guess if he does it directly to MJF, yeah. Yeah, yeah. cause him to lose a CM Punk. I mean, oh, I don't want that to see happen. I Do you not? I just want but it sets up the MJF Wardlow feud. I just want, I just want MJF to win. This is the first chapter of the a book. 
entitled MGF versus Warburg. <laughs> feud. By Matthew Craig. By Matthew Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Backstage, Julia Hart wants to accept Jay Cargill's open challenge for the TBS title. Julia, you silly Billy. Smart Mark Sterling arrives and wants Julia to sign a release form before she faces Jade, which is a nice touch. Then Griff Garrison tries to warn Julia, but she bravely signs it away. <laughs> and everyone knows sells his, his little line of go on, cross the T's and dot the I's. Oh, an yes. I didn't and everyone's just like, that. all right, yeah, that's a good point. Let me just check it again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, legal person. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Layla Hirsch beats Red Velvet with a handful of tights. She puts on an arm bar after the match until Chris Statlander runs out to make the save. This was a match. It's all, it's, the feud's been... The, get to the match, come on. Statlander versus Hirsch. Let's do it. Yeah. The, Pull the trigger. The crowd must have been unknowingly skipping the segments that I've been doing, <laughs> apparently, over the last few weeks because they, they made less noise here than they did for... I mean, well, it's also because this is... It, it's Red Velvet versus Layla Hirsch. It's like, Red Velvet is never going to beat Layla Hirsch. So you say that, well, these, they went on way too long for a one-sided match. Apparently, these two, as I said on commentary, are the, the two top-round competitors in the women's division. <laughs> How? I think people when? there are going, Wait, well, are you when? sure about that? At the start of the year, all the scores reset. Oh, oh, yeah. And they've just been winning on Dynamite. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, these so you win the, once, then. It's only been four weeks. These two are the ones who have wrestled the most so far yeah. this year. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few nice transitions from Layla when on the mat and whatnot, but yeah. It's, yeah. What is it about Red Velvet that no one seems to like? I like Red Velvet. No, she's all right, but there's just, you know, some people have their certain ceilings. But I mean, the mask is an like... AEW, like she's been portrayed as this baby face, but I've never seen her cheered once. Yeah, mm. people liked her in the when she stepped in for Brandy in the, yeah, yeah. the yeah. Shaq feud. But apart from that, I don't know. I... Well, again, it's like every other woman on the roster, the only, there's only enough room for like one and a half angle. They also... And one of those people is Britt Baker every week. So. I was going to say, they made a mistake. They, they had a feud with Britt. The week the Brit was in Pittsburgh and they were going mad for her. Oh, and then that's Red Velvet right. Yeah, that out. worked out really well. Yeah. yeah. Strange decision. Speaking of Brit. Yeah, oh, thank you. She got to heel promo <laughs> on the Cleveland crowd. Oh, lots of lo local references here. So I'm sure if you're from Cleveland, you'll appreciate these. Bragging about the Steelers beating their NFL team and yeah. hyping up her various accolades from Baker Mayfield is the Cleveland quarterback and he threw incomplete passes. Oh, and there's only room no. for one good Baker oh. in. It got, it got a loud reaction out of the crowd. It fair did. enough. Local stuff. Boo. LeBron James left. Oh, that's right. Remember that. LeBron James. She says that she isn't... <laughs> no. That's how he talks, I guess. That's the meme. It's a meme. She says that she isn't satisfied with being wrestler of the year. She won't stop until she's wrestler of the decade. Wow. Wow. Pointless segment. Yeah. If I mean, it got happen. heat, but there was, there was a lot of... We had a match, and then there was like loads of just segments. They should have been just for the live yeah. crowd there, just after the show, before the show. I don't know. I think they were running out of time going, hang on, how long is this main event going to be? It was all... I've written down here, it was very Charlotte Flair, but with sports references included. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm good, me. Because then after that... <laughs> Commentary ran down the crowd, sorry, the card of Rampage on Friday, but Vicky Guerrero and Nyla Rose interrupt. Nyla says that she should be TBS champ and only got knocked out of the tournament by a fluke win for Ruby Soho. She says that if she wrestled Ruby 100 times, she'd win the other 99 and wants to prove it next week. Well, I hope their next match is better than the last one. Did you hear um, Excalibur getting sassy? What did you say? Because Nyla Rose was going, there's only one, one reason why I'm not TBS champion. Excalibur on commentary goes, well, oh, you lost. <laughs> Ooh. And he's right. And that brings us to the main event. It's an eventful lights out match between Adam Cole and Orange Cassidy. Uh, at one stage, Cole tries to get a chair from under the ring, but finds Danhausen. Hey, the I meme was... guy of Twitter. Yay. <laughs> I was devastated, me. Oh, yeah. It was on my list. He was my first name to approach for Straight to Hell in 2022. Oh. But out of gimmick. I thought, I thought I could have got him because I had him on back in 2019 and I yeah. follow him, DMing and that, but no. Can't do it anymore because uh, AEW hate us. <laughs> they never give us anything. But they steal our headline and put in a picture with Hook. <laughs> hey, Shout Jack Atkins' Jack name Atkins there. there. Yeah. Uh, he was happy with that. That's mm. all the trade. We'll give you Dan Howes if he was Jack, 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 oh, Jack, Jack Atkins. Atkins. Mr. Bojangles. Just, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Which is his nickname in the office. <laughs> why <laughs> is it Mr. Bojangles? Him, let's just start calling him that but not explain why. <laughs> just a classic, just the sort of fun we have here in Cold uh -huh, uh -huh. Towers. <laughs> Midway through the match, Brandon Cutler tries to interfere, but was taken out by Willie Uta, who was taken out by Bobby Fish, who was taken out by Chuck Taylor, who was taken out by the Young Bucks, who was taken out by Trent Breda, and the hopefully recovered Rocky yeah. Romero. Yeah. Cole hits a low blow on Cassidy, who's wearing a protective cup. Ha ha ha. Cassidy hits Panama Sunrise on Cole, who kicks out. They brawl in Gorilla and on the stage. Cole climbs a set to finish things off, but Cassidy's suddenly up there with him and hugs him off the edge of the platform and wins. Yes. They went off like Moriarty and Holmes. They went off like Shane McMahon and the Tiger Miz. Tiger style. Moriarty. 
little oh, nose of shit. I, thought, oh, I uh, think there, man, that was a deep cut, bloody hell. Went over my, I, yes. I started to correct him. I was like, no, 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 Ross. No, <laughs> no, 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 silly Billy. <laughs> but yeah, this was, it was a thing. The old Shane Miz finish. It, yeah, yeah, I love that. I don't know who is this supposed to benefit. It's another, yet another hardcore brawl thingy. On the same episode, they announced that next week is going to be a Texas death match between Lance Archer and the Hangman. It's like, okay. The Hangman. Maybe. The Batman. I swear it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so the Hangman sounds cool. But yeah, yeah, maybe there is a point to them doing all these gimmicks, but I was a bit like, okay, whatever about this, this match. If the, maybe, maybe you guys were different. Maybe, no, no, I, I'd much prefer the ladder match at the start. Yeah. yeah. And it had less to it. It had enough big spots and stuff, but this felt like it was too many. It was all big spots. Yeah, maybe it was just me watching too much wrestling this week. Maybe. But it was just I like, okay, and then that happens, and that happens, and then, wow, it's just like NXT, but slightly different. I cool. didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it, but I'm not like, all right. Because mm. you do get it. We, do, we all get it on Rampage, NXT this week. Yeah. Don't get it on Raw, really. Don't get it on SmackDown, really. But you do get it on Rampage. Uh, sorry, Dynamite as well. So that's three times a week, some weeks. Yeah. And it is, it is weird because... They shouldn't be. Th- should they be thinking? Oh, just because they did it, we shouldn't be doing it. Like a, uh, NXT did it, so we know. shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. But I don't know. But it is a I doubt we- they look at NXT to one and go, "Well, we better not copy them." We are a victim of watching too much wrestling. Yeah, but so, Adam, uh, if you liked it more than I did, I'm, I'm happy for your pop. But I reckon Britt Baker will leave Adam Cole for Danhausen. Oh. <laughs> Both like teeth, don't they? Just say yeah, the teeth. Yeah. Oh, do you think she'll start? They'll do like a couple's entrances in his face paint and that. <laughs> I don't, th- don't think it was a, a coincidence that Adam Cole was the person who found found Dan House. Mm. Oh, he planted that. He wait, well, he, he planted himself. Yeah, there for Adam Cole to find. Yeah, she's going to swindle Brit away. I thought it was a very innocent reveal of Dan House. <laughs> it really was. He didn't like like conclude or have anything to do with the finish. He was just like, it's me. I thought it set the tone perfectly. Like he's just a random bollocks man. Yeah, here he is. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Oh, he got, oh, see he you later. Massive, yeah. <laughs> what a debut! He got a huge pop for it as well. He'd, you know what? What is, then, it's, it's really cool seeing. Having, listen to Jr. Oh. having to go. Danhausen is here. <laughs> you have no. Very food. nice. It's very the, the dude, dude. <laughs> Whatever. But like, it's it's nice. It's cool seeing these wrestlers who really really put in the effort on the social media, on mm. YouTube, and on the Twitch, and on and everything else they're doing. Danhausen's been injured the past few months, yeah, yeah, and he's still kept his name on everyone's lips by just doing wacky videos and unboxings and whatever, and going, "Hey, it's me, Danhausen." It's so impressive to see that, and this is like the world we're living in now, yeah. Where was... you can make more, like financially, and make more of an impact on your ass than you can in the ring. So tell you, you might have well done, that. Dan. Tell you, you might have learned that from. Britt Baker, because when she was in, she made the most yep. of it. Ooh. Oh, she killed, didn't she? Yes, she was really good. Yeah. She's on a wheelchair <laughs> laughing at people. <laughs> awesome. I've just thought about Dan Housen and Sting. Got to happen on it. Oh, yes. <gasps> the brothers in paint. Yeah. Just get Vampiro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get Vampiro out. <laughs> Play my music. <laughs> Turn that snow machine They're off. They're in the ring. <laughs> Turn that off now. Vampiro, come save us. Where's my music? <laughs> We, there's only one man who can save us. It's Vampiro. Oh. That <laughs> just comes out. Well, is that what he used to do? Like that thing? He used to hang his hand. Yeah, like, like a vampire. Do yeah. his lights. Great I, theme. I want to suck. Oh, I love the... Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. That was like the Mighty Boosh theme tune. It was. Wow, wow, wow. The Mighty Well, you know what? That was oh. the week in wrestling. Let's have a run in our mail bags. <laughs> ah. It's all resting. Let's have a little bit of mail. Hello, Matt. Jack. Speaking of mail, they're here. Look, oh, it's no. actual. Hang it's, on. It's. Oh, God, I'm so glad I've got one of these. We had a break, didn't we? I don't know if Richard could zoom in there on the edit, but there we go. Please YouTube don't. audience, you can see the cultaholic official blood suck in oh. the flesh. Doesn't it look realistic? Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um. You thought we were joking. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it to me, baby. There we go. Oh, Lovely. Ha. <sighs> Hello, Matt, Jack, and Ross. Or oh, whatever the Nazi U-boat commander version of your names are. Ah, oh, yes. In a few weeks' time, I'm ooh, I'm getting my head zapped full of radiation to kill a brain tumour. Oh, man. It's benign, just in an awkward place, i.e. my head. Well, hope it goes, <laughs> hope it goes well. What a segue. I've known that would be the frigging question. I wouldn't have been <laughs> socks around. Hey, it's a um, roller coaster. I'll, stop it, Ronan. I've been told that for eight weeks following this, I will be tired, hazy, and have generally poor cognitive function, which I think puts me in the target audience for NXT 2.0. Bloody hell. <laughs> so my question is this. If you were going to be temporarily rendered thick for a few weeks, what wrestling would you watch that you might have trouble enjoying if you were able to think like a normal human being? What wrestling would I... Hang on. 
So let me tell you from a thick boy's perspective. I mean, like mentally thick, because I'm thick all the time. Which wrestling would you most want to watch if you couldn't think? You just had to sit back and enjoy. All it? right. If you didn't have to sit there and analyze it, or like maybe, or maybe the other way, maybe just which wrestling do you want to watch where you are clever and you look down on something which isn't very well written, such as Monday Night Raw? Maybe Raw's mm. the answer. Kills a lot of time, not very well written, characters aren't very deep or layered. You know yeah. what? That's a, good, that's a good one. That make those uh, weeks go by quick. Yeah. I don't think the characters are particularly weak, but they're not very layered, but it's still very enjoyable. You want to get yourself on Lucha Underground. For my money. It's just like, like watching a comic. Mm. Oh, there we go then. Yeah. Bright and colourful. Whoa, what's going on? It's yeah, Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Dragons. I'd watch that. And then I'd watch... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dragons. <I'd> watch... <laughs> that was me having, you know... Oh. Anyway, then I'd watch... It was like a oh, fondness no. of like times gone by. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Dragons, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Dragon once asked for my phone charger and it ruined it. It ruined Lucha Underground for me. Oh. I know. I was so sad. Arr, can I borrow you? He's I speak like a pirate. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like drag 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 talk. Where is me booty? Arr, I be a luchador. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that or The Apprentice. He doesn't <laughs> wrestling related, but God, it's a show that I watch every week. You're and really enjoy switching my. Now, it's not like really new, but it's like I don't watch a lot of reality shows because I go, oh, I just don't like this. It's not my cup, not my cup of tea, as Pete Dunn, the cricket player, would say. Mm. But The Apprentice, because my mates watch it, it's like let's meet up and watch it. It's like yeah, I've been watching the new Drag Race. Mm. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a contestant on there called Willow Pill, and RuPaul is infuriating me because every time he calls him Whittle Pill because he's quite short, and I'm like, that's not his name, Ru. You use you, you know, very condescending, very, RuPaul. Very, very condescending. Ru, RuPaul's like a ventriloquist doll at this point with all the like. He's the, the Vince, he's the uh, Vince no, McMahon the of all the drag the Vaseline they put in the lens is like, good morning. Yeah, he's he's very Vince McMahon. He's losing. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Win. I think I think sometimes Rue's a bit, <laughs> bit yeah. It's a bit 1984 as well because every single episode <laughs> he appears it's on exactly the, like he, 1984. He appears on the screen of the dressing room like Big Brother, and he goes like, "Oh, this is your challenge," and then they get to it a bit, and then like a minute later he comes in anyway. And hello, all, hello, hello, And they all have to pop every week. They all go, "Ah, oh, it's RuPaul." You know who you're it's on, like. You're oh, in RuPaul's it's, Drag Race. It's, it's like Lash Legend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, worse than 1984. <laughs> Anyway, uh, if we're going to throw things uh -huh. that, that aren't wrestling, this podcast, pot Pottery Throwdown. Oh, yeah. I've oh, watched man. it for the first time. Oh, what a roller coaster. I watched it finally. No, I, I need to see the most recent two episodes. Okay. But I've seen but one I, or two. I was at Bethany's, and, and obviously she's got these new cats, so you just want something easy on in the background while you're playing with the cats and that. And, um, yeah, Pottery Throwdown. But the cats went to one side for a bit because <laughs> the throwdown was where it was at. <laughs> Halfway That's through, awesome. Keith, the cats didn't go to one. We don't neglect the cats. The Vince McMahon of the pottery world, Keith, comes in uh, and he just throws down this bit of clay and he gets to do a challenge. Sometimes he puts a blindfold on and makes a jug. Incredible scenes all by doing all this. Oh, my love, my darling, that sort of stuff. Mm. And it's just incredible to see. But it, yeah, yeah throwdown's fantastic. And also, you get to the end and they have to do two, like a big challenge that sort of straddles the entire episode. They come back from the, the drying room. Uh, Rose has been in there, got them back. I love Rose, me. Takes no bollocks. They are fantastic. And then Keith sees a bit of pottery that captures his, captures his imagination. He starts crying. He cries at pottery because he loves it so much. And you can see the effort that's gone into it. Mm. You don't get that with your, your, your Paul Hollywoods. Do you? He never cries. Uh, heartless, soulless man. He cries jizz. He cries, <laughs> oh. he cries jizz. Really, Jack? Paul Hollywood. Just disgusting, bringing it down. I could have said levels. something big or like, like <laughs> custard or jam, wasn't there it? There you go. Yeah. That's normal. Mm. Anyway. He's got a heart of jizz, as Paul Hollywood. <laughs> What's a hard love? He probably has with those eyes. He's got a beautiful pair of eyes, though. He does. And a... And a not a beautiful set of morals. I don't know. I just, everyone seems to hate Paul Hollywood. I saw a Reddit thread that was like, which UK celebrity could you see being a serial killer? He was a consistent Oh, person yeah, with those thread. eyes. Piers Morgan was in there. Interesting, because oh. I was I didn't watch Bake Off when it was at its pomp on the BBC. Yeah. Uh, so I got to it later, but like a few series in it, the Channel 4 version. And I used to say to Kayla, my girlfriend, like, oh, I reckon Paul Hollywood's like cheating on his wife, definitely. Oh, yeah. Look it up. Oh, he has. <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> well, I think I read that thing once. Do we associate the word Hollywood with Hogan? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again, brother. It might have been on this podcast, but I, I read on Wikipedia that he'd, he'd recently broken up with his girlfriend of 26 years. I was like, oh, but then he, I read it wrong, and it, he'd broken up with his 26-year-old girlfriend. I was like, uh, oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Don't go out with Keith. I don't know if Keith's got a wife or not. Keith's Maybe always, his wife is a... Keith's always on the pull. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem like that sort of man. 
No. It just seems like someone who would take care of though, those hands. Potter's hands. Oh, I saw him down... I've been in that pub. I saw him down <laughs> the Hancock trying to chat up the freshers. <laughs> Bloody Keith. Allegedly. Uh, also, he's not, Keith's I don't he's ever 50s. been in Newcastle. Right? <laughs> he's like in his 50s <laughs> yeah. as well. Also, thank you for that's all the not, great content. Don't worry, that's totally a fabricated <laughs> thing. That was just... Okay, good. Also, those of us going through hard times, Daddy, it helps more than you can know to have a fun distraction from real life. Well, well God, thank those, you very We've got much. 10 minutes of it there. Mm. Um, lots of love, former Wimbledon centre forward, John Fashion do. <laughs> It's catching on. It really uh, this is catching this on. your little gimmick one. Oh. Eddie Edwards, moderately funny man, available to tell jokes any place, any time. Their Twitter is at Romulan Ale. Well, I don't know, good, that's a Star Trek reference. Thank I don't know if you much. wanted that included, but I thought I'd better include yeah. it. Yeah. You know what? After all the lovely things they've that said, is. I think they deserve a plug. And I, hope that, I hope that everything goes all right as well. I'm going to go for it. And that the eight weeks fly by. I'm going to follow them and find out what I'm blocked. You're going to find out they do a really inappropriate string of comedy <laughs> now, aren't you? I didn't look oh, it up. Oh, no. no I should have looked, 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 looked it up. Hello, you lovely people. I recently saw a few clips from an AEW show where it looked as though the performers slash wrestlers slash, oh, superstars. No, that's not right. Are they called anything in AEW? Is it just wrestlers? Just the wrestlers. I've not, yeah. not noticed after all these years. It got legitimately heard. Oh. How do we, this as is wrestling deep, fans... This is such a deep Yeah, question. it's a bit of a gear change. Sit yourselves down. Reconcile our love for this form of entertainment with the apparent fact that those who entertain us are putting themselves in increasingly dangerous situations oh. that could cause them legitimate... Mm -hmm and long-term harm. Obviously, there are adults, well, some of them, making a decision, and they are willing to do so, but when do we start caring less about the spots and bumps and more about the well-being of those who are harming themselves from amusement? Knowing that we know, sorry, knowing that we know about CTE, the prescription drug addiction epidemic, and the physical pain that our go through to provide these thrills, when and slash or how do we stop the situation getting worse? If, of course, you believe that it's not as good in the first place. Oh, sorry, not so good. Not as good. Uh, Hooks and Kisses, Oscar X-Ray. Oscar, that is a deep Wow. That's this is Oscar emotional. X-Ray, who, if I'm memory serves, is the guy who uh, sent in the music wrestler Reese's Pieces. I do remember that. The, 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 the double week. Yeah. That man. Sorry, I'm just following Romulan Ale. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, aye. There we go. It's I'll a deep question. I think it's. it could also be applied to things like boxing and American football. It's, you know, yeah, in a sense that there's a lot more stuff than there used to be. Uh, yeah, not perfect by any means. Boxing better, got scrapped but, the 15 mm. rounds. Uh, NF, oh, God knows what's happening in the NFL in the next few years now that they're yeah. about CTE and the players just going, no, I'm quitting. My head hurts. I don't know. It's, but, uh, it's a strange one. I was going to say, we do, now that we go, all right, look, we all know it's, it's not, you know, know. We're, all right, stop the matches if someone's hurt too much. Yeah. That's a new trend yes. that's been happening more and more, and it's good to see. Again, in a weird way, it's good to see what they stop the match when they go, oh, this person's probably hurt, stop, doesn't matter, who cares? You know, they went through a plenty of uh, times on NXT and AEW during the pandemic when those matches were like, oh, no, this person's hurt, Jim Lee just ended. Yeah. And it's like, oh, good, good. No more of this, no, I could do it. No, 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 that's actually bad. That tiny dick mantra of the must carry on, brother, work hurt, brother, brother, brother. I don't know if that's tiny dick, you know what I mean, though? I can understand why if you're in that, <laughs> if you're in their shoes and that... I can understand why you'd think, no, I want to finish this match. But, you know, it's got a... I'm glad it's definitely a good trend that it's starting to become less frequent. Yeah, so that's one thing. But it is just, you know, a plaster on an enormous bruise. Yeah, I realised this when we had WCPW and you just sort of are around wrestlers more when they're, like, switched off, when they're just not. Mm. And it wasn't, the like, the risk of... Because we had a couple of injuries that were, like, horrible moments where you're like, oh, my God, you just landed on his head, that's awful. But the more, like, lasting thing for me was the... Just generally when they're just walking about and just, like, the, like a lot of them were, like, constantly in pain. And I was just like, oh, is this worth... Like, you know what I mean? It's It, it was quite, like, eye-opening, I suppose. Yeah. All right, and yeah. wrestling's an art, right? And everyone sees it in their own way. And the wrestlers want to do it in their own way. And they are the artists doing yeah. the art. So the fact they're getting to do that and getting paid for it as well, I guess that's where you reconcile as a fan going, as long as they're happy doing it yeah. and doing it their way and getting paid for it, I guess we should, yeah, be concerned, obviously. Mm. But be, like, happy they're getting to do their thing, I guess. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why getting becoming a wrestler is so tough. It's like, yeah, you know, there's not a lot of upsides to this. You are going to be a lot of pain. You are going to have to do this. You have to get good at it and yeah. just learn to cope with this. Uh, and he's kind of messed up in that sense, but every wrestler seems to go, yeah, that's okay. I accept these. Apart from times when the schedule seemed to kill people more than, you know, the actual wrestling. Yeah, mental health as well. Yeah, because like, what were you, people be saying, um, wrestlers who were like old, old in the 90s, like, oh, here comes Jake Roberts or whatever. Guy looks ancient. 
and now people who are older than him as on TV, like AJ Styles and the rest, and they're they're fine because yeah. they're they're not on the road as much. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why that make him. You know, their longevity should certainly increase. The rings aren't made of concrete anymore. Those that '80s was... ones have to be reinforced. Apparently, because according to Bruce Pritchard, because the wrestlers were so big and heavy back then, they had to be reinforced. I'm I thought like, all changed when Vince started doing more stuff. That's what I hear as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, isn't he was like, I'm not doing that. Yeah, like, wow, that hurt. ring hurt. Let me change that. <laughs> Let's put a. More springs in it, I guess. We always yeah. had that one big one, didn't it? But, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Mm. It'd be yeah. interesting how things change as well with AEW not doing live events and if that makes yeah. the industry change as a whole. Yeah, yeah, when they didn't, yeah, when we even looked at how grim it was to be saying, we're not doing live events. Oh, we made more money than not doing that. Yeah. Okay. Do we need live events then? Yeah. Is this just a really old. Because I assume like thing we don't need anymore. These wrestling be recovering. once a week is a lot easier. Well, on the body than wrestling five, six times a week. Yeah. I'd assume that. <laughs> you think so? Haven't never done it before. Yeah, yeah. Be interesting to hear. You know what? We could actually ask a wrestler this question. How do they reconcile it? Should we try and each come to next week's podcast? I'm oh, not yeah, next week. The two weeks. Two of us podcast. Yeah. with a wrestler. In there. Yeah, you know what? I think it'd be good to ask some people. Don't tell me a sod off. Or like, I'll ask Dan Housen, like, Dan Housen, like know. pain, or some, <laughs> some gimmick response. I don't know if I'm close enough to any wrestlers to be like, how do you reconcile the fact that like, quite deep I'll bring enough for the class to share. But, uh, but if you do like that <laughs> type of... Gotta, uh, this fella's got to be a friend of Matthew. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the, the, uh. mm. But I like that, if you do like that type of discussion, Three recommend the Cactus Jack promos from ECW. <laughs> but the entire thing is, oh yeah, you only love those high spots, don't you? But where are you to support Dynamite Kid when he's he can't walk anymore? Yeah, cool. I'll definitely be helping you guys out. Oh, so good. Mm. Hi lads, see where this goes now. Uh, Listen to last week's podcast and hearing you moan about Easter eggs being on sale had me laughing. <laughs> I work in an Iceland store, and our Easter eggs arrived. Are you ready for this? On Christmas Eve this year. <laughs> Oh, even crazier. I live in Newcastle under Lyme. I could confirm it is far inferior to Newcastle upon Tyne. It's well, real. I, I, that's the only person I've ever heard actually. Yeah. That. It's one of those fake cities, like countries set up when they have someone inspect the place. <laughs> uh, it's much smaller, and the only thing we have is a rundown high street. Anyway, my question to you is where is the weirdest place you've heard a wrestling theme, and what theme was it? I was watching the darts over Christmas and Ridge Holland's theme was used for a hype package. What? Which had me very confused for a good few minutes. Keep up the amazing work, lads. Byron. Also, can you give my friend Stefan a shout out? He listens every week without fail. Sure. What's up, Stefan? Hi, Stefan. Hiya, Hiya, Stefan. How are you? Hiya. Well, yeah. Hello, yeah, Stefan. Right. Stefan's cringing now. He's like, oh. <laughs> so <it's> like, oh. <laughs> the boyhood dream has come true. <laughs> yeah. for Stefan. Do you want a sock? Uh, so. Don't bother. Sock, he said. Sock. He did. I thought he said. I, was I thought panicking. he said. Suck I, was as panicking. Well. I was panicking. No. <laughs> By the way, Newcastle, Newcastle upon Tyne. Yeah. What do you hear? What? What, what have I just said? You didn't said it right that time. You said it right that time. I hate you. You have what? said it wrong in the past. I though. haven't. You have. I, sw- I was swearing everything. I swear on these two socks that I, I've never, ever, ever said Newcastle upon Tyne. You've done more than that on those socks. Let me tell you. Here oh. it is. So, weirdest place you've ever heard a wrestling theme. I've got one to bring to the table. Oh, yes. I want to find out, get to the bottom of why Arsenal Football Club are playing one <laughs> random wrestling theme when the teams are coming back out for the second half. Goldberg, no, yeah, it was Goldberg's WCW theme last weekend as we're sat here when they played Burnley at home. That was playing because someone set me out on Twitter and they've done mu- numerous ones in the past. Triple H's game theme's been heard. I can't remember Even anymore. He's a West Ham fan. He's a, or, or an Aston Villa fan. Oh, he's a West Ham fan. David I get, Cameron. I get mixed up with David Cameron. Triple H and David Cameron. David Triple Cameron. H and David Cameron. <laughs> David Cameron. Both <laughs> ousted from the parties they helped set up. <laughs> <laughs> David Cameron's, um, yeah, he's always claimed to be an Aston Villa fan, but sometimes he'd get confused and say West Ham because they both wear claret. So, yeah. Uh-huh. I like football, yes. It's hard to see a different colour from the wrong side of a pig's head. Oh, it didn't work, did it? Oh, it didn't work. No, no, no. I like, I like it. Didn't work, enough of it for it to work. Didn't work, did it? did. But yeah, why yeah. do Arsenal? If anyone knows why, or maybe knows the Arsenal PA operator is Richard rattles his bottle yeah, really I loud. I don't think that would have been true. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know why they play one wrestling theme per home match. I'm guessing I'll go that the guy, home. the PA guy, is just a wrestling fan. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe it could if be. If you're listening, reason. Arsenal PA man, let us know. Yeah. Can you imagine? Big fan. Just as the teams are coming off the second half. If you are watching, if you like <laughs> 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 wrestling, oh, no. <laughs> no way. If you are listening. Give us a sign. Please play Drew Gulak's theme next time. Oh, yes. Oh. And you. give us a sign 
that you're really paying attention and David Flair. <laughs> Hang on. The greatest video of all time. Of course, yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm going to say, hearing Harkar Holly's theme play to big up the uh, dodgeball team playing in the film Dodgeball. Yeah. Oh. Who are we playing against? Oh, just the Girl Scout. New, new, new. I know the scene you're talking about. Wow. That was on Top Gear as well. Must be in that. Oh, and the Hardys right. was on Top Gear as well. Yeah, once. yeah. It's one of those production themes that just gets around. Yeah. Mine was. I can um, see it working on Top Gear though. I'm gonna drive a Jag down a road. <laughs> 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 Mine was um, in the O2 Academy when I was like 16 or so. I went to see Bowling for Sue, and they had like three support bands, and one was Zebrahead. Yeah. And I knew a few Zebrahead songs enough to be like, "Oh, this is gonna be good," but I didn't know they did Maria's theme, so I was like. Hang uh, on, what's going on? Wow. But none of my friends were wrestling fans and I was 16, so I had to just uh, ignore, I just had to, no, can't let them know that I'm a wrestling fan. Also, what was that? Was that Theory of a Dead Man? Was that a, wait, what? I was made up a band? That rings a bell. Yeah, from like years and years ago. Maybe, I yeah. say like 15 years ago. There was a mix that they played in Preston. I forget, I wasn't into the band that much. Where they had, I was like, like and then I see you again. And for some reason, the DJ played, Kennedy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Zebra was a Kennedy mix of a Theory of a Dead Man song? All right. I think Zebra had a song on a 2K game or a Raw versus SmackDown Maybe. game that everything's falling Fall apart. Oh, SmackDown versus yeah. 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 SmackDown. When you hear, I hear Zebra Head, I think Tony Hawks. Because mm. they used to be more like Scar and then they changed the yeah. singer left it. Yeah. I've learned more about them now. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, Gunther morning slash afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I work at a supermarket. And during a trolley run, I noticed the fattest Jack Russell I have ever seen. Oh, oh here he is. I was like, there's two people who... There you go. Like, like a Quentin Tarantino wait, film. We've come to the bit we saw. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't even this person's dog. They've just seen it when they're working in oh, the shop. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Richard. For... It's someone else's dog. <laughs> They've just seen that on t- outside Tesco. Or I have included a picture of said dog. But look at the absolute size of this unit. <laughs> this got me to thinking. What professional wrestler could have their popularity increased by the addition of an animal? I would absolutely love to give Seth Rollins a parrot. <laughs> so when he does his little laugh, his parrot can laugh back at him. <laughs> it sounds exactly the same. Uh, Thanks to the hours of entertainment during these po- these po- sorry entertainment these podcasts bring. They really helped ease the stress when I'd finish your work a week of work during lockdown and come home to a new, fresh, tasty podcast. Cheers, Brooke from NZ. I assume that's New Zealand. Brooke Rattenbury. I'm sure that's the second name. Yeah, you mentioned before, I think. Uh, yeah, wow. Thank you for the dog pick. The first thing that comes to my mind is Ridge Holland having a pig. Mm. There, mm-hmm. there, 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 pig. Yeah. There, there. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> the first one, honestly, that came to my mind, you ever seen when like, a chimpanzee holds a human's hand and kind of walks along? I can imagine Kevin Owens sort of calmly, nonchalantly <laughs> walking the chimpanzee down the ring. He never really acknowledges it, but you know it's his pal. It's his pal. <laughs> And it just sort of sits there during his matches and just kind of, you know. I can see Kevin Owens doing that with a panda. A panda? Yeah, he loves yeah. pandas, doesn't he? Does yeah. he? Mm. He's, he's, so a, does he's a zoo Gavara. enthusiast. Sammy Guevara likes Yeah, panda. that didn't really work out for Sammy, did it? He's Sammy like, Gavara. hey, it's me with my, my furry gear. And like, what? Cody Rhodes and a snake. <laughs> They're both the same, aren't they? Wow. <laughs> Snake's got a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> On its neck. Anywhere along the shaft. <laughs> yeah. The shaft. shaft, the shaft of the snake. By the what socks. The hell? By the socks. <laughs> and he goes wrestling as more than one royal family. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't me having a, a, a good Cody as a character, just his professional wrestling persona. I, I thought I'd make that clear. Oh, yeah. Adrenaline in my soul. <laughs> We've come up with three bangers there. They were really good. They were all really good. Yeah, options. yeah. Three bangers, all yeah. right. I like the idea of Sir Ron's a parrot, though. Mm. So that's, that's, that's good. Good. Well, those were definitely some questions from the mailbag. And if you want to send in your thoughts, your queries, serious or non-serious, or just want us to give a shout out to one of your friends and embarrass them in public, then by all means, please, please, please send them to mailbag at cultaholic.com. Wrist ah. piss. Mm. Is that just the name for it now, I guess? I've seen a big stretch there. I'm worried that a little sliver of... Skin oh, 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 Goodness. Greetings. Cold you- shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, you <laughs> terrific podsters. Matthew the Brain Greg, Ross the Beard Boss, and Jack the Jobber. 
You'll get fancy names. And then Jack. Oh, it's just, okay. Yeah. This is my first time writing the mailbag, so I hope I'm as lucky as L.A. Knight. Yeah. And since night time is what? It's the right, it's the right time. time. That's right. I felt this was the right time to send in my question. So here goes. By the way, this question was inspired by the mailbag of the podcast where there was mention of Greek slash Roman gods. Nice. Oh, here we go. Nice. What current wrestlers in WWE slash AW would you compare to any Greek gods? And what will be your reasoning? Oh, get in. Okay. I will list 15 major Roman gods and what they represent so you can apply a wrestler's personality to them if you like. I think you said Roman uh, Greek gods. Oh, yeah. A lot, of them are the, a lot of them are the same with different well, names. Okay, we'll mix them up. That's fine. It lists which one specifically. That's fair enough. Uh, tag teams can count as one, or you can pick individuals from the no, team. No, the Street Profits Ooh, can't be Zeus. Okay. That's too... Anyway. Yeah. So we'll start with Jack, Ross, and me. Zeus, god of the sky, king of the gods. Triple H. Not anymore. Um, Montez Ford. He gets really high in the sky with his frog splash. Yep. It certainly does. Yeah. It's your voice, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the gods, I think, are high. <clears throat> this guy. There you go. Uh, I'm going to say, given that they have recently ended their dealership with TNT Extreme Wrestling, Tramere Rovers. Oh, Tramere seems... United. Yeah. Soon to be king of the gods, king of the UK indie scene. Oof. Okay. Uh, Poseidon, god of the sea, earthquakes, storms, and horses. Oh, wow. I just knew him as the sea god. It's interesting to get the little things. Yeah, the extra ones. The gods They've got of, yeah. like side jobs, haven't they? They do, I'm yes. the god of horses as well. Um, Probably don't like to brag about it. God of the sea. <sighs> god of the sea? Who? Mm, sharp boy. <laughs> <That's pretty> <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Really Give me a shell, yeah. yeah. I'll go for the leader of the horse women or men, Rick Flound or Ronda Rousey. for Because horses were mentioned, and that is what oh, stuck yeah. out in my head. Fair enough. Horses can go in water. I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen the Lloyd's advert. Yep. No, you can lead a horse to water. You can't make a drink. But Guinness has horses that come out the water. Damn it, you're right. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> oh, yeah, not the <laughs> Lloyd's advert, the Guinness advert. I'm thinking of... Oh, is that what you're talking about? I didn't want to talk. But there is a horse on the Lloyd's. There's just a horse running along in the Lloyd's advert. Running away from... The horses from the sea go and everything I've been taught to lie. My mother used to work for the TSB, right? But then it merged and it became Lloyd's TSB for a bit. And she said there was a... What is he doing? <laughs> He's doing that thing he likes bon, to do. Nah, carry on, Matthew. Bon, bon, bon. <laughs> I'm doing this in the background. Shut up. <laughs> Your mum used to work at Lloyd's and it became no, Lloyd's TSB. No, she used to work at TSB. Doesn't matter. Yeah, and then... It's not even God, important. you put your foot in it there. I was just doing that background wrong. music. I know, yeah. You had to get that one right. You know right. the teacher's like, what are you saying? And you've got to say the last thing that they said. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I've run out of drink to drink. We're going to stuff, hear some so. tea from up the Lloyd's TSB merger there. I know. Right? I know we'll yeah. never hear it now. No. Yeah, damn it. We're going to go behind the curtain there. All this white collar fraud going was, on. We'll never know there about There was heat between the two banks. But, uh, was there? But you'll never know now. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to say Poseidon's uh, Jack because he's the god of podcasts and oh horses. God, stop it. Stop he's so cool. Need stop to, it. Stop, stop, stop it. Stop it. All right. Hera, goddess of marriage and queen of the goddesses. Well, I made Zeus Triple H, so I'll make Hera Stephanie McMahon. Um, Eric Bischoff. I was going to say that as well. He's always there at the wet wrestling wedding, isn't yeah, he? Because when you think wrestling mm -hmm. wedding, you think easy E. Yeah. Did someone say three minutes? <laughs> God. Uh, Apollo, god of music and healing, also is a great hunter slash archer. Uh, Rick Boogs applies to all of those things. <laughs> oh, God, you're right. Not archery, though. Apollo Crews. Because he's called Apollo. his name is Apollo. Okay. And how does his theme music start, Ross? Apollo. That's right. That's his name. <laughs> Uh, God of Music and Healing, a Hunter and Archer. Why? The Archer of Infamy. Damien Priest, of course. <laughs> and the music. That's Bad Buddy. Yes. Uh, so, eh? Hey. Ares, God of War. Brock Lesnar is Ares. Oh. Tony Khan. Oh. I oh, know, in fact, no, Triple H. Oh. He started the war, didn't he? The most recent one that was really real and exciting. And, and then lost and, and he has lost been and seen he... on TV since. <laughs> yep. Oh, God of okay. Losing. Yeah, I hope he's, he's okay. all right as well. I haven't heard from him, have we? Has he tweeted? I don't know. It's the Rumble on Saturday. I don't think he'll be the Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Triple H. What if Triple H is in the Rumble? Oh, my I God. I know, but I don't think he will be. No. God of War. Uh, I'll say Eric Bischoff again. Oh, I can't be two gods. That's you silly. You can't be two gods. That's silly. Ridiculous. Vince McMahon in the <laughs> 80s. <laughs> Got a start in wars and winning them. He had many uh, red buttons, didn't he? All of them. <laughs> he played it like, you know, it was Guitar Hero. Uh, Aphrodite. Goddess of love and sexuality. Ooh. Otis, sensual man. As we saw, he's got a tender side in the feud with 
not the feud with Mandy. You know what I mean? The storyline with Mandy. Mm. Otis is my Aphrodite. Good one. Um, oh, there's two different ways you can go there, isn't there? There's the dirty way and the not dirty way. I think we have not dirtiness on the podcast. Yeah, well, haven't we? I'll go for, oh, I'll go for Edge and Lita to be combined gods. Mm-hmm. Ooh, two Aphrodites. Two yeah. Aphrodites. A couple yeah. of Aphrodites they are. <laughs> what they're like, eh? That's all you have to hear that, yes. <laughs> Aphrodite. Uh, right now with that gear, Madcap Moss. Mm. <laughs> yes. Oof. Hermes, the god of trade, thieves, travellers, sports, a messenger of the gods, and a guide to the underworld. Just Joe. I've, I'm just, <laughs> just, just a messenger. He's just like... It's uh, just a messenger. Yeah, yeah don't shoot. Just realise that Hermes is called Hermes because they deliver... Well, try right. to, They attempt to deliver... Oh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree. Um, why is Amazon called Amazon? What? I can't remember. Massive. Why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah. Uh, I'll go for Seamus because he always delivers, doesn't he? Oh. I always deliver. Uh, given that there's so many different side jobs and things they're doing, I'm going to say Simon Miller. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's easier to list the things he doesn't hey. do than the things he does do. Honestly. Uh, yeah, I just totally agree. I, and he's a nice man. Yeah. How's he got time to be nice and right. good at everything? He must have that on his schedule. I hate him. <laughs> no, he's lovely. Athena, is that right? Athena, yep. Athena. Goddess of wisdom, reason, and war. Ooh. Wisdom, reason, and war. Yeah. From what Ross has told war me about Tall Divas, that seems like the Natalia role. Oh, that's a good pick. Oh, yeah, I was gonna, maybe Summer Ray. Oh, who else was good on Tall Divas? Naomi. Naomi. <laughs> yes. Lana. Jim Neidhart. Here's how you do the shot put, Lana. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, my God, there's a car. I never saw it. It's rubbish, the rubbish. By this, rubbish. Point, by this point, did you know that it wasn't real? Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, I was hopefully... At what point, point did you... <laughs> I, the point was when Naomi delivered a shoot Hurricane Rana in the wrestling ring. To the, oh, that was oh, right. Jimmy was oh. like, what Jimmy, are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> she went into business for herself doing there. Doing the back roll. I'm going against the script. <laughs> anyway, uh, Artemis, the goddess of hunting. Artemis. Frankie Kazarian. The elite hunter, yes. I can't I can't have a better answer than that. Oh, I'm gonna go with William Regal at PWG with his little notepad. Yeah. Sign him, him, him. Uh what's Frankie's new thing? Sorry, I forgot. Oh him. you know you, you know uh you guessed it. Who yeah, you guessed you it. Guessed it's it. a Law McDonald reference, yeah. <coughs> um I'm not sure I've said this name before. Uh if if he's this? Let's have a look. I, st- I think he was the was he the like the smell like Hephaestus. he was the blacksmith. Oh, one, wasn't I see. He? God of fire, blacksmithing, and general craftsmanship. Mate, I'm oh, he, I'm yeah, he's the this... one throwing the the bolts up to Zeus and this yes. is Hercules. Yeah, but right. But he's like my thunderbolt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. ripped torn. That's bing. bloody ripped torn, though. Huh? Yeah. Bloody hell. No. What a film from Jackass. Yes. Yeah. He plays Zeus in the ah. Hercules film. He's dead now, so now he's R I P torn. When you mentioned Hermes, I was thinking of Hermes <laughs> in the film. He was like, oh yeah, Zeus, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the little weird. Anyway. um... <laughs> Where was I going? Yeah, oh, got a fire blacksmithing. Um, oh man, who's the blacksmith in wrestling? Oh, I know. Kane. Oh, that's good. Grizzly Smith. That's another good one. I'm soul, gonna go with, dark, uh, disgusting, dirty soul. <laughs> the blacksmith of wrestling. Oh, I see. Right, yeah, that Grizzly Smith. Oof. Oh, not that one. Oh, yeah. Oh dear. Uh, oof. I'm gonna go with H.D. Drake because he's always set up the ring. Very reliable. Very good. And he builds them. And he does, yes. And the ring yeah. helped him in his feud with Angelico. He did. He used it to his advantage. Ah, oh, I love that little feud. Um, Dionysus, the god of wine, madness, and theatre. I've already chosen. I've already picked Vince, um, but he is <laughs> wine, madness, and theatre, like in a nutshell. Um, ooh, I've got one. Well, wait a minute. Just... He drinks too much. He's mad. And he's too over the top. It's Chris Jericho, baby. <laughs> oh my god, Jericho is Dionysus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't beat that. Yeah, I yeah. can't beat that. Eros. But she loved it. I heard him laughing. At nah, he just saw a poor person get punched. Uh, <laughs> has he, did you, did you, what like, has he done to you? Hey, what's did he you, done did to you? Did you just have an argument before this podcast or something? <laughs> I, this is a, this is a, I think this is the second. Oh, he's of... at war with people again, Pachiti. He's been firing shots. He reckons he's a better gamer than anybody in the office because he had he won one game of Fortnite. I saw that win. And because people have been telling me this, God, Matthew, he's talked about you. I'm like, all right. Andrew spat some bars on me on his Twitch stream. I don't did know what's he? going on. I love this. We have to. We insist on someone, saying nasty things. Someone like tweeted it. me saying Andrew just did a diss rap about you on the Twitch. Entire rap. Well, a few. Was bars. It like top dollars on Twitter. So I rang him <laughs> <laughs> on his stream. You rang him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I tried ringing Pachiti on his stream. He didn't answer. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh. You're like, oh, Matthew's going to ring him. It's like, just, did you see him check the phone? No. You didn't Maybe even, didn't didn't even know That's so. better because if he'd gone like, oh. <laughs> that would have been Harbour broken. Like, yeah. oh, no. That would have not looked good for us. 
uh, Eros, I know, I know the word, but I never know how to pronounce it. Oh, Eros. Eros, think, Eros yeah. yeah. God of sexual desire and love. Mm. Sunny. Is that where no, the word... No, Sable. Is that where the word erotic mm. comes from? An erroneous zone. I think so, yeah. Ah, makes oh. sense. Sable. Because Sable's... You, the girl, all the girls want to be me, and the oh, guys um, want to be with me. And the guys want to be me as well. Yeah. I'll go for Mandy Good Rose bit. because everyone's after her. Like, Otis was, obviously Ziggler, and now Idris Anofi and Malik Blade. <laughs> Well, just Malik Blade, but Idris is, as we know, going to swoop in. Mm. We're just going to like dirty perverts, whatever we say, aren't we? Bloody Mandy uh, Rose, yeah. Uh, she's uh, trying to try look at the gimmick there. Like, oh, oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, Val Venus. Yes, yeah. that's <laughs> better. Probably say, yeah, there we go, because it's even dodgier than any of your some answers. Of these, some of these are really fitting. Because oh, like, Val Venus isn't about love. He is just about pure yeah. passion. <laughs> it's a job for him. And, yeah. 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 and also Dionysus is Jericho. I can't get over how good that uh, one yeah, was. Yeah. Heracles. Hmm. Basically, the Greek version of Hercules, so god of heroes, strength, and athletic things. Bless my soul. Herc was on, a, was roll. on a roll. Cody Rhodes. <laughs> oh, no. Bless and my the soul. nicest guy. Adrenaline in my soul. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Same thing, Cody Rhodes and Hulk Hogan. And John many, Cena. And in mine, I had Triple H as Zeus, and in many ways, Cody Rhodes is the son of Triple H, spiritually. <laughs> so. Christ. <laughs> I mean, he's the son of Dusty Rhodes. Uh, I know. <laughs> is one I didn't realize. Nike, the goddess of victory. Yes, that's, that's right. That's where that goes from. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. I think it was an owl, that goddess, you know? I don't oh. think it was a human, but I'm going to check. Oh, that. okay. I'm gonna I've check seen it. the owl before. Right. You, sorry, go ahead of me while victory. I search Nike. Victory. Uh, Asuka. Mm. Oh. Victory. Asuka. Goldberg. The owner of the longest streak. Oh, and okay. that uh, some seconds of that. Ember Moon. I swear, she, didn't, she have a, didn't she have a really long streak on NXT and then Ask ended it? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. I'm not completely getting that wrong. So, no, oh, she, well. was, she was a human, but she had wings. Okay. What, and the moon? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and a bike. Do you remember she had a bike? And a helmet? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Hades, god of the underworld, king of the dead. His, the way he is on the Hercules film oh. is very CM Punk-esque for me. The Undertaker. Well, bitter. Yeah. <laughs> The Undertaker. Undertaker. Yeah. Other than every other like version of fiction, it's like Hades is like, nah, someone's got to do it. But like, yeah. it's just okay. Ah, oh, how dare in, you in, have in all the Disney, parties? He's a proper villain, but in the other ones, he's that's just his but job. But it's played so well. Yeah, oh my you. god, uh, is it James Woods. I think it's James Woods. Yeah. 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 Before you speak, I can sense a tasteless reference coming now. No, I was going to say, I was going to say, <laughs> we were going to say Vincent Mann at the same time, but I guess we won't because yeah. he is I was dead. Thinking it, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and he's still god of the underworld. So, uh, a few I would pick is Roman Reigns as Poseidon. I was thinking Zeus, but come on, that big sweaty small chief nah, definitely has to only, be ruler of the only, sea. They've only said that because he looks like Aquaman. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Apollo is Apollo because well, Apollo. Oh, hey, mm. how we Kenny Omega as Zeus, since Roman is not, and Omega is great at all of the things. <laughs> mm. Is it bad? I reckon I could, this is my level of like cockiness slash arrogance. I guess I reckon yeah, I could beat Pachiti any game because he's not a gamer. Any game. I also look at Omega and go yeah, I could beat you, beat you in a fight. He threatened. Not a fight. In a game. On a game. In a game. I've seen how well he takes out reverse Frankenstein. Yeah, I, I was about to say no, like, no, no, like, okay, but He'll probably beat us, but it's just, you know. Whenever Some picture... nerds give off that energy. Like, as a wrestler, 10, and all the other stuff he does, 10. But as a gamer, I'm like, I'll beat you. I just remember that time. My level 100 blast. When we were out in the, the key club in Leeds, and that, that arcade in the mm. bit. And this this lovely lad was chatting to me, and was like, about, he was a fan of the channel and stuff, and then Matthew was there. And I think you showed up a little bit later. So then I was like, oh, this is the guy I've been talking to. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name if you're listening. But then he was like, do you want to play this thing? And Matthew was like, ah, yes, ah, I ah. do want to play you on this arcade Maybe machine. And I thought Matthew was going to, they were going to have like a fun little time. Matthew just wiped the floor with this guy. <laughs> just absolutely. I was like, Arn Anderson. Absolutely. <laughs> took him to school. Sorry, I keep checking my phone in case there's some big news story breaks because, of course, we are here on a Thursday ah, again. Of course. So certainly I'm not being rude. I'm just checking anyway, out. There's no yeah, big Matthew, news. Um, Matthew squashed a poor man in the club are. in Leeds. We did. He was uh, a nice guy, though. Where we are. And Charlotte Flair is Hera because Hera is the queen. Mm. Thank you, lads, for all that you do, not only for myself whenever I'm down or at work, but for everyone whose spirits you help lift up when you don't even know. Hopefully I will be chosen by the great squad of wrestling podcast. Sincerely yours, Justin B, Chicago, Illinois, USA. Big fan Thank of your you, Justin Thank you very B. much. I love Aww. baby. If you have any Reese Piss. Justin oh, B. Oh. Thank you, uh, <laughs> baby, baby, baby. If you have baby, any baby, baby. Reese Piss, <laughs> please, please, please send them to <laughs> mailbagacoholic.com. It's Cultaholics. The question. Ah, 
What a nice, lovely, long podcast Ooh. we've had. Ooh. Just following the under there. the sea. And saying thanks. As we load up the card for the Royal Rumble. Uh, thanks to our executive producers, Mark Leslie, Reno2200, Noah Anderson, and Akajua, and Adam Warrington. Do you know, it looked like we've got somebody new. Apparently, we'll just read enough someone's real name on that list. <laughs> really? I know this because they told me on Twitch last night. This is Fraser's fault. Fraser's fault. Oh, we're not doing. supposed to be reading Adam, Mor- Adam Warrington? Because how I those... don't know. I actually should have got, I should, should have gotten what their real that, name the, is, but the, we'll the pretend they're two people. The way that goes is the I Damien go... Damien and the priest. I go, Fraser, any new Patreon producers this week? And he goes, yes. Or he goes, no. So I got said <laughs> Adam Warrington. So sorry, Adam. So well, get everyone's real name Let us know there. which one you are. No, I don't. Um, get the numbers up, man. Those are rookie numbers. Can't be revealed. But thank you. We, we, we appreciate you. You love yeah, Adam Warren is one of the other four. Apparently. That's interesting. I might because, have to check which name was. Because Fraser, last week when Adam Warrington made his debut on the podcast, yeah, yeah, yeah. keeps saying his name in full. Adam Warrington. Uh, just in case you missed it, Adam Warrington. Uh, he said that Fraser never noticed his name there before, but then last week it appeared. So that makes sense that it's one of the other people, but okay. a, a, di- a different column showing up or something. Who is the mystery person? We'll find out next week. But I reckon before you go there. Loud weeing next door. Stop that. Before we get there, the big question this week is, of course, what is going to be the best match at this Saturday, not Sunday's, Royal Rumble. I mean... And as a refresher, the Men's Royal Rumble? It probably is going to be one of the Royal Rumbles. Oh, the yes. Women's Royal Rumble? Yeah, could be Possibly, yeah. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley? Oh, it's not oh. as clear-cut as I thought. I forgot about <laughs> I was going to say, like, ooh. <laughs> Becky Lynch versus Dewdrop? No. Oh, it could still be good. It right, could still be good. good, but I don't think it'll be better yeah. than a lot of the matches. Are. Edge and Beth Phoenix versus Miz and Maurice? Pure uh, pantomime. Enjoyable. Bricks. As long as it doesn't go too long, but Edge's matches do go long. They do. And Roman Reigns versus Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, it's hard. Bad. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. Look, I'm so hyped. Sorry, oh, it's, a, oh, it's a big, it's the best, <laughs> this is the best card in ages. Oh, yeah. It's stacked. I'm so looking forward to Lashley versus Lesnar. Okay. It can't disappoint. I don't there care is if it's a no way we can't come away from that card there without having a jolly good time. Exactly. We'll have nothing to complain about. Yes. I can't wait. So yours is That's what we say at the Rumble, right? Yeah. 2014, 2015. Yours but, yeah. is Lashley Lesnar. Absolutely. It's hard to say with the Rumbles involved in it what's going to be the best match. Mm. Yeah. Battle of the not Rumble matches. Got to be Seth and Roman. Got to be. You think? Yeah. Nah. Rollins like... won't have any time for this storytelling bollocks. <laughs> I used to be your brother. No, he's just... You can't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> brother, help me. <laughs> Long live the parrot. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to go up and do a Phoenix Splash, and Roman's like, act, act, get down here and act with me. Like Scar. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. Be that one for me. That's what non rumble match will take the cake for you? Lashley and Lesnar. Just said Lashley. Oh, You're well, asking him now. Yes. Um, I was looking that way with my similar. eyes. Yeah. So I was going to do a bit of logic and say that even if we're including the rumbles, I'd back Roman and Seth to have more a chance of being good than the rumble of going wrong somehow. But it, I really, my heart says the Rumble, one of the Rumbles. My head says Seth and Roman. But I want it to nice. be. I want both Rumbles to be class. I'd take the Rumbles being better over Seth and Roman being crap. Oh, I'd yeah. take that being rubbish. Yeah. Give us a good Rumble. And you know what? It's even better because it's very little obviousness to who's winning yes. both of the Rumbles. There's this like, could be a sweet show. Oh, it's, it's like a, a pool, of four, pool of four or five for each. Mm. You'd think being the yeah. front runners, but it's not clear cut. But like in years gone by, yeah, especially with the women's, where they've not announced that many because haha, they haven't got that many in the roster. But at the same time, the men's, I think, did they cut back on some? It felt like they announced everybody and then went, no, oh, maybe not. I just don't think they ever got. They, they got it like twenty and then stopped. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So there's be surprises. There'll be some. Oh, that guy, whatever, honky tonk man. But then they'll be like, oh, he could win. What's and of course, Cody Rhodes, <laughs> John Moxley, Stardust. and Steve Blackman, and Steve Blackman. Yes. Oh, it's not going to be All going to be there? Yeah. We're going to be there. And who is going to be watching live along on our Cultaholic Twitch? Adam Pacitti. No! Adam Pacitti. Adam not... will be on the YouTube. Oh, on... damn it. Oh, beg your pardon. He's on YouTube. Doing live on now. YouTube oh, while okay. the Rumble is happening. It'll be Adam Pacitti doing his live stream. Then Sunday afternoon, British time, GMT. Yes. Yep. It'll be Tom and Andrew doing their reactions. Then on Monday, myself and Andrew will have watched the Rumble the night before. So that'll be cut down and then published on the YouTube channel. Oh. So three different reactions. Wow. All going up on different yeah. days. Jeff Goldblum now, apparently. I'll also yeah. have what happened now. <laughs> I think Ross is doing WTF. I'll do WTF. Well. And that is it. Uh, Rumble coverage. Yeah. Quite yeah. a lot of coverage. Awesome. Well, myself and Tom return for another Cultaholic Classic Smackdown review. See so you got the name right that time. 
And Jack, will you have anything lovely written? That's by pretty, that point? No, that's that, pretty much, that's like pretty much all the stuff. You'll all be rumbled out. Um, There's yeah, only the, the one the last predi- thing to talk about. Predictions as well, which involve myself as, oh. as a different oh, Rossi drip dripper. Oh. And Andrew, yes. you can have them. You can go home with the, the first ever incarnation of Rossi drip drip, which the attention to detail is staggering. It says Ross on the back of the Stussy Dunks from back in the day. <laughs> Andrew's there. And he's got his tattoos and whatnot. And you can you can go to bed with them and stuff. They're on cultaholicshop.com and. <laughs> You might want to have a play with these, and then you might need your official oh. cultaholic blout sock. Who knows? Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you too. Ah. That's how it goes. We play with it. Like when you, this has been Jack. Don't the Whoa, this has been Whoa, Ross. Just be the This has been a big sticky mess. <laughs> Yes. You've been wonderful. Cool we have a look at the cool. screen and say the famous thing that we say at the end of every podcast on the count of three. One, two, three. Come! Come. <laughs>